Old school RuneScape has been out for over 10 years now. I've been able to experience it all through my Ironman account. I want to offer you a series like no other. As I go back in time to tell the story of Mr. Ironbar, with each episode covering the progress towards a supreme goal in the account's history. Experience old school RuneScape through the ages with Mr. Ironbar as he tackles every goal using long forgotten methods. We start around the year 2015 because I made the old school Iron Man a few months after Iron Man mode came out. Shortly after that, other updates happened too. That would be Zora and Corporal Beast. The end goal for this movie is reaching Zora and obtaining her precious uniques. The Toxic Blowpipe, the Magic Fang, and the Serpentine Helmet. The Toxic Blowpipe was undoubtedly the most powerful weapon in the entire game regardless of combat styles. Even with bronze darts, it still outclassed the whip in many situations, including things like bandos in raw damage. The trident was the best magic weapon in the game as well, and the serpentine helmet was the strongest made of helmet, so it only makes sense that we go for the most powerful items to start off the first movie. There is so much to do before we can even dare challenge Zora. Thankfully, I've done quite a bit of Zora when it first came out on my normal account, so I do have a good idea what kind of gear I'm going to need to actually do this properly. And with the gear that we have available, it's going to be something like Trident and Full Arums, and I guess maybe Rune Crossbow Black Dehyde. If I want to get the Trident, I need to kill the Kraken Slayer creature or the boss version. To kill them, I will need 87 Slayer. So that is a huge hurdle. Anyways, let's get right to it. Instinctively, I wanted to rush to 43 prayer because the benefits of getting all the protection prayers early on is massive. This made too much sense to me because I already had the knowledge of how to do basic prayer flicking, meaning that I can utilize prayers in a way that does not train it. I can do harder combat related content earlier without needing to worry about training Herblur for prayer potions with protection prayers unlocked. I devised a cool plan that involved going to the wilderness. You might be asking, what the hell's in the wilderness for you? Well, Wilderness Rejuvenation version 1 happened, bringing out bosses like Callisto, Vedion, Venonatus, and monsters like Lava Dragons. Red Dragon Island, which had red dragons in it, was converted to Lava Dragon Island. Killing Lava Dragons would drop their bones, which if buried in the island, would give you a whopping 340 per XP a kill. I was aware that Lava Dragons were safe spotable and had no magic defense, meaning even a level 3 like me could technically kill them with a weak spell. Other players, of course, can't attack you because it's the wilderness, but I figured if I try to get these dragon kills at a super low combat, most PKers could not attack me. So I went ahead with some shrimps for food and grabbed 10,000 gold, of course, from Security Stronghold and invested all my money on runes and a fire staff to kill these lava dragons. I had no idea if this plan would work, but I was excited to blow my limited gold to find out. Unfortunately, 10,000 GP worth of runes ran out really fast. I didn't get any drops to replace the money I lost, so I had to go ahead and collect some steel plate bodies and earth stabs in the wilderness and sell it to the store for some more money. Okay, so I sold all the items and I got around 23k gold. Totally worth it. Sit the fuck down. Alright, fourth kill. Oh, hell yes, bro. Oh my god, Dragonstone, shit. I don't know if I should log out from this. It was really nice not being able to die to PKers for a bit, but I was low HP though, so any mistakes, the dragons can one-shot me. And also, there were a lot of DDoSers at the time when Corp came out, so I would just die due to lagging out. It became difficult to stay there as PKers were able to easily dispatch my now 32 combat but only 10 HP build. So I had to call it quits, leaving at a decent 25 prayer and 44 magic. I would say the plan was a success, especially because I managed to get solid magic levels, allowing me to teleport to places like Lumbridge and Varax super early instead of walking. 
I did get a rune longsword along the way, which is really nice because I can use that to train when I can wield it or sell it for money. Afterwards, I did a bunch of general questing like waterfall, fire arena, the usual starter quest to build some quick stacks and make general progression smoother as there is no need to hold back on the combat levels. However, the goal of 43 prayer still eludes us, so it is time for the next course of action. So I decided to rush some quests like Spirit of the Elite, which gave a lot of prayer XP. This quest will give me 8,000 prayer experience when I finish it, so that will help me out a lot in getting 43 prayer. So I need to get the requirements for it, of course. Uh, right now, I am missing range, mining, thieving, all level 37. So I'm going to go for level 37 thieving first because that's the one that will probably be the most annoying. So I'll get the most annoying one out of the way and then I'll head up the other two. Alright guys, check this out. Just hit 25 thieving and I decided I'm just going to steal kicks all the way to 30 because I can literally just get to 30 in less than 30 minutes right now. And as you can see, I trapped uh, all three guards. So that means I can constantly pick on the kicks without interruption. 30 thieving. So to get the remaining 7 thieving levels, I'm going to do the quest feud. As you all know, it gives a shit ton of thieving experience. So I'm going to go do that. Alright guys, just finished the few quests. Wasn't too bad. And check this out. Got myself 15,000 thieving experience. And voila, I just hit my goal spot on of 37 thieving uh, for the Spare of the Elite. I am going to head uh, to do some mining so I can get 37 and I'm pretty sure there are a few quests, maybe one or two that will give me some easy mining uh, experience so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. Plan is I'm going to do the jungle potion quest so I can get like uh, 8 herbal or something like that and then get the remaining 2 herbal levels to 10 and then do the dig site quest because the dig site quest once I finish it will get me all the way to 31 mining. Alright guys, just finished Jungle Potion, and that is 775 Herbal Experience in the bag. Oh sweet, that got me to nice 9 Herbler. Alright guys, I finally hit level 10 Herbler. It took me a while to get the Guam leaves, believe it or not. So yeah, now that I have the skill requirements for Dixite, I also need to get the item. So the item I need for Dixite that I don't have is the Opal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Ham Fanatic Camp. And just pick pocket some ham members and hopefully get some uh, the elbow and also some ham ropes because I will be doing the ham quest series very soon. Alright, after some frustrating attempts, I finally got the elbow. Alright guys, just finished the dig site quest and let's see those levels. Oh my goodness, look at that. 31 mining right off the bat from level 1. Yay, now I can use adamant pickaxes. And I also got myself 17 herbal, very nice. So yes, I need 6 more mining levels to, you know, hit the requirements for the Elite quest. Check this out guys, just hit 37 mining. Uh, that means I only need to get the ranging requirement for the Spirit of the Elite. Let me just check real quick. And uh, here we go, Spirit of the Elite. Yep, that's it, 37 range. <laughs> I am level 1 range, so it's gonna be a little bit of a long grind, but let's do it. I need to get some leather armor to train my range easier. However, I need to, you know, train my crafting to make some leather armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the Sinclair Mansion North and finish the murder mystery and probably a few other quests for some crafting experience like observatory quests. All right, guys, just finished the observatory quest. I got myself a nice uncut sapphire, but anyways, let's check those crafting levels. Oh yeah, baby, 18 crafting in the bag. Alright, now I can make uh, all the leather armor that I need. Alright guys, just hit 20 range. That means I can use a uh, new bow. I believe the willow one. And also I can buy myself some standard leather chaps and body. Which will increase, you know, my range accuracy and whatnot. So we'll be able to train my range a little faster. Uh, I'm probably going to move on to like hell Hellgiant or something. Uh, once I get my new equipment. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that right now. Alright guys, so I messed up recording, but as you can see, I just hit 30 range. It's awesome now because I can now use the Maple Sharp Bowl, so it'll speed up my chair a little bit. Yeah, I'm using Bronze Arrows, it's kind of newbie, but you know, it's the best that my money can buy at the moment, and it's working like a charm. Oh snap guys, it's finally done, 37 range has been achieved. Yeah, I'm gonna start heading over and prepare for the Spirit of the League finally. I can start that darn quest and get that nice prayer experience. Just finished third of the elite and wow look at all
all those experience gains that I got. Well, that was a quite a tough quest because killing the golems was absolutely hard. But anyways, all right, let's see what levels I get. Nice, reached 37 prayer. This got me closer to 43. For the finishing touches, I distinctly remember one quest giving really good experience lamps that I can use on basically any skill. The quest was one small favor. So for my next challenge to getting 43 prayer, I am going to do one small favor. Uh, when I finish that quest, I can get 20k prayer experience. I can get 20k in anything, but 43 prayer is a priority right now, so I'm going to use the experience on that. But as you can see, I have a ton of requirements to do, so I'm probably going to do a bunch of quests to get all the levels I need. Oh yeah, baby, check this out. Nature Spare Quest has been completed and with it, a load of nice quest points and juice experience. And uh, let me just quickly go to the levels. Oh yes, 25 crafting has been achieved. All right, making some very nice progress towards that one small favor quest. There it is, guys, the fabled iron bar that only noobs can get because they don't have 15 smithing. I'm doing the Night Sword quest right now to get some smithing experience, yeah? First time I've ever seen these mammoths. Graphics on these bad boys, they're gorgeous. Alright guys, just finished the Night Sword, and look at this man. That's amazing because I think I only need two more levels for the, you know, one small favor requirement. Alright guys, just finished Elemental Workshop 1, so that should be enough to get me the 30 smithing that I need. And yes, it definitely did. As you can see, I got myself 29 crafting, oh nice, emerald necklaces, and also 32 smithing. So that's great. I can also start making some Ring of Duelings. That will be very useful for transportation purposes. It's just a matter of getting the gems for it in the future. All I really need is to get 36 agility, so I'm going to just quickly grind it out at the rooftops. And then I will start Shield Village, and that will be the final thing I need to start. One small favor! Alright guys, just got level 18 Herbler, so yeah, let's go ahead and start Shiloh Village. Alright guys, so I finally completed Shield Village, and it feels great. Alright, let's get some level ups going on. Nice, 32 crafting, ooh, and spiked fan braces, alright. Oh boy, one small favor, that's gonna kill me. Yo guys, I'm making bank off of Shiloh Village, look at that. I just gained 2k coins from those quest items, I just sold it to Yoni Salika. And yeah, I'm also going to start the quest now, so yeah, one small favor, commence! Damn, I've already spent like 2k buying freaking gems from this guy because I kept crushing it. Hopefully this is the last time I need to do it. Please cut! Yes! Oh my god, yes, I still have 3k left. Man, I'm so poor. Yes, one more HP to go. Alright, Slagolith boss has been defeated and I get myself some nice ruby diamond drops. So finally I can do the reverse of one small favor. Ugh, it's finally, I can just give the stuff to everybody and the quest will be done shortly. Sweet, I just got 33 smithing from fixing the weather vane for one small favor, nice. Holy shit, the amount of bots here is ridiculous. And these guys got some okay names, but yeah, they're definitely bots, guaranteed. Alright, there we go. The two lamps I was looking for. Yes! Finally, one small favor has been completed. And the biggest thing I was looking for is those two experience reward lamps. And also, um, the, you know, steel key ring. It's also really useful. Save some inventory space down the line. But yeah, let's use these anti-lamps on prayer. Alright, there we go. First one, 10,000 into it. There we go, 41 prayer in the bag. All right, let's use another one and I should be really close to 43. Okay, 43 prayer, never mind, it's already been achieved. Yes, perfect guys, that is one of my, my first big milestone that I've been going for. With 43 prayer unlocked, the world was my oyster as I could do tons of combat related activities in god mode as many traditional enemies simply could not damage me whatsoever with my perfect flicking skills this meant assessing super rewarding combat activities early the next big goal i needed to do was to unlock a bunch of good gear so that i can effectively start training my slayer to 87 for the trident the 87 slayer goal is really complex so we can break it down to a few mini goals the first mini goal was unlocking a good means though to earn cash to afford more powerful items like berserker helmet 
Dragon Skin Guitar, Rune Armor, and so on. So I'm going to need several hundred thousand gold. Cash is just important for general progression, especially in the early stages. Next, I unlocked Ham Chest after finishing the quest Death to Dorgashan. From the Ham Chest, I got myself a Power and Ruby Amulet. These chests gives a lot of different types of jewelry, which will sell for a handsome amount of cash as well. Alright, so this is how much jewelry related stuff that I got from, I guess, two hours. Probably a little less, but yeah, I'm keeping some of these for teleports and stuff. I'm going to sell the ones I have known in my bank. None of these prices are like accurate because I'm going to be selling these at the uh, shop in Karamja because uh, my next goal is I'm going to get the Karamja Gloves 1 so then I can sell all of these items for a premium price. At the time, Karamja shops would buy items over high out value with Karamja Diary Easy Rewards, meaning it was quite busted for money making. I just sold a few pieces of jewelry per world to keep the prices nice and high. This got me my starter 100,000 gold for my next big money making move. Keep in mind, they nerfed the Karamja shop, so it's no longer as good as it used to be. Now I won't feel so broke anymore. With 99k, that's enough money to uh, last me, I guess, a week plus, honestly. Like, all I really need is ammunitions, like uh, my runes, air runes, and bone bolts, essentially. I went ahead and unlocked the fair rings by completing the quest Lost City, Fairy Tale Part 1, and starting Fairy Tale Part 2 as well, for more convenient traveling all over Gilinor. This is the first of many times I will abuse Protect from Melee. <laughs> Alright, come on, one more hit and we got this. Alright, let's do it! Yeah, nice. Let's wrap up this quest. Alright guys, just finished uh, Fairy Tale Growing Pains, the first of the um, Fairy Tale series. And yeah, let's see the results. Yes, instantly 16 farming levels, like usual. Awesome. And now I'm just going to start the second one so I can unlock those fairy rings. Alright, so I officially unlocked the fairy rings now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to train probably a bit of mage and probably a bit of range at fire giants. Um, I want to get a rune skimmy and then once I get that I'm going to do a little bit of combat training. Yes. Awesome. That is my first like legitimate novelty drop. Woo! Rune skimmitar in the bag. That is so hype right now. Man, that feels good to get that rune skin guitar in Iron Man. So it took me uh, 1,126 fire strikes, and I also got myself 49 mage in the process, which is perfect because now I can use the level 3 enchant to enchant the ruby amulet into a strength amulet. Alright, guys, just hit 39 strength and also 600 total. So I've had enough fun uh, with the rune skin guitar for now. So yeah, I'm going to make a little detour before I do uh, Dragon Slayer. So I'm gonna do some recipe disaster parts. Um, I want to unlock the Mithril Gloves, so yeah, I'm gonna do five of the easiest ones that I can do and unlock the Mithril Gloves because that'd be nice to have some uh, extra strength bonus, accuracy bonus for all three styles of combat. Just finished Demon Slayer quests, and I only need a few more quests to go now for those Mithril Gloves. Check this out guys, just hit 30 fishing and that means I can fish some salmon. So right now I'm doing a bit of fishing so I can train my cooking to 30. Um, I was trying to finish up Big Chompy bird hunting but I got trolled and I forgot I needed 30 cooking requirements. Oh yeah, 30 cooking has been achieved. Finally completed the Chompy bird hunting class. So that should get me some nice levels. Oh yeah baby, 7 fletching, 34 cooking, not bad. Just finished the Plague City quest. Finally finished Biohazard quest, that means all the quests I need for the Mithril Gloves has been unlocked. So that's pretty good. Oh nice, 43 thieving as well. So before I head off to get the gloves, I'm going to actually get myself the already cloak one because I have all the requirements uh, now as well. So yeah, let's get that cloak. Alright guys, I just completed all the easy Ardon Diary tasks. So yeah, I'm gonna go and claim that cape. It's time to get that already cloak. Here we go, already cloak one has been achieved. This cloak is going to be incredibly useful because not only do I have unlimited access to the uh, Canterbury Monastery for prayer, it's also uh, very very close to a fairy ring. So as it stands now, fairy rings are my most uh, used form of um, traveling at this point because I don't really have the law runes yet. So yeah, that's amazing. So it's going to make my traveling around the game a lot easier. So now I'm going to do the recipe for the disaster quest finally for those metal gloves. 
decided to just use the lamp on prayer because I can't use it on Herbler. Unfortunately, I'm not high enough to use the lamp for that. Yeah, I got myself 44 prayer now, and I can use Eagle Eye. That's gonna help me out a lot too. Awesome. Check this out, guys. 40 fishing, so I still need to get 40 cooking for one of the requirements for Mythical Gloves. 40 cooking has been achieved. I am missing another requirement, it turns out, for the Mithril Gloves, and that is the fishbowl. So I can't just buy a fishbowl, and I need 42 crafting. So what I'm going to do is I will do Elemental Workshop 2 right now, get as many crafting levels as I can off that. Alright guys, just finished Elemental Workshop 2, and look at those nice experience rewards. Alright, let's see what we get. Nice, 36 smithing, and what's next? Ooh, 35 crafting. I was actually hoping it would get me to 36, but yeah, I'm just going to have to uh, craft some cow leathers and probably uh, do some, you know, glass pipe blowing for the remaining 7 levels. So let's do it. Finally, guys, I've achieved 42 crafting. That took a while. Um, yeah, so getting those soda ashes and all that stuff, wow, that was pretty uh, annoying because there was so much competition, but I finally got it out of the way, so... I finally got all 5 of the food that I need to uh, finish up the 5 quests. So here we go, first one, the dwarf quest, here we go, yes, 1qp, 1k cooking, alright nice. 7 council members left, did I get any levels? Nice, level 9 slayer, here we go, nice, that's another quest down, alright let's see if I get any more levels, 6 council members left, here we go, nice, alright I should be expecting a level here. Nice, 20 farming right off the bat. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. One more to go. Alright, any levels? Nice, 39 wood cutting. Oh my god. And 42 cooking. The, the gains are real, guys. Alright, finally. Here we go, Lumbridge Guide. Nice. This is so good. Finally, the moment of truth. Oh, there we go. Buy items. Here we go, Mythical Gloves. Oh my god. Check out the strength bonus on this bad boy. Oh my goodness, 62 strength. That's gonna help me out so much. I'm gonna go ahead and start Dragon Slayer. Alright guys, I got the last map piece, so that means I can just put them together. And then... I will go and slay that dragon. Oh shit, shit. Almost there guys. Alright. Alright, alright, we got this. One more. Two! I just need to hit a two! Oh, come on. Now it's like a tank. Alright, alright. This is it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dragon Slayed with Salmon. And yeah, that, that was actually pretty challenging, I guess. You know, I had to do a lot of dancing to eat and whatnot. But yeah, that's good. Time to return ahead and get some nice experience. Oh yes, guys. It's finally time to complete the Dragon Slayer quest. After so many detours, oh, this is well-deserved. All right. Give me that experience. Oh my goodness, look at this. 18,000 strength and defense experience. And the ability to wear room play body and the dragon high tops. So that's awesome. Cannot wait for that. I'm not gonna buy a room play body yet. I don't got the money. Alright, let's see here. 44 strength achieved and 39 defense. One more level to room. So now with, you know, my major goal done, my next major goal, well, it's not really a major one because I'm probably gonna have it done by today is to do Freemanic Trials, so I do need a few skill requirements to do that quest. Um, one of them is 40 woodcutting, I can honestly get that really easily. And also 25 fletching, which I also can get very easily, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the skill requirements right now for it. Oh yeah, got myself a Mithril Axe in 4 kills, so I just wanna get an axe real quick so I can get that level a little faster, so it worked out pretty nicely. Just hit 40 woodcutting, so yeah, let's move on to 25 fletching and start that quest. Alright, here we go, one more action, and there we go, 25 fletching has been achieved. Ooh, nice maple, I mean, oak lombos, but yeah, now that I have all the requirements I need for a trial, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, just started the frame trials quest, let's do this. Oh snap, I just hit 40 defense and also 725 total level, which is pretty cool. As you can see, I'm trying to get myself a liar. I've never done it this way, killing Lanzig, the NPC for it. But, you know, I just want to mix up a bit and see how uh, this, you know, goes. But yeah, if I don't get it soon, I'm probably just going to do it the regular way. Yes, guys! Check this out. I just got the liar drop from um, Lanzig here. 
took a goddamn while, but it was fine because I got uh, some, you know, nice experience in combat out of that. Got myself 40 defense and I think an HP level 2 at the same time, so, you know, two birds with one stone right there. My longer term method of earning good cash was at the time quite secretive because I only discovered the method by pure chance back in actual 2007 when I randomly killed an ice troll doing the Frumnik Isles quest when it came out and I got a rune kite shield drop just off of one kill. So I decided to experiment and figure out that they dropped lots of other good items like granite shields and rune warhammers. I later tested them more when old school got released and it was the same exact drops. Side note, during the first month of old school, I was selling rune kites for 120k for a while due to this method. Oh yes baby, check this out guys. Steel, I mean steel, what am I saying? Rune kite shield, that's my first ever one. That is awesome man. I'm gonna be using this when I train melee and stuff. Wow. And if I get a second one, I'm gonna sell it to the store. It's gonna be a lot of money. So here's my loot from one, a little bit over 1,000 fire strike. They also drop really good resources like law runes and nature runes. Laws are absolutely massive for traveling, and nature runes for casting high level alchemy for more gold. These runes were pretty hard to get, so these guys were a blessing. I also learned how to say spot ice trolls and found out that they're really easy to kill with range or magic. Best part is, I only needed to complete Freemanic trials and only had to start Freemanic Isles to access ice trolls, making this rush viable. Using my starter 100,000 gold to fund my initial runes and bone bolts for my bone crossbow, I quickly made a profit off ice trolls and I got a ton of levels and enough money to buy all the real gear that I needed to finally start the Slayer grind in style. So I typically killed the ice troll runs as I found out that the drop rates were the same across all the ice trolls in the area and runs have the lowest HP, meaning more drops per hour, more money. The safe spot that I typically use has one troll and one male ice troll, both safe spotable. After I run out of aggression, I can use the big boulder near my original safe spot and use that to kill the other runs exclusively. I trained my magic to 55 for high level alchemy and I got a lot of nature runes to use as well for the future grinds. I stopped at 61 magic and moved on to other things once I felt like I had enough money to continue the plan. Check this out guys, just hit 58 magic and 750 total. That means I'll need two more levels for level 60 magic and then I'll probably head over to Major Arena and get that god game. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Right after I got 58 magic, I got myself a rune kaishio drop. Oh yeah, those money gains. I ran out of runes again and that's a lot of loot I'm gonna sell so I'll be right back with the cash pile. Alright, so I got about 160k plus from that. And I have 50k in my bank, so right now I'm at 200k. I'm probably going to have 400k by the time I'm done with ice shows. And then I proceed to do other things, but I need to buy some more runes now to go back. Oh yes, guys. Look at that granite shield. Mm -mm. Second one. That's awesome. Gonna be lots of money when I sell it. Oh yes, 59 magic has been hit. One more to go for that level 60 milestone. Oh yeah guys, not even 60 magic yet, but I think that's my fourth rune kite. Oh man, cannot wait to sell all these nice loot. Ooh baby, oh my goodness, look at that, more shields. And I just started this uh, trip. This will probably be my last trip here because I'm probably gonna stop after 60 mage. And yeah, hopefully I have enough rooms for it. I'm pretty sure I do. Can this get any better? GG, rune kite again. This will be my fifth rune kite. Oh man, lots of money. And let's see here 5k to go to 60 mage. Oh yeah, finally, 60 magic has been unlocked. So yeah, I'm gonna stay here, I guess, for a little bit till my runes run out. And then I'm gonna head up to mage arena so I can get that god cape. And I will talk about the next plan of mine, I guess. Aha! This is why you stay until you're out of supplies, because if I left just now, a good fight like 40k right there. Oh my goodness, look at this runekite. Wow, this is my 7th runekite shield thus far. And I only have 1.4k cast left. I think I have what it takes to get maybe 2 more awesome drops, we'll see. Alright, so just hit 61 magic. <laughs> I said I was gonna stop at 60, but... 
Yeah, it turns out I still didn't use up my runes yet, so... Yes! Second, or maybe third one more hammer. And I'm gonna be selling this. I wonder how much money I'm gonna make off of all of these loots. It's gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness. Rune Kai Shield number 8. Gotta run in for it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, look at this. I'm almost out of runes. I don't think I'll get any items, but let's just keep going until I am out. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Wow. Kite number 9. And yeah, let's just keep going. Alright, so I'm going to stop doing ice trolls for a while now. I've spent a majority of, I guess, one to two days there. And yeah, here is the loot from the last trip, I guess, of ice trolls. Look at this, six rune kites, that's amazing. Two granite shields, one rune hammer. I have, you know, singles in my bank. I'm going to be keeping those. So yeah, let's head over to the Cranfish shop and sell all this loot. Alright, it's time to sell the last of my loot here. And look at this! Wow, just 1k off 400k just as I predicted. So, alright, I'm gonna go to my bank now and just show you how much total cash I got. Oh yes, look at this. 575k has been collected. All from Ice Trolls basically. I think I had like maybe 28k before this. So yeah, I am raking in that money. I also got the Mage Cave from the Mage Arena along the way and got my range level to 40 to round up my combat stats a bit. Next, I got myself to 40 fishing so I can gather some lobsters, my first reliable source of food for combat. This ain't Louisiana, shrimps ain't gonna cut it. Finally, we begin our Slayer training. Melee was the best way to train Slayer at this stage. So I focused more on training the attack skill to 60 because I wanted to wield the Dragon Scimitar. Dragon Scimitar has significantly more max hits versus Rune Scimitar, so it is much better to rush attack earlier. I'm going to use my money to buy myself a Berserker Helmet, a Rune Play Body, and some Rune Play Legs and come back. Here we go guys, here to buy my first piece of Dream Gear, the Berserker Helmet. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even wear it yet. So yeah, I guess I'll save that for after I get 45 defense. So yeah, I'm gonna prioritize getting 45 defense first before even going for 60 attack. Not a big deal. All right, guys, second piece of dream gear. Here we go. Mm, should I get a skirt or legs? Yeah, I'm gonna get a legs, man. <laughs> I'm not about that life. Here we go, guys. I'm at Oziac, and I'm here to get the last piece of my dream gear, the room play body. Oh yeah, actually. I have already got myself a green D high body. I need this for a medium clue, so I guess I'll just buy it. Oh wow, that took a lot of my money away. I was at 500k and now I'm pretty much halfway down. But that's fine, uh, that's still a lot of money enough to get myself a D skimmy in the future and stuff. So, yeah. so anyways, let's get back to some Slayer. So I just finished my first ever uh, Slayer assignment. Got myself all the way up to 23 Slayer, which is cool, and I am 3 more levels away to 45 defense. Let's go and get my next one. Now, this is a really nice task. It's gonna be lots of experience. I think I might be able to hit 30 Slayer just from doing this task alone, and probably even 45 defense. Oh yeah. Alright guys, we're closing in on 45 defense finally. I just need about one more hit. There we go! 45 defense has been achieved, that was a quick flash, but as you all know, that means I can wear the Berserker helmet, yeah. Alright, so I finished my first ever ogre task, was actually very exciting, got a lot of seeds and stuff. Got myself 28 slayer, um, a little bit shy of my 30 slayer target for this task, but that's fine. I also got myself uh, 40 attack in the process, and yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing my Berserker helmet, hitting 12s now, pretty dope. Alright, it's time to get my next task. I didn't explain this to you on the original video, but I'm going to now. I have already unlocked the level to do Cockatrice, and I decided that I should probably just camp Cockatrice to 60 attack, so that way I can just get a Dread Scimitar and start resuming Slayer with that. Because Cockatrice will be really nice, uh, I want to stock up on a little bit of seed, some herbs, and some medium clues. I might get lucky and get some cool stuff from medium clues. Anything could be good, really, at this point in time. Just hit 51 attack, and I haven't gotten a medium crystal yet, but I am about to finish up my first inventory of cargo choices, and 9 more attack levels to go. 
first medium clue from Kakotrites. Oh man, perfect timing too, because I'm about to have a full inventory. So yeah, let's do this right away. Whoa, nice reward for my second ever medium clue. Lots of law runes uh, and some alcohols, so that's cool. Placeholder green dragonite body, perfect. Not too bad for a start. Alright, so just hit 52 attack, 8 more attack levels to go. Well, my fifth medium clue reward is, I guess, okay. Purple sweets uh, might be useful, and lobsters are always useful too. Alright, here we go. 60 attack has been achieved. And you know what that means. I can wield a dragon scimitar as soon as I finish a monkey madness. But first, I gotta do this clue scroll, so let's do it. Oh my goodness, guys, look, I got myself an Armado Mitre. Nice. I like that. Oh, and a green G uh, high body. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go and do Monkey Madness now. Alright, so I'm almost done with Monkey Madness now. So I got myself the Grigri, and things will be a lot easier from now on. Yeah. Wow, in all my years of playing this goddamn game, I never realized that if you notice, this part of the water is actually moving. One hit. Yes, I think this is it. Yeah, demon defeated. And don't worry, I have the help of the gnomes. So yeah, that was a lot quicker. Whew, it's done. Let's go and turn in that quest. Alright, this is it. Woo! Monkey Madness quest is complete. 10,000 coins and 3 diamonds. Not bad at all. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the trainer to get my remaining experience. Oh man, this is so sweet. I'm going to go for an increase in strength and stamina. Alright, let me see how many uh, levels I'll get from that. Okay. Alright, let's see if this works. Yes! Wow, 110k total experience. 49 strength and 57 hit points. Very nice. And 47 defense as well. Oh yes, new combat level too. 66 combat. Almost nearing uh, 70 combat. That's really nice. Now I'm gonna go and buy myself a giant scimitar. Let's go! So yeah, I just bought myself my Dragon Skimitar now. I'm gonna go to the bank and show you my full gear now. I have about 160k left. Um, that's pretty good considering I don't really need to buy anything for a while. And here's my new setup, I guess, for uh, combat. Wow, that strength bonus is really nice. 83 and also 79 slash. With the Dragon Skimitar, it is amazing. And I look quite well off. I don't really look like a noob Iron Man anymore, so... Yeah, that's a huge upgrade for my Roots Guitar. So, let's talk about the next major plan. So, my next long-term goal, which is probably going to be longer than any of the goals I've set so far, is to get the Black Mask so I can speed up my melee training, uh, magic training, ranging training, honestly, through Slayer. Because Slayer is going to be really beneficial at the higher levels anyway, so yeah, it'll be killing two birds with one stone if I do it that way. So, uh, as far as... The requirement goes, I need to get 58 Slayer so I can actually kill the Cave Arts for the Black Mask. I also need to get all the um, little requirements to do Cabin Fever and the quest as well. Alright, let's get my first task after getting the Dragon Scooter. Oh yeah, 98 Ice Words, that sounds really good. So before I even start my Slayer grind with my Dragon Scooter, there is a slight delay. I am pretty much out of food, so I need to stockpile on some food, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get a 40 smithing, so I can do the family uh, crest quest, so I can get the cooking gauntlets, because uh, I do have some raw like lobsters, and I don't want to cook it yet, because without the gauntlets, I've burned through all of them pretty easily. I'm going to do the quest called the Taurus Trap, and then just use the experience rewards to get 40 smithing, so I don't have to grind it out through mining. So it'll be a lot quicker. So yeah, first things first, uh, Taurus Trap, then Family Quest, then to Slayer. I love Detours. So yeah, I just about wrapped up with Taurus Trap, and all I need to do now is to uh, select the reward that I want. Obviously, I'm going to put one into Smithing. Yeah, 30 Smithing. And I should be able to get another one, do it into Smithing again. Very nice, 39 Smithing. And that leaves me with 25 experience to 39 so yeah i'm gonna quickly get that out of the way to get 40 smithing and then do family crest all right here we go guys 40 smithing has been achieved i can make steel better access blah blah but yeah let's head over to family quest quest and nice 825 total 
Alright guys, just hit 43 cooking and now I can cook bass. That's one of the requirements I needed for the quest family quest. So as you can see, I started already. I'm on the first part. So yeah, let's continue. One more hit to go and I should be able to get my final quest part. Here we go. Nice. Alright, so I quickly got all the uh, family quests. It's time to give it to him for a nice reward. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, steel gauntlet. Uh, has been received, so I'm gonna go to Caleb and uh, turn this into cooking gauntlets and start cooking and then head right into Slayer. I just hit 48 cooking and I started from like uh, 43, so yeah, I've already gained 5 cooking levels and I am almost done cooking my lobster, so I will be starting the awesome Slayer grind that I've been waiting to do for a while now. Gear checked, food checked, and that means it's time to slay some ice warriors. Let's go. Alright guys, just hit 50 strength and I'm going to focus on training strength I guess all the way to 60 and also I got 31 Slayer and 67 Comet just now as well so yeah really nice. Alright guys, just hit 51 strength and I still have 45 Ice Warrior to go. I think I might get another strength level and also 32 Slayer. Alright, just finished up my Ice Warrior task. I got myself to 34 Slayer and 51 strength so that's really nice. I do want to get 7D combat as fast as possible because I want to get Slayer Tasks from the Fairy Master instead of uh, Vanaka because Vanaka just gives really shit tasks. I want to head back to Ice Trolls and uh, the Fairy Master will give me a lot of troll tasks so that great. So how to get 7D as fast as possible is I'm going to be training my defense until I get 7D uh, combat and that'll be the plan. Banaka under Edgeful Dungeon was the Slayer Master of my choice until I reached 70 combat. Then I switched over to Kaldar. There is no Kona or Crystalis Slayer Master yet, so no options for that. Finished my wall B task and guess what? I hit 70 combat by getting 59 hit points, so that means I can now use Kaldar as my Slayer Master. That is awesome. I cannot wait to get those Ice Trolls tasks. I wonder what my first Kaldar task is. Please be Ice Trolls. No, oh, Desert Lizards. Actually, they're quite easy to do, so yeah, I guess not bad. Just finished my Desert Lizard task. They are quite easy, so not too bad. And also, nice bit of Nature Runes. And my next assignment is... Yes! 117 Trolls. I've been looking forward to this task because they will give me a lot of money. Alright, just finished my first ever Troll task, and my oh my, it was great. I'll be right back with all the loot that I got. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick price check. Wow, 200k coins basically. And with the Karamja gloves, I'll probably be getting like 220k. So I'll be right back with selling all this loot. I got 217k from that troll task. Very nice, that pretty much doubled my bank in terms of coins. So yeah, I'm gonna get my next task. All right, Calder, let me see what I get next. 50, 154 lizard demons. Damn, that's just straight up experience. I'm going to take a break from Slayer right now. What I need to do now is I need to do Ghost Ahoy so I can get the um, Ecto File. And with the Ecto File, I should be able to do all four big patches for farming at the elements. I was quickly approaching 58 Slayer, which means the Black Mass grind is coming, which will massively speed up my Slayer grind. Black Mass is a helmet drop from the Cave Horrors requiring 58 Slayer that increases my damage and accuracy by 15% on Slayer tasks. I have to do Cabin Fever quest first though to access the Cave Horrors. However, Cabin Fever requires some pretty big stats requirements like 40 farming. I made sure to grab every single herb and seeds from Slayer tasks in preparation for this. I planted every seed I collected but the core four element patches were my most used patches for training to 40 farming. Alright guys, just hit 59 strength and I'm actually doing quite well at the Inferno Mages. Just hit 46 Slayer. Alright, next task is... Oh, 111 Ambassalus. Ah, I have to use a mirror shield and they do have quite a bit of defense. So yeah, that's also going to be a slow task, but they do give a lot of nature runes and water runes if I remember correctly. So that would be very useful, so I'm actually excited for this task. Nice, 24 farming. Can I do anything? Nasturtium's pretty cool, that's for watermelons. <laughs> I won't be able to grow that for a while anyways. 
Oh yes, 25 farming. One more level to go and I will be able to start the Garden of Tranquility. And nice, 875 total. Just got 60 straight and 70 degree combat. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to training attack now. So what I want to do in terms of combat is I want to hit 65 attack first, then 65 straight so then I can uh, unlock the Warrior's Guild and then get myself a Dragon Defender. It's going to be really nice once I get that. Really? A Basilisk head for my first task ever of Basilisk? Okay, that's pretty cool. Things are going so fast right now that I can barely keep up with the recording. But I just hit 47 Slayer. Anyways, I brought way too much food. I totally forgot how they really hit me. Wait a minute, aren't these supposed to be very rare? How come I've already got two Basilisk head? Just hit 26 farming and I realized I only need 25 farming for a Garden of Tranquility. So what I'm going to do after this fire run is I'm going to do Creature of Frankenstein for the Ring of Karas. Then I can start doing the Garden of Tranquility to get some nice farming level. Alright guys, just finished the Creature of Frankenstein for a thousand TV experience. Did I get a level? Nope. Okay, now I can uh, move onward towards Garden of Tranquility finally. Garden of Tranquility is complete. Oh, that is some nice experience into farming. Great, and some nice seeds. There we go, what we got now? Nice, 31 farming, and I can grow strawberries. Well, I can't grow them yet because I don't have any, or maybe a few. Alright, well, I guess I'll go back and do some Slayer and just grind out the remaining line levels for farming. And then I will work out the other skills that I need for the Cabin Fever quest. Just 33 farming, 7 more farming levels to go. Just realized that I only need 37 farming to do Rum Deal because I can actually boost with a Garden Pie to get the remaining 3 levels. Oh yeah, 34 farming guys. Only 3 more levels to go and then I don't have to worry about farming for a while. Alright guys, just hit 50 Slayer, and I can now kill Bluffels. I do enjoy killing Bluffels, so that's gonna be awesome when I get it. Not bad, not bad. 51 Slayer has already been achieved, and wow, already 90 total levels. 100 more for that nice 1000 total level. Yes! Second ever troll task, that's amazing. Oh my god, I was looking forward to these. Gonna be mad money. So, I just stocked up on many, many Bone Bolts. On the side, I did a lot of AFK Slayer range training because sometimes I had to edit a video or I just wanted to chill or do some schoolwork and meleeing and flicking prayers wasn't going to let me do that. I just finished the Animal Magnetism quest. That's good. And now I have the Avis Attractor. Pretty soon I'll have the Accumulator. I just hit 52 Slayer and I think I just missed that clip. God dang it. Oh yeah, 44 range, I finished that Astral Task and I got myself 4 Rune Kites. Uh, I have a 5th one, that's because I didn't sell one from the last task, so I have 5 and 1 Rune Hammer. And yeah, let's just sell the loot for some mad cash. Nice, came back with 175k, so that's great. Um, I think in my bank I have like 500k now. I wonder what I'm going to be spending that money on, but we will see in the future. Just hit 62 strength, 3 more strength levels to go, and Dragon Defender, here I come. 169 jellies. Ooh, that's actually quite interesting because jellies do drop hard clues. Will I be able to do these hard clues? Hopefully, I can. That would be amazing if I can get some Black D hide out of the way. Oh yes, guys. 36 farming has been achieved, and that means I only need one more level. 53 Slayer has been achieved. That's 5 more levels to go and I can kill Cave Horrors. So we guys just hit 63 strength. So that means I only need 2 more levels to go for that Warrior Guild. Oh yes guys, 65 strength has been hit and 77 combat has been hit as well. And luckily I was able to get 65 strength in this task. It is time to take a detour and go to the Warrior's Guild to get myself a Dragon Defender because now I have reached 65 attack and strength which is the requirements to enter. The Dragon Defender will massively improve Slayer training because of the bonus max hits and the surplus accuracy boost to my melee stats. Also Warrior's Guild Potion Shop sells a lot of cheap attack and strength potions to help speed up my combat and Slayer even more so that's a plus. Here I have 1,000 Warrior Guild tokens. Oh, yes, guys. First Defender. 
Oh yeah, nice. 50 uh, tokens in, not bad at all. The DDoSing is so strong that look at this freaking Cyclops right here. He's twitching from this DDoS. Oh, guys, just hit 54 defense. So I do need 60 defense if I want to wear the Giant Defender. So I will be training my defense while I go for the defenders, essentially. Awesome, guys. Already got the Black Defender. I am doing quite well for only using 400 tokens. Pretty much 100 tokens per defender at this point, which is great. Yes, Mithril Defender has been achieved, and I just got it within 40 tokens of the black one, so that is insanely lucky right there. Hopefully I can keep up this luck. Just hit 55 defense, guys. That means we only need 5 more levels to go for 60 defense. Would you look at that? Adamant Defender, finally. Still getting them quite fast, though. I only used 830 tokens so far for this, so... Holy shit guys, Rune Defender already only used 26 tokens, that is insane. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. So yeah, I will have a very very good chance of getting a Dragon Defender before I run out of tokens at this point. Finally guys, it is done. Dragon Defender has been achieved. Let's get back to some Slayer for that 58. Alright, nice! Troll Task, that's gonna be more money for me, which I will always need for a long time, so that's great. Just hit 45 range guys, and I'm loving the Alvis Attractor. Now I barely have to pick up my bolts, it's great stuff. Alright guys, just hit 46 range. Also, just hit 55 Slayer, I believe I can uh, kill something. Oh, Turrops. Uh, they will not be too bad on an Iron Man because they drop a lot of seed and herbs. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to doing these. Although it will be a pain at first because I have to use the, you know, the bladed spear, but that's okay. Well, just hit 48 range, so that's really nice. At this point, I've been trying to do hard clues for some good rewards like Black Dragon Hide Armor and Magic Shortbow. There is no way I was going to spend time training my crafting to actually make Black Dehide myself, so clues are definitely the fastest way. Pretty soon, I will be 70 range because I'm doing a lot of FK Slayer on the side, and I also just need to train range resort anyways. So it would be nice to have Black Dehy ready. It's always a struggle at first with the clue scrolls because of the emote clue requirements where I need a bunch of different items that are often hard to get. I just hope that every time I get a hard clue that the steps aren't emote clues because that's pretty much all I can do. Alright guys, just hit 59 defense. Main important thing is 25k away to Dragon Defender is essentially 60 defense. I cannot wait. Check this out guys, just hit 56 Slayer, so that means I only need 2 more levels to go, and almost 60 defense as well. Can't believe I missed just 60 defense level, but, yep, that is finally done. I'm going to be training strength now a bit. Yes, just hit 66 strength. So, uh, I guess I'll be going for 70 strength in the meantime while I get 58 Slayer. What the hell guys, why is a stranger following me? I haven't even started Desert Treasure. Well, the recording file got corrupted, so anyway, it's just hit 57 Slayer and 67 Strength, so I only need one more Slayer level. Oh my god. 167 Fire Giants. Yeah, I'm definitely getting 58 Slayer. Fire Giants seems exciting. <gasps> oh snap, guys. Finally, it's complete. 58 Slayer, and that means I can kill Cave Hearts when I have access to them. So, yes, and now I need to train some other skills, and they are as listed. 42 Agility, which is only 5 levels away, easy to do. 45 Crafting, which is also, like, 2 levels away, which is also very easy. And I guess the final hurdle, besides the quest and stuff, is 50 Smithing. So, Smithing will be pretty easy too, to be honest, because I can use Gold Smithing Gauntlets with Gold Ores. And I have a bunch of coins that I've saved up from Slayer. So yes, what I'm going to do is I'll be buying some gold ore at the Blast Furnace and just smelting gold to 50. I am at Blast Furnace at the moment, so I need about 1,000-ish gold ores to smelt with the Goldsmith Gauntlets. And here you can buy actually a lot of gold ores per world. Yeah, and I just go to the uh, guy right there and buy my gold. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but it is well worth it because if I try to mine a thousand of them, it would just take a lot of time 
So after a quick period of buying gold ores, I finally have enough gold uh, for 50 smithing. So I got about a little bit over a thousand from the store. I had a few already in my bank and that cost me, I think a little bit over 300k coins. Uh, assuming yeah, the ores were about 300-ish each. So, but it's okay. I still have 240k ish left so that's plenty of money for whatever else i need so yeah let's go get that 50 smithing now all right guys first smithing level of the day and only nine more levels to go this is going very very fast great all right guys prepare yourselves for the final level and here it is 50 smithing has been achieved and that is the biggest hurdle completed uh to doing the cabin fever quest and I only need two more skill requirements left, I believe, and that is agility and crafting. So first things first, I'm going to get the remaining agility levels. I believe it is to 42, so that should not be uh, too bad. I need to hit 40 agility so I can use the cabinet's agility rooftop course. To get the remaining two levels of 40 is to do the barbarian agility course, and that requires me to uh, complete the Alfred bar crawl thingy minigame. Alright guys, finished the Alfred Bakrol minigame, so now I can finally enter the Barbarian Agility course, so let's go get those two levels. Here we go guys, 40 Agility has been achieved, and that means I can now go to the Kenefis rooftop. Nice, 41 Agility has been achieved. I kind of like this course, it's really chill, and I get marks of grace, so that's really cool. There we have it guys, 42 Agility finally, and that is another skill requirement down. Now all I have to do now is to get the 45 Crafting. And that'll be it. So I believe I have enough buckets of sand and soda ash to 45 crafting. And along the way, I'm going to do the Varak Easy Diary so I can use the Ashro Furnace. Might as well just do it and get out of the way because uh, the Varak Plate Body is going to be very useful for training in the future, like smithing and mining. You might be asking, why didn't I just train smithing at the Blast Furnace as well? Well, Blast Furnace was pretty bad at the time because Jagex had to buff it to make the blast furnace work the way they do now before you needed actually a whole team of people to run it but now it's not needed they just have npcs that you pay to do it so that's why the edge roll furnace was such a big deal because that was like the best furnace at the time to smell stuff got all four colleges this is insane so i just need to get nine uh room crafting real quick so i'll be right back with that so we guys just hit 10 room crafting from uh doing the abyss mini quest so yeah, that saves me a bit of time, and now I have unlocked the Abyss for future rootcrafting. Alright, let's move on with the easy Varag Diaries. Alright, let's jump this fence like a ninja and get that Varag Plate Body 1. Yeah, okay, let's go get it. Alright, so we hand over that Varag Plate Body 1. Oh yeah, looks nice. And I'm gonna be putting this experience- Oh, what a troll! Just cut me off right there. Alright, I guess I will put this on, um, hmm, it's a really hard choice. It's farming, and farming is always good. Alright, 38 farming, guys, not bad. Alright, let's go and get that 45 uh, crafting at Etro first. Here we go, guys. 44 crafting has been achieved. Nice, 30 leather chaps, and that is only one more level to go. Oh, yes, guys, finally. 45 crafting has been achieved, and I can craft snakeskin boots. Actually, I will be able to very soon because I'll have uh, mostly harmless island unlocked, so I can get the snakeskin for that really easily. Alright, perfect! I now have all the uh, skill requirements out of the way, so now I can finally start the rum deal quest. Alright, guys, let's see if this uh, raw garden pie is successfully cooked. Yes! Let's do rum deal. There was also quest requirements as well, which had some skilling requirements. Most notably, 30 fletching for Soger Flesh Eater. So the way I got 30 fletching was that I bought arrowheads from the Catherby Fletching Shop. And I made a bunch of arrows for some quick XP to 30. One more hit, guys. Alright. That's boss down. Let's turn in that quest. Alright guys, finish Soger Flesh Eaters. That's one out of three quests done. And let's see those gains. Oh yeah, 31 Fletching, 26 Herbler. Alright, let's go and do Rumbeal. Alright guys, defeated the Evil Spirit. Now let's continue with Rumbeal. Alright guys, finally finished Rumbeal. Exciting stuff. Look at that experience rewards. Amazing. So nice, 48 Prayer, 53 Fishing. And I can catch Lavios. Perfect for uh, the Heroes Quest. Okay, let's move on to Cabin Fever. 
Finally guys, Cabin Fever has finally been complete! So finally it's done, I am so relieved, now I can finally kill k powers now. Let's see what we get here, 46 crafting, 43 agility! Wish me luck at uh, k powers man, been waiting for this day and it's finally here. Okay, so finally I got myself enough snake skins to make myself a snake skin boot and chaps and thanks to mostly Harmless Island, uh, the snake stair drops in so yeah I was able to do that. Alright, let's go make the boots here. And also these are for the uh, clue scrolls. So yeah, I'll be able to do more clue scrolls now, which is great. And chaps. Oh yeah, that's right, 51 crafting. I'll be able to make that soon then. I decided I would save small cave hearts with range as it was time to start even out my stats a bit more. Oh, nice. Just hit 67 hit points. Oh, well, just hit 53 range and uh, still no sight of that black mass. Alright guys, just hit 54 range and still no mass. I feel as though I may be hitting the 500 kill streak, maybe a little less at this point. I don't know how many kills to be honest. Alright guys, just hit 55 range and yeah. Oh nice, I can now wield red shrimp ch chompas. Uh, that would be quite useful I guess if I do plan on chaining in the future. And yeah, still no sign of that black mask, but we will continue. Oh my goodness guys, 56 range. So, so far I've already gotten uh, 7 range levels ever since I started killing KVARs and yeah, still no mess. Oh my goodness guys, look at that beauty. Oh, let's get a zoom in. Hell yes guys, I was like shit, am I gonna go through another range level without black mass? Okay, let's pick this bad boy up before I disconnect and lose this. Alright, it's time to uh, leave this place and I got quite a bit of good seats. And as you can see here, I'm using the Black Mass at Fire Giant Task, and oh my god, it is so good. Black Mass will absolutely speed up all my combat and Slayer training as it gives me that 15% attack and strength without needing to upgrade to the imbued version through Nightmare Zone. Next assignment is Blood Gels. Woohoo! That is actually a very, very good task. First time ever. Check this out, so just hit 59 Slayer, that's actually really nice because uh, along my level for now, I can do Aberrant Spectres I believe at level 60, so yeah, that should be interesting monster to reach for them herbs. Just hit 70 strength, that is great stuff. Alright, finished my first ever Blood Veil task, and actually they are quite enjoyable. I just hit 60 Slayer, and that means I can now kill Aberrant Spectres. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit annoying because right now I don't have the South Inlet since I can't use a full Slayer Helm to do those. So if I do get that task, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, Haunts and Mines for the Emmy and hopefully get the imbued version as well for it. And this should be all fine. I finally finished one and was rewarded nicely. Exactly what I wanted. First ever Heart Blue Scroll completed on this Iron And look at these! Items, man, they're actually really good for me. Black, D-High, Top and Bottom, Rune Axe, I don't even have that yet. I cannot wait to get 70 range for the D-High though. Alright, just hit 61 Slayer. Over 1,000 total achieved today. So, I just finished the Blood Veil task. I gained 50 points, so that's nice. But anyways, I got myself a Hard Clue Scroll. Also, God Pages were actually really good because there wasn't much good range or magic offensive shields yet outside of the Wilderness ones that require killing the boss. So anything like Ancient, Law, or Unholy God Books filled would be really good for the stats. Oh my days. Taras again. Oh well, if I can get a Deep Bladed Sword, that would be amazing. And then this task won't be too bad. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this bad boy. Yes. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm gonna go back and bank and get my Giant Defender. So these guys, I'm gonna look forward to uh, killing. And it gets even better, look at this guys, Mystic Roll Bottom. So that's my first Mystic piece and I'll save some money when I, you know, have to get the Mystic for Mace Training. So yeah, that's awesome. And yeah, the light one looks a lot better than the other two. Just hit 69 attack guys, that is good stuff. Now I just need one more level for that 70 attack. And yeah, that's pretty much my long term attack level goal. So once that's, you know, done, I'll be moving on to Strength and eventually get straight to 80 and then uh, hit up defense to 70 but yeah really nice so the gnome slayer dungeon first came out in 2013 with the kraken and thermi boss introduction it also hosted lots of other monsters like metal dragons and black demons and like blue dragons etc due to the dungeon feeling super private serverish 
Jagex moved a lot of the monsters to their own areas like Kraken Boss and Kraken's Cove later on. Finally, it's done guys. 70 attack on my Iron Man. And you know what that means? I can now wield a whip right there. Well, the only problem is I will not be able to obviously wear it. So I get one with, which requires at least 80 Slayer. And yes, now that my attack is done, I'm going to get 80 strength now. Look at the rewards for this hard food. I was able to do it as you can see, and I got two unique items. And also I got a rune pickaxe. Um, that's perfect for the mining grind because I do not have a rune pickaxe yet, believe it or not, until now. So that worked out perfectly. So now time for the uh, mining grind so I can start doing hero's quests and whatnot. So yeah, let's go. Now it is time to get some more equipment improvements which is going to be from Hero's Quest for the Dragon Battle Axe. The Dragon Battle Axe special is essentially a limited super strength boost with some minor downsides like lowering your other combat stats. More max hits though is absolutely a big time saver for combat despite the little drawbacks. So I went to Motherload to train my mining to 49. Luckily Motherload already existed. And I stopped at 49 because you can Dwarven style to 50 and it's easy to get from like Birth Art pub or something there we go there we go 48 mining and you know that means one more to go oh man finally just this final level okay finally hit 49 mining so now i can gtfo need to turn in one last quest and that is shield over wrap so yeah let me just do that real quick voila shield the wrap done for some nice quest points now i can start hills quest well that was easy there we go got myself an ice glove and onto the phoenix feather well, that wasn't too bad. Had to wait on this guy because uh, first time ever doing this quest. But yeah, I got all three items out, so I'm gonna go turn it in for that reward and buy myself some nice dragon weapons. Hype! So yeah, let's do this. Nice access to Heroes Guild and a total of 29k experience spread over 12 skills. Do I get any level? Yay, 27 Herblerd, 54 Cooking. Yeah, anyways, where is the seller? Oh, here he is, Hellamos. Oh, baby, Dragon Battle Axe. Oh, there goes my uh, bank money though, and the dragon maze. <laughs> Can't wait to use this for Slayer task, it's gonna be great. Anyways, let's see what my next task is. 110 blood belts, yes! I was looking forward to something like that. Awesome, I'm gonna try out the uh, DBA special. Holy shit guys, look at that. Just hit my first 30. That is crazy. It was um, achievable because I am Dragon Battle Axe spec to the max. Huge accomplishment in my opinion, it was totally worth grinding out for this giant line. so I cannot wait actually to hit even higher. And there we go, 59 range has been achieved guys, almost 260. Look at the loot so far from this task, look at this, 6 rune kites and 1 granite shield. That is bank, I wonder what I'm going to be spending this money on. Alright, let me sell the last rune kite shield. There we go, so I finished the uh, ice roll task and I gained 300k. Pure gold from Allison selling it to the um, Karamja store with the gloves. So, and there is 64 Slayer guys. All right, one more level, and I think I can unlock dust doubles. Interesting. Finally hit 60 fishing, 1,513 actually. That's pretty insane. So I just want to show you my bank actually what is going on, just because I was actually low on food. So I guess you know cooking these lobsters. Uh, is actually pretty nice for Slayer and whatnot. So recently Jagex um, gave the option for you to remove the overly excessive hard tasks uh, from your Slayer Masters and it's this option. Let's talk about the difficulty of my assignments and I shouldn't be getting Bronze Dragons hopefully from her. What the? Are you serious? 136 Black Demons and they're not considered challenging? Are you for real? Well, take your into account when choosing types, so you shouldn't get anything too hard. Black demons! I just realized I hit 85 combat, like, recently, so that means I can go and get tasks from Naive. Should be interesting. So yeah, the black demon task isn't too bad with prayer flicking, and I could probably just do this whole task. I also did a bunch of other quests for general account progression, like Tears of Guthics. Quests for the weekly free XP from the minigame. And of course, Kingdom Miscellanea, I've talked about a bit. Or the Kingdom Management minigame, which will give me a ton of good resources like herbs and uh, bird's nests for the future. 
At this point, Slayer and Ice Trolls funded me enough to start extracting good resources from Kingdom Management. Absolutely huge benefit as Herbalore is incredibly slow back in 2015. If you think it was slow in 2023 on Iron Man, trust me, 2015 was another beast. Wow, guys, I can't believe I winged it and I am about to hit 49 crafting. And yes, I just hit it. Look at this level 49 fire making requirement for Tesla Cupics. Thank god I was AFKing with cutting, so yeah, I got the locks for it, no problem. There is 30 fire making right there, and now I can burn some will logs. Got a shit ton of those. We're gonna see each other in about 10 more fire making levels, so yeah, man. See ya, 40 fire making. And there's 40 fire making, guys. This will be the final will log I have to burn for a while. Until I need to do desert treasure. So there we go, now I can light the bullseye lanterns. And that officially means I have all the requirements that I need for Tears of Gothics. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. At last, all the skilling for this moment, guys. Hell yeah, Sapphire Lantern achieved. Now I can finish this Tears of Gothics quest really easily. Yes, I have the stone bow now. That was so easy. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that quest in, yay! But now I can do the minigame now and I should be getting some crazy construction experience. I'll see you after I finish this. No way, that was so short. God dang, I need to do more quests, but 63 tiers is pretty good. Okay, should be getting like 10 plus construction hopefully? Ah, oh, not even close, wow, 6 construction. So I just sold all of my junk rune items that I had in my bank that I forgot to sell. And yeah, my cash stack now is at 818k, that's freaking insane. We're really close to the mill. But what I want to do with this money is invest it into Kingdom of Miscellanea. But I haven't done the quest yet, but I do have the requirements, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now that part is done, and that means I have completed Throne of Miscellanea. But we are not done yet, just because we also have to do Royal Trouble to get the other, you know, bonus... Uh, resources. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Alright, and the sink boss is now dead. Pretty easy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. There we go guys, World Trouble has been completed and wow, the XP gains is sick. 5k agility slayer hit points and a few GP too. And increased resources, oh yeah, 44 agility and 65 slayer. And I can kill those levels. Awesome. What should I be, you know, putting my resources into? Well, definitely not into fishing and definitely not into mining. I'm gonna go 100% into herb lore and put the rest into the maple log slash like bird nets and stuff. So that's pretty much how I usually go about doing this, just because herbs are really, really important. Um, yeah, herb is gonna be a pain on old school. But yeah, we should be getting some nice weekly gains on the side. Oh yeah, dude, I can totally buy the uh, Slayer Fall Helmet upgrade. I should just do that right now, to be honest. So let me just go ahead and buy that. But I do need 55 crafting, so I won't be able to craft that for a while. Um, yeah, but it's okay, you know, it's still nice to get the perk out of the way, and I still have 300 points left over. But yeah, I'm just gonna just quickly gather points, and I'll probably unlock road uh, arrows or something. I mean, road bolts. I just hit 74. Uh, strength, which is nice. Only six more levels until I reach the 80 goal. Alright, what's next? Naive. 56 echoes. Easy peasy. So, it turns out that broader fletching requires 55 fletching for broad bolts. And I also need 300 points to buy this. Wow, I can already buy it. Why didn't I buy this before? So, yeah, man, I got some crazy skilling goals to uh, achieve 55 crafting and 55 fletching. I can't. Uh, tell which one's worse, but I think both of them are gonna be a bitch. But yeah, let's get the next assignment. 181 Aberrant Spectres. Aberrant Spectres are actually amazing to kill because they drop triple herbs and just overall a lot of herbs in general and some good alcohols. In 2015, for an Iron Man, it was actually one of the best tasks to do. Unfortunately, these guys require either no spec or a Slayer Helm to kill, meaning I can't use a Black Mask, but I can get the effect similar to a Black Mask by wearing a Stab Amulet from the Quest Haunted Mine, which will go from 50% melee accuracy and strength to 20 percent if i do the tarm razor minigame as well come on get back here yes 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. I hate this boss fight, guys. Oh, jeez. I almost failed, too. If you think about it. If he just ran away a few more times, I would have ran out of food and would have had to do it again. But finally, we did it, though. Nice. Well, let's cut some crystals and complete the quest. Oh, yeah, boys. Haunted Mine is now complete. So, yeah, I'm just gonna drop a uh, trick of a bunch of these. Probably get like 10 of these. And, yeah. Uh, I guess after this, I'll probably head over to Tar Razor eventually and just imbue it to enchant it so then I can get the 20%, you know, attack and strength bonus. Alright. Now that, uh, Tarn is dead, I can now get this diary. Yay. Perfect. Now I can get the South ME and use it at Everett Spectres. Pretty excited, actually. It's time to imbue these bad boys. Oh, man. Good stuff, man. South Amulet E. Great. It's time to go and try it out at the Aberrant Spectres on the sky. Damn, I already have like a full inventory of herbs and stuff from Aberrants. At this rate, this task will take a super, super long time to do. Alright, I really should prioritize, I guess, getting Slayer Points next for the herb pouch. That'd be amazing for these tasks. Hey, check this out. Just got a Harkoon Scroll from uh, Aberrant Spectres. First one. Probably gonna do this school after uh, this task is over. I am now more than halfway done with this task, and I got myself a mystic roll bottom black. Anytime now, we'll be hitting a strength level. There we go, 75 strength has been achieved, guys. So far, I believe that's my highest level skill, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Five more levels to go until I hit the 80 strength milestone that I've always been wanting to get. Took a while to finish this average specter task, but it was definitely worth it. I'm pretty sure this is the final uh, step. This clue. Let's see. Oh, oh, even better! Wow, magic shortbow! Holy shit! So I thought the magic shortbow was gonna be really good, but around this time, getting arrows for the magic shortbow is kind of rough. Like rune arrows is ideal, but you can't really get them really easily. There's no LMS and stuff, so I gotta wait for that rune crossbow. But it's cool to have as a backup. Here is 62 fishing right there, and now I can catch mofish. Next, I wanted to upgrade my food because lobsters are getting too weak for my healing needs nowadays. And especially for future content too, like bossing, I'm going to need better food. You might be guessing, is Carambons the next tier up? No, actually, it's Monkfish. Carambons did not get updated to be viable to farm till a few years later. Monkfish was actually the most convenient food at this time. And this will be the last fishing level for a little bit because I am done with AFKing, but yeah, got ourselves 66 fishing, that's pretty nice. I need to get 66 magic and 62 cooking for, you know, Swan Song. I want to show you how many lobsters I fished. Look at this, man. Over 2k lobsters already. That just shows you how much I've been AFKing, but yeah, that's going to be a lot of food. It'll last me a long time, which is good. To get 66 magic, I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way that I've been doing. I spent about a good 60-70k on my rune, so I have about 7,000-ish Fire Strike cast, and I'm, obviously I'm gonna use it on somewhere that I can get my money back, and it's gonna be Ice Trolls, of course. I would love to do something else, but Ice Trolls are so worth it at this point, so yeah, let's just go get the mage levels. Hey, look at that. Got 62 magic. Almost there, guys, to Swan Song. Two more levels to go. Yes, 65 magic has been achieved. Wow, that took a while. And what is this? Water wave and dirt age one. <laughs> 46.7k to go. It's gonna take a little longer. Dang, guys. I ran out of all of these 7,000 fire strikes that I have. Nine more experience, and we'll finally hit this. Yes, finally, guys. 66 magic has been achieved. And I can access the wizard skill. Cool. All that's left is that measly cooking level. All right here, 62 cooking. And there we go. That is 62 cooking done. And I can cook one fish. Oh yeah, that is why 62 cooking was a requirement. I totally forgot. That is 66 cooking. And I believe I would need four more for a recipe for disaster. But I'm almost done cooking. But uh, yeah, I've burned through about a good thousand plus lobsters in this one session already. But I'm just going to continue 
Wow, I'm already 68 cooking. That's insane. Only two levels to that 70. So I'm preparing to do the small song quest and the only things I need aside from scoring five inches I already have for all of them is about nine more mysteries. I already have one in the bank and I'm gonna gamble right now and use this water talisman to see if I can get myself the nine extra misruins. So here goes nothing. Oh, yes. Wow, way more than I needed. That's good. Alright, that saves me the trouble of having to, you know, uh, find more talismans and stuff. So that's good. I got everything that I need. So yeah, it's just uh, time to start the Swan Song quest whenever I get the chance. Alright, so I'm at the quest starting point for Swan Song. And yeah, man, let's go ahead and do this so I can catch some monkfish. Is it really that easy? I swear I, heard I, I, ha I had a hard time. 25k gold, and that is it. Swan Song done. Took like honestly 30 minutes. Oh snap! I just hit 50 prayer. I needed to take care of some unfortunate obstacles because at this time I was in college, so I needed to do a lot of AFK for schoolwork and studying. Regular skilling like fishing and woodcutting wasn't helping me out too too much anymore because monkfish was pretty fast to collect, so I got a bunch really quick. So I need to AFK something that will help me with my Zoro goal a bit more. So I've decided I need to set up the next big AFK activity, which is going to be AFK range training at Skeletal Wyverns. And Skeletal Wyverns requires 72 Slayer to kill. So that means I need to train Slayer. Thankfully, it's on route to the Zoro grind. So I wanted to do Wyverns because in December 2015, they got massively buffed to drop insane resources and alcohols. And it also had the 1 in 10,000 chance to get the Fissage for the Dragon Fire Shield. Back in 2015, Dragon Fire Shield is definitely one of the most sought after items. Trust me when I say that Wyverns was the economic gold rush of 2015 because everybody and their mom and their nans and kids were there. No other mobs were anywhere near this rewarding in 2015. That inspired a bunch of future Slayer monster buffs later on like Gargoyles and stuff. However, I needed to get that 72 Slayer and a lot of boats and a rune crossbow to camp them properly. Stuff like MSB won't cut it because I do need to wield that elemental shield. So raw bolts and rune crossbows an absolute must. So let's begin on this side goal. On the side, all of my GP is being invested into the kingdom of miscellaneous to prepare for future skilling, as you've heard. This is going to save me a ton of time for the herbal training that will have to happen eventually for things like range potions and restores and all that. And also my fletching as well for those broad bolts. So the kingdom gives me a ton of maple logs because I'm investing some in maple trees for the bird's nest too and the logs. So yeah, I'm kind of broke right now, 64k, but you know, we should be good for a while. And I will cash in the resources in a week. Hey, redemption time! Got a clue scroll. Alright, let, let me sit back real quick and see if I can do this. Please don't be a fishing guild one. Okay, we can do this. Ooh, we got Bandles Koi. That's sick! And uh, yeah, that'll be like the best range top, I mean uh, headgear that I can wear for a while. Once I hit 70 range that is. Ugh, I only need 8 more levels though. But that's gonna take a while as well. But yeah, that's cool, man. Not bad, not bad reward. All right, let's head back to them hellhounds, get some more loot. I decided uh, sporadically that I'm gonna go ahead and do underground pass to get the Ivan staff. And the reason why I wanna get it early is not really for barrels, but I will be using barrels, obviously. And so I can kill crazy archaeologists for them rune crossbow because I plan on 73 slayer immediately so I can AFK range, you know, at the skeletal waverns. So yeah, man, that's the plan. Let's go and start the underground pass. Holy shit, I wonder if it is just a straight line. No way! Can this be a straight line? Oh my god, guys. I think this is a fucking straight line. Oh, so close! The Ibn Staff was such a joke we wore for the longest time because it would only hold 50 charges despite having an insane high hit of 25. But they recently changed it so that it can hold 2,500 charges this update single-handedly changed the magic meta because now you have something so much stronger than your elemental spells. So to get the upgraded version to hold that many charges, I simply have to pay the guy by the entrance of underground pass 200k to unlock it. And then every time I got to charge it, I just go to the well to charge it for free. So preparation for wyverns cost me quite a bit of GP. I am currently just breaking even with my gold from Slayer. 
And shout out to Ice Trolls again for keeping my funds afloat. Let's see, it requires 55 fletching to create broad boats and I am only at a measly level 31. So what I need to do is I need to find a way obviously to get enough logs to uh, train my ass to 55 fletching. Now I have a pretty decent amount of willow logs, I'm glad that I AFK a shit ton of these. But I can only, you know, start when I'm at 35. But uh, even with these logs I don't think I'll get to 55. So what I need to do is with my kingdom, I'm actually gonna, for one time only, I will allocate my resources into mostly logs so that, you know, I can craft the maple logs so I don't have to cut it and just get 55 fletching out that. So I'm gonna actually do that right now because I really wanna start uh, preparing for the imminent AFK at the Skeletal Waverns. Let me just, you know, change my priorities today to all maple logs and let's see how much we get. Alright, hopefully this is a really good amount. I'd rather, you know, get an overabundance amount than, you know, not. So yeah, let's do this. Oh my days. Wow, not bad at all, guys. Look at that. 5,000 maple logs, man. Good stuff, and a decent amount of herbs. Okay, I think with 5,000 maple logs, but holy shit, man. Wow, my cash pile is dropping in this coffer. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put in like another 300k or something. Well, I guess I am kind of broke again. So I did Temple of Icar for the quick fletching experience and quest points. There we go, boys. 36 fletching has been achieved. That's the first fletching level I've got in a while. But yeah, these levels are going to go by pretty fast. So I'll see you guys at 40 fletching. Let's just hit 40 fletching. And that means I should be able to make the Will Lombos. That's going to be slightly better experience. So yeah, let me just show you how many logs I got left. 1.6k. I'm really hoping it lasts me at least... Mm, I'd say five levels. I don't. I'm not sure. Look at that, guys. We just hit 45 fletching, and I can make mithril arrows. And eh, not important, but unbelievable. I still have over 1,000 willow logs left. There we go, guys. Finally, 50 fletching has been achieved, and now I can fletch the maple short bows. And let's just see how much XP. Uh, the maple short boys. Wow, 50. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna see 55 fletching soon. So yeah, I'll see you at 55. Just one more log, guys. Just kidding. Not even 55 fletching, but I got 53. Ooh, I can make the toxic blowpipe. Wow, I didn't know it was that easy uh, to fletch. Wow, that actually went by pretty fast. Look at that, guys. 55 fletching. And there we have it. The ability to make maple longbows and broad bolts. That is awesome. So I'm gonna go uh, to the Slayer Master real quick and uh, see what the value of the rod tips are because I wanna see how much of these bolts I can make with the amount of money that I currently have. Yes, they are 55 GP each. If I buy 1,000 of these, it will cost me 55K. And obviously I also have to buy the feathers so it's gonna cost a little more than that. But I am definitely willing to go ahead and buy myself 2k of these. So when I, you know, add the feathers, it should be 2,000 bolts. But obviously I can't uh, use them right now because I don't have the rune crossbow yet. So I'm gonna go and try to kill some archaeologists. I hit 74 hit points at the archaeologist and guess what I got? Red Dehyde Body Voice. That's awesome. Not the item I was specifically looking for, but Definitely gonna help me with uh, range training, and this will be useful for Elite Clue if I ever do get one of these. So yeah, not bad. Yes, guys! Oh my days. Holy shit, I was getting kind of nervous that I was never gonna get this rune crossbow, but... Yo, we did it! Oh my days. That means I'm probably gonna train Slayer with range so I can get a 70 before I head up, you know, wave range. Hopefully by the time I'm 70 range, I'll be 72 Slayer as well. Yes, took me about 600. I've been blessed. Totally worth it though. So, 2,000 broad bolts have been made. This blue dragon test will actually be pretty good for it as well. So I don't have to bring food and I can bank the bones and hands and stuff, so not bad. I need to get myself an Ava's accumulator. This is much better than the attractor. Damn, they really did pack everything. Now I can just kill blue dragons at the naive dungeon. Hey, look at this guys, 64 range. We're taking a little detour right now to try to get some more upgrades because I am getting pretty close to unlocking the rune gloves 
if I just complete Monkey Madness recipe for the disaster part and also the legend skill part, then I can get myself rune gloves. I just need to get 70 cooking and do some quests to get some more agility XP. So we're going to go ahead and get that done first before we go back to Slayer. And there we have it, 70 cooking. And I remember that is a requirement for recipe for disaster. Of course, how many times have I done this quest already? So uh, the cooking uh, requirement is already out of the way. So that's a Black Dragon Slain for Sir Unlock Vas portion of recipe for disaster. And that is another quest in recipe for the disaster. There we go guys, 31 herb has been achieved. The reason why I'm doing this right now is because I am going to probably finish Agar's Reels. Time to turn in Troll Romance Quest. I'm just doing this because I'm also working on Agar's Reels right now, I'm about to finish that as well. Yeah, anyways, look at that guys. 8,000 agility experience, that's what I've been going for. And now I'm 46 agility, so I was working on the Monkey Madness portion of recipe for disaster but you know, I realized oh I don't have enough agility I needed 48 so now I can just do uh, two levels at Kenefis rooftop course and it'll be pretty easy yay Edgar's Reese is done and we can now use Trollheim teleport and this should get me 48 agility yeah guys right there and now I can use the Apatol agility course and the Freemanic uh, shortcut cool all right let's go back and finish up this uh, monkey Madness portion of recipe for disaster. Yes. All right, this part is complete. So I should be able to buy the rune gloves now. Oh, look at those rune gloves. Oh my days. Yes. I want to get myself two of these. Okay, I forgot how much this gives in like strength and stuff. So let me just see. Wait a minute. What was that? Eight strength bonus. Oh my goodness. Eight everything. That's so good. Hallelujah, 68 Slayer, slowly working there, 4 levels to go to 72 uh, Slayer, the ultimate goal. Hey, 67 range guys, 3 more levels to go, voila, look at that, 68 range right there, very very nice. And we got 63k to 69 range, so yeah, 2 more levels to go, and we can finally wear black DI, I can't wait, this is so newbie man, I can't be wearing green D hide stuff anymore. Check this out guys, just hit 69 range. I realized that I go through Broad Bolt so fast that I might as well just spend all my money whenever I get the chance on Broad Bolt, to be honest. Just because I can probably get it back for sure. So yeah, let's just go for it, man. Spend 200k on Broad Bolts. 56 flitching, boys. Pretty nice. And I am halfway done, a little bit more, with uh, making all my Broad Bolts. And uh, I'll head back to, you know, Slayer. Oh yeah, baby. 69 Slayer, guys. Been waiting for this because it's been a while since I've actually gotten a Slayer level. It's so slow. GG. I'm gonna get 70 range before I can even hit 70 Slayer. And I need three more Slayer levels, so wow. This grind is pretty real. We're finally here, guys. I think just one hit for now, I should be 70 range, so let's get this over with finally. And there we go. 70 range. Oh my goodness. I've been waiting so long for this day. Oh, now I look like a normal account. I'm not a noob anymore. Kinda, I'm still a noob. But look at this. No need for the green dehyde chat and stuff. Wait, what was like the bonus upgrade? So I was at 133, and with these, it's, it's 147. Nice, not bad at all. 14 plus range points. That's great. Alright, so that's. Pretty much almost everything ready for uh, AFK, you know, Wavering Camping. All I need now is just three more Slayer levels. Three more. It's gonna be hell though. Sony range will be good enough to start the Wyvern AFK when I get there. So I'm gonna go back to training melee because it'll speed up my Slayer XP. And I will be focusing on getting 70 defense just in case I plan on getting some barrels done soon. Because bear scare requires 70 defense. So I want to be able to actually use it. And what's the next one? Ooh, new task is to kill 124 spiritual creatures. Oh my god, I'm pretty excited about that. And I know for sure that they give a lot of good alcohol. So yeah, that's really good money. Holy shit. And yeah, I just recently did, you know, Edgar's Reviews last episode. So I can just get there instantly. Oh, look at this, guys. Just hit 65 defense. 
And here I am at God Wars Dungeon, just killing uh, the Sunrakian warriors. So I am back from that uh, spiritual warrior task, and I got like probably 100k plus uh, from that task. Last task I actually hit 1200 total, which is pretty cool. And there we go, 70 slur has been achieved. Oh, and also a clue scroll. Probably gonna take like 6-7 hours, it's ridiculous just for one of these levels. And I also have to go for two, so there we go. Yes, one more defense level to go until the, you know, sexy 70 for them Barrow's Armor. There we go, look at that guys, 70 defense obtained. Time to switch back to strength and get that to 80, hopefully I can get that. And also 72 Slayer around the same time, that'd be nice. And in terms of Slayer, we got 30k to go to 71. Look at that guys, 38 Herb Blast been achieved, and I can now make Rare Potions, so I wanted to get that so I can uh, do the Spiritual Warrior task as Army Place, because I don't have a Rare Potion right now, so I make myself one right now. Yeah, let's make two actually. Alright guys, this will be the last kill. And there we have it, finally, 71 Slayer. Okay, one more level to go. Well, there it is guys, 80 straight has been achieved. Yes! Something good, Greater Demons, perfect. Okay, I'll definitely be getting 72, I'm so excited. Anytime, 117, okay, there we go. Yes, 72 Slayer has been achieved. What's up, you can now kill Skeleton Wyverns. Oh my god, yes. Took forever to do this. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna go freaking kill some Wyverns right now. Oh shit, bad idea, uh oh. My stats are down to zero now. GG! Well, here I am, just uh, training my life away at Waverns and AFK, the shit out of them. So, in terms of AFK, they are quite amazing, but definitely finding a world was a pain, definitely. It took, took me quite a while. But, um, other than that, it's amazing, the drops are really nice. I mean, I personally have killed Waverns on my main account, and when they buffed this, I'm going to be here pew pewing with my rune crossbow and broad bolts whenever I want to AFK and get hella resources and range levels for hours at a time. We will be getting lots of good herb seeds like ranars and snaps or prayer and super restore potions. Massive for bossing. Also lots of craft XP from the gems and the battle staves and tons of money for aux. Also pear essence for some eventual rune crafting and many more resources. Wyverns are still a pretty good place to AFK and get resources in 2023, so if you want to do this, you totally can. Uh, I will give a few pointers though, you definitely want a Mind Shield or Elemental Shield, because when they are aggressive, without that on, you will take massive damage, so definitely have that on. Also, bring some food with you, because they will be aggressive for at least 10 minutes, so you do need to just tough it out for at least 10 minutes, but once they lose their aggression, Depending on where you are in the area, you can choose one of the four safe spots in the main room, as you can see in the screen, to safe spots. So there's four safe spots, there's two in the north and two in the south. Okay, so I just finished my first trip of Waverns, I used about 2k bolts, and yeah man, the loot is very nice. I had to uh, leave because um, I got aggroed again and I didn't have any food. So, we'll be going right back, but first of all, I'm actually gonna spend like probably 300k in bolts or something you know so i can stay there longer damn some guy just got a fissage drop one day that's gonna be me freaking out over that fissage drop so far the wyvern plan has been a massive success because it's super afk like two minutes at a time kind of deal so i can get a lot of schoolwork done oh my goodness guys yes Oh, that looks so good on the ground. Dragon Blade Legs, that is gonna be so sick. So, so sick for Slayer. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, now I don't have to use my newbie Rune Blade Legs anymore. And uh, also, speaking about upgrading armor, man. Oh, I definitely want to get the torso very, very soon. I think this weekend, if I have time, I'll definitely uh, ask my friends and go get it. So, I'm going to be collecting my spoils for the kingdom for like the first time for real. I'm actually gonna put in 400k all my money in there so I don't have to come back as often. But now I am going to go ahead and collect all the resources. And look at that. Amazing. Wow. 88 Harlanders. 
Garrett's. And where them Rainers at? Oh, nice, 30. That's really good. Should be able to help me uh, get towards 45 Herblore pretty nicely. 45 Herblore would be nice to make super attacks, so that way I can speed up my Slayer tasks a bit more for the harder tasks that are tankier. There we go, guys. 73 range has been achieved. Very, very nice. The XP is definitely very slow here, but with the amount of AFK I do here, we're definitely going to be seeing some uh, more range levels very soon. Just got 70 hit points as well right after the range level. Oh my goodness, Barbarian Assault is pure Ebola, but I finally killed the queen. So I spent a bit of time collecting snake grass at the water bird place. It was a pain, but yeah, got enough to make around 200 pair of potion, 3 doses, and here we go. First uh, herbal level of the day, we're probably going to get a lot more, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the end, I guess. There we go, there we go, right there, 45 Herblore, and now I can make super attack potions. Oh man, that is great. Alright, how many errors do I have? Ooh, my goodness, 170. Dang, I can make myself 170 super attacks, wow, that's really, really good. There we go, the final Herblore level for now. 48 herb lore. Ooh, and I can make super anti-poison too, which is good because I also need that for stuff like uh, Diagonals whenever I go around to, you know, killing Rex and stuff. Made a lot of potions now, 200 prayer, uh, 171 super attacks, etc. After living in the caves at Wyverns for way too long, I decided it was time to see some sunlight and go touch some grass, like in RuneScape of course to get more Slayer upgrades to speed up that Zora journey. So the first upgrade I wanted was the Berserker Ring. I want to work on Barrows to get better armor for Diagonal Rex though before I go and get that Berserker Ring. E-Ring is too important to not get as it will save me lots of time grinding Slayer with those two guaranteed extra max hits. Our stats are now plenty good enough to start doing Barrows and I also have plenty of Prayer Potions thanks to the Wyverns dropping a ton of seeds and me being able to farm them. First ever Bros chest, guys. Let's see what we got. Pretty excited about this. <gasps> Yo, we got cut and skirt. Oh my god, are you serious? First Bros chest, guys, and we got the cut and skirt. God, that is awesome, man. One of the most important Bros pieces to get in, in the beginning, and I got it. I've never got myself a Dragon Dagger, and I kind of want to get myself one right now, so let's go and get one. And I also have a Weapon Poison that I got from Anchor, so yeah, let me just poison this. It's going to be pretty good at Arums because uh, I tried using Broad Bolts, it's, it's a little too slow, so hopefully this uh, DDS specs will help a lot. Okay, I think this is chest number 8 or something. <gasps> Holy shit! No way, guys. Oh my goodness, two Borrows items already. And uh, only eight Barrows chests. What is going on? Yo, this this guy's Barrows luck is amazing. Holy shit, this is so good. Two items already, guys. Let's go. We're gonna be doing this all day long. All right, decided that I'm just gonna get myself a Mystic Top. I know I could get this later at Garbos, but the, those three Sarah levels would be a bitch to get anyway. So let's just go get this. I'm gonna be broke, 22k, but it's gonna be really good for our Barrows. As for gear, we got Ivan Staff, which will cover easily five of the brothers, and we got that Rune Crossbow with Rubbles to cover the last brother, Arams. Also, Dragon Scimitar too for finishing off the minions down under for the optimal rune chance because we want as much bonus runes as possible. I believe it is two skeletons and one blood rune, which is around 86%, which gives optimal runes. Going higher tends to give you more other rewards instead, so I don't want those. I need to stop doing borrows to be honest, but uh, yeah, we just got 69 magic, one more level to the mighty 70. I have a feeling we might get something. <gasps> oh my goodness, Aram World Skirt and an Elite Clue. Oh, that's nice. This Aram Skirt is actually really nice. Oh my god. I made sure to complete Shades of Morning Quest because doing so gives me the minigame teleport. This teleport is absolutely amazing because you can use it every 20 minutes to get super close to Barrows, saving me immense walking time. I used the Ring of Dueling to reset my stats at Clan Wars as there was no Ferox Enclave yet. Then I would use Shades of Morn Teleport to get back to Barrows quickly. 
There was no Barrel's Teleport yet, so this was as good as it got, other than Fair Rings, which is significantly slower route. Number 52. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh man, this is why I'm so fucking addicted to Barrel's right now. The Rock Legs, I have the Rock Legs and Axe, which is great. Well, um, I'm gonna be using the Rock Legs and of the Skirt, uh, just because it's a little bit better defense. I really want to get the Plate Body and the uh, Helmet and stuff before I, you know, leave, so I'm just gonna keep trying. Just stocked up on over 15k Fire Runes because I'm gonna head back to Barrels, guys. Wish me luck, we're gonna get some nice drops, hopefully. Holy shit! <laughs> Aram's Rose Top? What? Okay, not the melee top that I'm looking for, but yo, that's actually pretty useful uh, for barrels just because, dude, some of these guys, you know, I splash on quite a bit, so having a Mystic Top upgrade is actually really nice. Too bad I can't use it yet, though. I need one more Magic Level to go. I think I can get it within uh, today, so yeah, I'm so excited. Or tomorrow. I got pretty lucky with full arrows, which is basically best in slot magic at the time and will come in super handy for Zora as most of the fight is heavily magic focused. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that, but I just hit 70 magic and I get access to Earth Wave, but dude, forget about that. I got the arrows top and bottom waiting for me in my bank. Bye bye Mystics, because uh, I'm going to be using the arrows right after this. Okay, maybe this will be the one? Oh, so close. Kinda. I'm now 32 chest drive. Yeah, RNG is finally catching up to me, man. A nice achievement, 100 chests done. So, the last time I got a Barrel's item was at around like chest 58 or something. And look at how many chests I've done ever since that. 142. And, um, uh, can you think of how many items? I could have possibly gone within those two numbers. Nothing. I've got nothing, dude. Just straight runes, no uniques. Yeah, and I've gone through 5,000 Ivan staffs uh, charges. A little more, probably, ever since. And I'm about to open up uh, chest 143, and I don't have enough charges to go for another one, so if I don't get you know, something from this, I'm gonna have to go back, recharge, and come back again. So, yeah, let's just go for it. That is uh, so demotivating. Holy shit. I'm like 85 chest dry. What the fuck? <gasps> yes! Finally, boys, we got something. After 96 chest, guys. But that, that feels so good. Okay. So, that is one of the items I was looking for a melee barrels. Uh, helmet and I got it So now all I need to do is get myself a melee Play body and we'll be out of here. We are gonna get a chest plate right now. I Jinxed it guys. I shouldn't have said that. All right. Let's look for a back-to-back -back. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yo Yo, there we go What that is awesome. I actually did get a back-to-back Bro, we just got Varax Plate Skirt! Yo, that's better than Gutton Skirt and the Derox Legs. Wow, that is freaking awesome, man. Dude, okay, three items already. So, yeah, I guess being dry does have its merits. I have a good feeling about this one. <gasps> Yo, this Barrel's Luck is on point. Chest number 160. Holy shit, we got four Barrel's items today already. Man, feels so good after breaking a 90, almost 100 chest dry streak to come back with some crazy kick-ass, you know, drops. Woo, yeah, baby. Now we got a top and a helmet and the skirt. Oh, that is so good. You know what, I think I should probably stop doing Barrel's for now because, like, it beats my room play body. And yeah, I, mean, I can't really say it's a bad thing. It's really good. I have done 187 chests since I've started, I believe, like three or four days ago. And I've been going really, really, really hard at barrels. The Brazard's defense is about the same as a rune play. 
See this? This is my defense, right? With the replay, and I put this on. Yeah, I only get like 10 in, in some instances, and that's about it. 14 out of the 187 chests. Let me show you my runes. Look at this. I started, I believe, with like 1k chaos runes. Look at this. 26k. Okay, so I have like no blood runes, and look at this. 6k. And my runes, I had a few thousand. Probably like 3k, but look at that. 48k, and I... And I'm pretty damn sure I have like 800 death runes when I started doing barrels, and now I'm at 7.7k. Also, while I was at the crazy barrels grind for the past few days, I've gotten 1,250 plus total, which is good. But um, in terms of experience gains, um, I believe I started barrels with 68 magic, or 67, and now I'm at 73, so I guess the experience for magic wasn't so bad at all. I decided now to head off to DK's with this setup and get the Berserker Ring. This is a very important detail because the Spinal Lip minions, which is spread throughout the room where you fight Rex, uses a range attack that can poison and a range based magic attack that drains prayer. Meaning both of their attacks is affected by my range defense, so the higher my range, the less likely these guys will hit me in general. I also grabbed some super anti-poisons for free north of Castle Wars as there is a spawn there so I hopped worlds a bit. The hardest part of storing Rex is definitely getting in. If you have friends to help you it's easy but I went solo and the trick to sneak in solo is to go in and hope that Prime Supreme is far enough away from the ladder that they don't see you. And then you run along the south wall hoping they don't see you and once you get to Rex safe spot you will be good to go. I would be slaying these guys if I had guns. <gasps> oh my god! Yo! Persecuring 8th kill! That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, it looks so nice to have that Berserker Ring in the bank. Mm -mm. I tried to do this elite that I got a while ago, but I uh, can't even do it because of this Black Dragon High Vamp Races requirement, so... Oh, wow. So far, these clues hasn't been too great. It's just rune stuff. Jeez. Alright, anyways, just hit 74 attack, very nice, and I just hit 94 combat as well. Bloodville task done, and let's move on to the next one. Yes, 159 Great Demons. Wow, these tasks have been great. I'm now going to try to attempt a fight caves and uh, see if I can get the fire cave. So my stats are pretty solid for Jack. 77 range, the most important skill, honestly, for the fight caves with what I got, and I also got... Some pizza that I made with shields for 22 total, which is pretty good HP. And the bot bolts too is pretty solid, so I think I got what it takes uh, to try out and hopefully get the fire cape. Dang it, there was one major flaw with the first attempt, and that is I did not bring enough prayer potions. So what happened is I ended up trying to prayer flake a little too much and got hit. You know, when I messed up at the 360s, it cost me a lot of food. And yeah, I'm going to bring more prayer potions for the second attempt. Alright guys, Jad is about to spawn, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, there it is. Where's Jad? Oh, there it is. Yes, yes, come on. We can hit higher, come on. Come on, 20 prayer. Okay, 22 HP. Okay, come on. This is the last hit. I just need to hit this. Oh, I think we got it. Oh! Yes! We did it! We did it! Oh my god, yes! Turn that music on right now. Fuck yes! Oh my god, it's done. It's done. With half a piece of slice, homie. With half a piece of slice. Get at me guys, 9 per points, half a pizza slice. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, we are looking gorgeous today! Woo! Well, today has been crazy as hell. I got a Berserker Ring in 8 kills. I got the Fire Cave in my second attempt. And yeah, man, I honestly didn't think I would get any of it today. I mentioned previously I was going to go ahead and get myself a fighter torso because it's going to be my best slayer training top for a while as it gives plus 4 strength which is basically a banished chest plate without having to go through all the god wars. It's just simply from Barbarian Assault minigame so I just went with my friends and we just did the game enough times to get the points for it. I got 375 points 
in collector. Yes! Woo, we did it. Okay. All right, let me check this points real quick, guys. What we got? 375 everything. Get rewards from the commander. Where is it? Oh, Bennett's torso. I accept. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Now I look kind of pro, except with this amulet. We don't talk about this amulet here. But yeah, that is so sick. All right, there we go, guys. Just uh, completed hand the sand quest. And that allowed me to get 44 thieving and 50 crafting. That is pretty nice. Ooh, I can craft ruby amulets. Okay, let me go to bird to collect my first day of the sand. Yay, now I have 84 sand in the bank. So yeah, if I do this every day, 84 times 7 real quick, that should be, wow, almost 600 sand a week. I forgot to mention, but this is so I can train crafting in the future a lot easier. The earlier I start this, the more sand I can collect and saves me a lot of effort from competing with other people at Charships. Again, very competitive in 2015. Next, I wanted to work on some Nightmare Zone preparations. I still have to imbue a Berserker Ring for better stats and also my Black Mass as well with Nightmare Zone points so that it gives me the bonuses for Ranger Magic. However, I want to optimize my Nightmare Zone points grind per hour by completing the Lunar's quest series as those bosses will give me insane points in the Nightmare Zone. Also, the Lunar spell book will come in handy in the future. I went about and got 61 mining at the good old Muddle Mine. For the 61 crafting, I went back to do some more charge ships. I still need about a little bit over a thousand because uh, I have an extra plan. I got some, you know, uncut gems that I can cut for a pretty generous amount of experience. So I may need less than the original 2.5. But yeah, man, this is a uh, pretty damn slow. It's going to take a few more hours uh, to get the rest. So I'm going to try to grind it out. Probably finish it up by like uh, tomorrow around the same time, like 1 a.m. again. But yeah, still pretty competitive at this late time. After many hours of world hopping and being pissed off because I keep getting disconnected for hopping too much, I finally have enough buckets of sand and soda ash. Well, a little bit less than the original, but this is definitely enough. Here we are at 52 crafting, and now I can craft. Serpentine Visage, interesting. Or oh, the Serpentine Helmet. Right now, I'm in the process of uh, just getting to 55 so I can make the Slayer Helmet. Yes! Oh my god, 55 crafting. I've been waiting a long time for this. Members can now cut Dragonstones, Dragonstone Rings. Ooh, Ring of Wealth, that's interesting. And make the Slayer Helmet. Oh my god. Let's get out of here, man. I'm done with crafting for now. Because I'm gonna turn my uh, Black Mask into a Slayer Helmet. Let's do it. Okay guys, it's time to make the Slayer Helm. Oh, that looks good. One step closer guys to looking like a freaking pro. Oh, man, that looks so good. This is now my uh, Slayer setup, I guess. Looks pretty solid, but yeah, this is really good. Making some crazy equipment upgrades this week. Loving it. Here we are with the next assignment. Ooh, Hellhounds. That's going to be a smorgasbord of the... Hi, Clues Girls, let's go. Just hit 75 attack, we just need 5 more attack levels to go for the 80 attack milestone goal. It's gonna take a little bit, but with the uh, new setup that I have, we're gonna be getting it a lot faster than I did with 80 strength. Let's do this. You've done it. Oh! Ooh! Got these chaps, guys! Nice! That's another unique item, man. Way better than my Black Dehyde, though. Because uh, this thing has an extra prayer bonus, which is pretty, pretty good. There we go, 73 Slayer, guys. It took forever, man. It's like a week since I've gotten my last Slayer level. Hey, what's the next closest thing that I can kill? Gargoyles at 75. Ooh, two more levels to go, but this is so slow. Yay, 57 mining, guys. Three more levels to go. Oh my god, yes, finally. We got 60 mining and, oh, in interesting, mining guild. Yes, that is Lunar Diplomacy requirement done. Nice, 58 crafting. I can now craft Earth Battle Staves and a Diamond Bracelet. Hmm, oh, interesting. Finally, 61 crafting has been hit. And now we can start the quest finally for uh, those sexy Nightmare Zone points gains. I got 1 million in the Kingdom of Miscellanea and I still got 200k in my bank. I just spent like 300k 
buying a lot of uh, unfinished rod bolts and feathers. But right now, we're gonna head back and finish up the Lunar Diplomacy. Come on, this better be the one. Please, please don't fall. Oh, wow. Finally, after all the skilling struggles and the quest struggles, we are done with Lunar's Diplomacy. The next quest will be a lot, lot smoother and quicker. There we go, Lunar Diplomacy is now complete. Ooh, nice, nice. Good amount of experience. What? This thing got me to 23 runecrafting? Holy shinzel. I did not see that coming. That is great. Good thing I got the extra Gaoui from Edgar's Rears quest, because you're gonna need this for Dream Enter if anybody's doing this. Come on, just need one more hit. And did we get it? Yes, we did. Oh, that fight was pretty challenging, actually. Some of these guys hit really hard, actually. And... There we go. Dream Enter is now complete. Nice amount of uh, experience points. Oh, got a lamp. Alright, let's use that on hit points. Nice, 15k. With that done, I can finally uh, head over to Nightmare Zone and see if we can get some Nightmare Zone points. A little bit under 2 million to be exact to upgrade the Berserker Ring and the Black Mask. Hopefully it goes by fast. Look at that, 78 range. So yeah, I'm, I'm back at Wyverns for a little bit. <laughs> Gonna take a break from the uh, crazy gains that we've had the past few days. And yeah, try to basically get some more money for future stuff like Kingdom and probably Barrels Repairs. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. Now that I got, you know, Barrow's equipment. After trying a bit of Nightmare Zone, I realized just the Lunar bosses wasn't enough. I also needed to get the Desert Treasure bosses in there as well, because for some reason, having those two sets of bosses inflates your points a ton. So it's finally time to get the requirements for Desert Treasure and finally get that done. Wow, I think this is the longest I've stayed at Wyverns. Look at this, 540k. Uh, cash stack. I'm out of here though. Gotta work on those imbues. So what I need to do now is uh, go ahead and do desert treasure. Yes, 45 thieving guys. Finally. Okay, now I can uh, pickpocket some bearded bandit thugs in Polyvian. Now that's what I've been aiming for because it's like pretty much the fastest XP in game. So yeah, man, it's time to go and bang out 53 thieving. I believe that's all I need. Four desert treasure and one fire making level. Easy stuff, let's do it. Oh my days, we got 47 thieving. And let me tell you, I never do this method of uh, thieving, but this is like my only option to get it done really fast. And oh my goodness, it is so click intensive. And at low levels, you fail a lot too. So you gotta also click a shit ton uh, up the stairs and stuff as well. So. Yeah, it's pretty painful, but we're gonna get this through six more levels to go. There we go, finally guys, 53 thieving has been achieved. Okay, so the last requirement uh, for Desert Treasure is just to get 50 fire making, so yeah, let me just quickly bang that out. And there is the easy 50 fire making. By the way, I hit 1300 total a while ago, didn't notice. Alright, we got 50 agility now, so I got detoured because apparently you can't buy lockpicks unless you're 50 thieving and agility, so yeah, now I got access to the lockpick seller, so I'm gonna go buy some lockpicks and finally start the quest. There we go. First boss killed, nice. We're gonna move on to the other ones. Oh my god, wow. Yes, the luck is real, guys. Only took me uh, one, two, three, six lockpicks to get it. Wow. I remember before, it took me like three inventories, but hallelujah, man. Life was easy. So, yeah, it's time to uh, go to the pyramid for the final part. So excited. And we made it past the pyramid in one try. And there it is. Desert Treasure Quest is finally complete. I finally got enough points now to imbue the Berserker Ring, so after doing Desert Treasure, I am getting like 5 to 6 times more points than... No, I'm getting honestly like 10 times as many points at like inadequacies and stuff, and like 5 times on most of the other mobs, so yeah, we got 650k, then that means I can upgrade the Berserker Ring, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness, guys, we did it. 
Berserker Ring has finally been imbued. And because it is so fast to get points now, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and imbue the Black Mask, like right now. It's gonna take twice as long, so I'm guessing around a little less than two hours, but it is well worth it. I forgot to formally mention that I did get the Slayer Helm imbue, took 1.25 million Nightmare Zone points, which took a little bit under two hours, so that was really good. And Slayer is even better now, because then I can mix it up with magic and range training and get the boost from the Slayer Helmet as well. Oh my god. That is awesome. Gothix Play Body and a Seradom install. There we go. Look at that. 74 Slayer. Looks good. One more level until I can uh, slay some gargoyles, man. Get that grand of all. Got 114k to go. That's like 10 plus hours of Slayer. Easily. So yeah, rest in peace. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and increase Wyvern tasks. Just because I'm gonna be there all the time anyways. It is time to prepare for full completion of recipe for disaster for the best gloves in 2015. Barrow's gloves. I am only short a few quest points, so I just did a bunch of leftover easy quests to 175. If you're not sure what quest to do, the old school wiki's got a nice solid quest order. That should get your account nicely rounded before bossing. Or you can just wing it like I did. Finally, we have ourselves 56 agility. Really good achievement right there, so... Yes, I will be working on those elf quests uh, once I'm done, I think, going for Barrow's Gloves. Gonna go ahead and do the Golem and a few other quests. Task completes. And we have the Golem quest done. Okay, let's move on to the next one, Shadow of the Storm. Put this into head points. And there we go, Shadow of the Storms is now complete. Hey, okay, I need two more quest points. I'm gonna get one from doing free Evil Dave, and I am going to do Rag and Bowman to get the last points. There we go, Rag and Bowman quest is done. So that is 174 quest points, so yeah, let's head over to finish Evil Dave part. Everything is done now, all the mini quests for Recipe for Disaster. And now I have exactly enough quest points, so yeah, time to slay some uh, easy bosses and get them barrels glows. Oh, I'm stupid, guys. I can't even do this quest yet. Wow. I need to do Heart from the Deep. Is it me or does this always happen to me? Where I think I have everything done, but I don't. There we go. The last quest I need to do for real this time. For the final part of recipe for disaster. The Gobble reward is nice prayer and offensive stats when I fill them. Unfortunately, you cannot get all the books at once. You had to completely fill a book to get your next one. So I made sure to get the ancient one just in case I can fill that one for Zora because it gives the highest magic accuracy. The fights were pretty easy because by the time I got 72 Slayer, my stats was already beefed up. Woo! And there it is. Congratulations, you have defeated the Colomancer for them nice points. Oh my goodness. What am I going to put my 20,000 experience on, guys? Oh, it has to be level 50 plus. Oh, that's that's tough. Um, I'm going to use it on Herbalo when I get to 50, but... Anyways, let's go down to the basement and get them barrels close. Been waiting all ages for it. I'm going to get myself two, actually, because I'm pretty swagged out with cash right now, so... Let's do that. Buy items. Oh my god, there it is. Mmm, juicy. Yes, and I completed task too. Oh my god, let's put this stuff on. Yes! Wow, that is so good. That matches barrels quite nicely. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Just uh, hit 80 attack. And yeah, that was another long-term lovely milestone that I wanted to reach. So now that is out of the way, I think I'm gonna work a little bit on the fence. Probably just gonna get it to 80. First, uh, hard for my first Iron Dragon task. And let me just say that these guys are quite a pain. I tried using Dragon Skimitar and uh, it was okay. I think uh, the Leap Blade Sword is doing a better job. Ah, uh, there it is. Armor Stand, 55 construction guys. So, probably gonna get to like 52 so I can boost. With the saw and yeah, we're gonna get that. Here I go with 61 woodcutting and I can now use a Dragon Hatchet. So definitely gonna wanna head over to Rex sometime 
Maybe when I get like a tank play body of barrels to get that during a slayer task or something. But anyways, I did the math for 55 construction. It's gonna take around 2,000 and like 700 ish alt logs planks. And I got cash to, you know, turn all these logs into planks. It's gonna cost about 700k or so. I got like 1.6 mil, so it's fine. Instead of just boosting from like 50 or whatever, I'm just gonna go and get 55 construction. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Gonna have a lot of things unlocked, like probably some Kurel portal unlocked, prayer altar in the house too as well, and of course the armor stand's gonna be nice. After a multiple amount of hours, I finally got all of the oak logs that I need converted to oak planks, so um, I got 238k left. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a butler to help me uh, get the construction levels a little bit faster since uh, going back and forth from the bank to the house is a bit annoying and I s still have, you know, leftover cash so might as well just use it and I will see you with some crazy construction gains in a bit. You know what, I changed my mind about getting a butler because this NPC here can actually denote this for me and since my house is in Remington anyways, I can just like travel back and forth here relatively fast. And there is my first construction level for today. I think I'm just gonna record every 10 levels as I go until I hit 55. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh wow, I just realized Oak Ladars is actually 33 construction. I'm gonna make myself a kitchen right now and I should be able to uh, level up even faster now versus doing the chairs. And this one should give me 41 construction. Oh snap, really? I thought I was recording for 40 construction. Oh well, that came by so fast. Okay, these planks are going down really, really, really fast now. So I'll see you at 50, I guess. I'm about to quickly get myself that 50 con. Nice. Maximum 22 roots. Portal chamber, very nice. And I am looking for that altar. Yes, we got it right there. Teak altar. Good stuff. Okay, anyways, we got five more levels to go. And believe it or not, I still got over 1k. Alright, this is my last inventory that I need to do. That kinda went by pretty fast, I'll be honest. I actually kinda enjoyed uh, collecting all of the oak logs, all 2.7k of them, and also turning them into the planks and then using uh, them all up to finally get this sexy ass level. 55 construction, oh yeah. You can now build armor stands. That is what I am talking about, that is great, okay. So I got a lot of furnishing to do in my player own port house. I'm gonna pimp this place up quite a bit. Gonna get an altar, also get, you know, that armor stand and some portals. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so nice, guys. Yep, there it is, the oak altar made. And also I got myself the armor repair stand and some portals that I haven't tuned yet. The armor stand is absolutely huge since I'm going to be using Barrel's armor a ton and it's going to be expensive to repair. But with the armor stand, the cost is about half of what I would spend at Bob the Builder or whatever guy in Lumbridge. So definitely worth the investment. Behind the scenes, I'm still doing a bunch of clues and mix up with quests because I often need to do the quest to unlock more clue steps. But they go together and it helps just to progress the account in general. Right now, it's getting me closer to getting the elf stuff done because I need to finish those quests anyways so I can unlock Zora. So this is working out pretty nice for overall general progression and also towards the Zora goal. Alright, let's turn in this regicide quest. Don't have to go back to the underground pass. Well, from the original entrance anymore, which is great. Nice, 13,750 agility experience. Really nice. 5k to 57, okay, so I need to do a one more quest, Roving Elves, and then I need to start Morning Zen Part 1 for this elite clue. And yeah, pretty much all the hard clues as well that requires me to, you know, go to the elf place is all unlocked, so that's really nice. Oh damn, you also have to do Morning Zen Part 1 just to access Lydia. Oh shit. Well, I guess the journey just got a little longer. Let's turn in... The Woven Elves quest. What am I gonna use? Of course, Crystal Shield. Yes, shield please. And that's it. Woven Elf quest is done. 
Now I just need to move on to Morning Zen Part 1 and uh, get that out of the way really quickly. Okay, never mind. It turns out I don't really have to finish the quest because, you know, once I started the quest, it already took me to Lydia. I don't really feel like questing anymore. I just want to get back into like some elite clue scroll action and whatnot. Oh my goodness. What step is this? Second step of this elite clue requires me to do the great brain robbery. Finally. It's really over, I think. And before, you know, this elite clue tells me to do another quest before I can take the spawn or whatever. There you go. Great brain robbery quest is now completed. Oh yeah. What is that? 1A4. Quest one's cool, cool. Oh wait, what can I put this on? Can I put on anything? Nice, yes. That means I got 52 herbler. Super energy potions, good. Been looking forward to making those for them. Herbal experience and those potions, you know, they're pretty good in the near future for them. Stamina pods. Wow, this elite clue is a troll. I still ended up having to uh, start Morning Zen and get quite far so I can actually continue further with this clue. Rip. Well, guys, this is the seventh step of the elite clue. And yeah, I don't have a slip bark body and I don't have a rune bucket helmet. So that kind of sucks, man. Got so far and still couldn't get it done. But since I'm so close to finishing, I'm definitely just going to leave it in my bank until one of these hard clues gives me a bucket helm. And then once I get that, I'll go kill some Chaos Fanatics for the body and then we'll be good to go. Just finished uh, the elf task and I already got myself um, about 19 crystals or 18 because I already have one. So nice. Pretty good for some uh, magic tree of king if I ever get around to doing those in the future. Or just teleporting to Lydia for some like clue scrolls or whatever. Nice, 72 defense. Alright guys, back to the Slayer grind. Mm, I think I'm gonna get one more Slayer level or so before I head over to that green dragon grind for that 70 prayer. Holy shit, look at that guys, 75 Slayer. Oh my god, I wish I wasn't in combat so I can see that you can now kill gargoyles. Can we finally get these gargoyle tasks? 131 dust devils, interesting. Never got this before on this Iron Man. I'm currently taking a detour so I can get 58 herblers so I can use the herb sack. The only way to get it is from Slayer in 2015. For those of you that are curious, whenever I do Aberrant Spectre tasks, I save a lot of time from having to bank. Because without the herb sack, you bank so much more often. And Aberrant Spectres are massive for herbler training in 2015 on the Ironman. I just did the math. Right now, I have about 80 something thousand herbal experience in herbs you know to turn into potions so i'm gonna see if i can uh, collect the extra 18k that i need oh my god okay right here alone it's about 10k experience um Terramin, that's okay Let's see here that's ah it's really hard to say man this is 10k and i'm hoping if i do all these other three herbs i can't do these other four then that should be 20k i think we got it no it's really good okay let me see if I got money left. Alright, let's deposit some more. Can never be too safe, you know? 400k, bam, broke again. With 100k to spare. Alright, let's try and get this herbal level in a few moments. Oh my god, now I start to uh, realize how stupid of an idea it is to collect gold horns this way. You know what's funny? I used to do this way back in the day in like 2000, I don't know, like 2007 or something? You know, back when I was a little kid and I did like hundreds of these. And this is so slow, you know what? I think I'm gonna call it quits. I'm just gonna make uh, super energies. No, I'm just gonna make energy pots with a hard lenses instead. A little bit less XP, but so much faster. This would take probably an hour plus if I did this way. Not with a slight extra XP gain. So yeah, let's move on. Oh man, look at that. 55 herbal coming in strong. And I can now make super strains. Yes, well, I would love to be able to rush in and Get that done, but I also need to collect secondaries after this. Okay, this will be my last Mortmar fungus for now. There you go, that's a little bit over 300 Mortmar fungus. So, I found a really nice way to uh, do this. I don't know if people like do it the way I do it. Our Don't Cloak uh, gives you access to the monster, of course. You know, it has access to the Fairy Rings and an uh, Altar. And collecting Mortmar fungus requires uh, quite a bit of prayer. So, doing it this way... Uh, banking at the brand assault and then teleporting to the monastery refill prayer and use the fairy ring that's nearby and use the code BKR 
to get there and yeah that's how I do it's really nice okay enough talk let's quickly bang out these uh last herbal levels been waiting forever to get this god dang herbal level but it's about to happen yes herbal goal complete and that is it 58 herbal and let's see that bag oh what you're telling me it doesn't say the perk for it but I'm just gonna wrap up these super strength potions and then I'll get the bag here we go, let's get that reward. What is that reward? Right there. Herb sack, information please. The sack can store up to 30 of each major Grammy herbs. Up to 30 of each, really? I will definitely take that by one. Oh yeah. And as you can see, I made quite a bit of potions too on the side. So, prayer potions stocked up for some barrels. Speaking of that, I should probably head there uh, very soon. Guys, look at this. And uh, now you don't see anymore. That's how good the herb sack gets at Aber Inspectors, dude. You can probably do this whole task. I haven't done the whole task yet, but I'm guessing that by the time I finish this whole task, I probably don't even have to bank because I can put all the herbs, even the low level ones, inside the herb sack in one go. Yeah, I was right, guys. So I finished that whole Aber Inspector task without banking once, and not a single herb was left on the ground for me. So anyways, let me see how many herbs and exactly what I got from that task. 30 guamlies, actually like 40, because yeah, they were all, the remainder is um, in the inventory. But wow, look at this. Some really nice 30s, 20s, all the way up to Harlander, and everything else from then on uh, splits up into like equally 5. So yeah, just based on this, we can see that everything after Harlander, you just don't get that many, and then everything... Heartlander before it just starts getting a little bit more common all the way up to Guanli. So, oh hell yes, 57 skeletal wyverns. That is perfect because uh, tomorrow I need to start FK quite a bit and do some uh, essays for you know school and stuff. 58 prayer. I can't believe I've gone all the way from like um, 50 to 58 doing wyverns, man. 82 range. Damn, dude, I literally gained. 81 to 82 range completely in this trip, so yeah, that's pretty crazy. We got 252k to 83 range. So I decided to mix up my AFK ranging training by going to bandits. And if you guys don't know who these guys are, they're pretty much the old school AFK method of choice. It's been around for a long time, but uh, recently it's you know become even better due to the fact that. You actually can stay here for as long as you want, with or without Guthans. So, I don't have Guthans, but I can actually stay there for as long as I want. Just because there is this NPC right there in the general store, it's in the minimap. All you do is go there, and I just denote my food and just get a full inventory of food every time. So yeah, as long as you have food noted and a bit of cash, it's really good. It's like the same method that I did with construction if you watched the last episode earlier or the other two but yeah this is really great afk it's pretty much like five plus minute afk at, at a time to the point that you just log out if you don't pay enough attention so that's how good it is and you can do it with any type of combat style just wear like tank melee armor and i don't know for me range i just use a range top and i'm good and yeah i'm getting probably like 40 50k range xp an hour so it's really nice only downside is you don't get much but it's really good option Finally, I wanted one last major upgrade for a long time, which was going to be 70 prayer so I can unlock ID prayer. ID is absolutely massive as it gives me the highest strength and accuracy and defense boost out of any prayer, which will significantly increase my max hits, making my PVM a lot faster. And again, I do know how to prayer flick. And I can combine the piety with the protection prayer, so I get the 100% protection and maximum offensive. And because I can flick it, I can use it for Slayer pretty easily without using a lot of prayer potions. So I basically went to Wilderness Green Dragons and spent several days there to get enough Dragon Bones for 70 prayer using Ectofunctus method. Yielded Altar option was out of the question since it would take a lot of effort and gold to train my construction to that point, so it would probably end up being slower. There were lots of peak errors on green dragons, so fair bit of action. The only thing that really sucks about wilderness related grinding back in 2015 was that you couldn't really fight back. And for the longest time actually, fighting back on an Iron Man is just not smart because you never know when you'll accidentally skull or get skull tricked. Only if Jagex added the anti-skull feature, which only happened until 2022. 
I had to get about 1,500 dragon bones, and I also banked the green dehydes as well. The dehydes are going to be really good chunk of crafting XP. Anything to avoid going to charters to train crafting is really good in 2015. The other option was also pretty terrible, which was running marathons to the air obelisk to enchant air orbs to make battle staffs. After spending so much time on wyverns, I pretty much reduced the amount of dragon bones that I need for 70 prayer by such a significant amount. I think the last time I calculated, I needed around 2,200, but I, you know, just did the calculations again with whatever I got in prayer, and I only need 1.5k dragon bones. Right now, I am at 600 dragon bones, so yeah, only 900 more to go. So yeah, not bad at all, man. Not bad. Oh, look at that. 77 defense in the midst of the wilderness guys um yeah still got about 900 left not much has changed well 153k to 78 uh, i think i probably will be getting another defense level uh from this 70 prayer grind so yeah i'll be back with some more gains or either that or somebody's gonna attack me god damn this guy it's okay though it's not a big deal Yep, he's gonna try to PK me. Alright. I just need to move in one more and then it's pretty much done. So, oh, we got it. Peace! Oh man, it's the same guy, man. He's always trying to PK me. What the hell is this guy doing, man? God damn it. Why is he trying to kill me? <laughs> What the heck is he doing? Alright, if he kills me, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be a little salty, but... Nope. I got away. <laughs> what the heck? I saw that guy from a mile away, but... I wasn't expecting him to try to TK me using, like, a god sword and melee only. <laughs> I'm just gonna fight him, but... Nah. No point. He's not gonna hit me, though. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, please. Ah, I got him. Oh my god. I knew it. Yep, I knew it. This guy's a peak hair. Nice. I think this is the first time I've gotten 100 tiers on this guy. Those quest gains do help. Alright, I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Oh, just hunter levels. Oops, I forgot about that. I wanted it to be for runecrafting, but it's okay. Alright. Back for some more green dragon sling. Let go. Oh, not bad at all. All right, 169k to 79. Not bad. All right, well, this is gonna be the longest fight, but it's not a big deal because I'm already in the cave. So peace. What? Really? I can't enter the cave. Oh, I think this is the last trip I'm doing for uh, today. I'm gonna have to wait till tonight when the PKers die down. This is my last trip that I need to get 70 prayer. So yeah, let's head over to the bank real quick and uh, I'll show you real quick what I've got now to finish it off. Okay, let's put the stuff from the looting bag into the bank and put all the hides. So I killed a little bit over 1,200 green dragons. And I got myself 1.46k Dragon Bones. Well, actually, I got like 300 from before this. So, yeah, I just needed around 1.48k and I got enough bones now for it. I'm done, man. I don't have to stay in the wilderness any longer. Well, not for such a long length, man. I'm so glad. No more pesky PKers trying to kill me for like, I don't know, my Black Dehyde Chaps, man. I miss my two Black Dehyde Chaps I lost during this whole ordeal, but yeah. Okay, let's go and do some really chill bone grinding. Just got myself 1.5k buckets of slime. I need to use that with the 1.5k bone meals I'm gonna make. And yeah, we're kind of close to finishing. The bone grinding though takes a super long time. So yeah, it's gonna be a few hours of just really boring uh, AFK bone grinding. You may be wondering why I am grinding uh, my bones in a PvP world, well, in the PvP world, if you teleport to Camelot, there is a bank chest right next to the teleport. So instead of me going to the bank in Port Fastmidis, which requires a bit of time walking there, I can just teleport to the Camelot bank, which is basically a step away from the teleport. 
So yeah, it's really nice. It saves a lot of time um, when you are crushing your bones or you are worshipping your bones on an Iron Man. And there is a little risk though because people can attack you but the chances of being attacked here is very low. And plus even if you see a peek here, they'll probably not even bother killing you because you're naked and stuff. But yeah, it's really worth it though. I highly recommend this method. Alright, here we go. First level from Ectofunctus. A 62 prayer and 101 combat. Very nice. I am uh, slowly grinding the bones still. It's gonna take me three sessions to uh, complete use of the bones, but yeah. I'll see you with another prayer level very soon. Here's 63 prayer, I think. Yeah, nice. Alright, guys, we got seven more to go. It's gonna look like I'm leveling really fast, but trust me, this is mad slow. Grinding these bones is hell. I just went by uh, 64 prayer. Alright guys, uh, there's really not much to record aside from the prayer levels and you know, it's just gonna be 6 more prayer levels from now on. So I guess I'll just record when I'm at 70 prayer. It's gonna be many hours though because look at this, I still have 927, uh, actually 950 bones left to grind so yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass but I'll see you at 70 prayer. Finally, I've crushed all the bones and I just need to do about 430 more bone meals and we will be done. And I will be back shortly with that 70 prayer guys. At a moment when you're going so hard at prayer grinding that you forget to refill your ectophile. Rip. Oh man, finally dude, it's about time that I hit 70 prayer. Arguably, that was probably the longest grind I've ever had uh, on this particular Iron Man and I still got some extra bow meals to uh, turn in it's time guys BAM 70 mother effing prayer oh and you can now use prayer piety if you have completed King's Ransom which I haven't so I'm gonna get to that and I can wield arcane and spectral spare shields a hey, never gonna get that on this guy but yo that piety though it's gonna be good stuff Oh man, no more dragon grinding, no more wilderness grinding, oh man. Finally, it's over guys. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys probably at uh, the King's Ransom quest. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. I forgot to show you guys how many uh, Ecto tokens I have. So from 63 or 62 prayer to 70, I got myself 7,455 Ecto tokens. That's actually really nice because Somewhere down the line, I'm gonna get myself the Bone Crusher. And the Bone Crusher, in order for it to work on old school, requires a lot of Ecto tokens. So, yeah, man, that's gonna give me some nice incentive to get it because I'll already have a bunch of Ecto tokens to use for that. And we'll get some snazzy uh, free prayer experience just doing, you know, stuff that isn't dragon grinding. So, that's always nice to uh, get some free extra prayer experience. Also for barrels as well for those sexy double runes. Mm -mm. Well, that was the most enjoyable and quick quest of my life. Just kidding, but it was really fast though. There we go, King's Ransom is done. What up? Oh, what is this antique lamb? I totally forgot about that. Oh man, you know, I'm gonna put this on Herbler. Easy peasy. 5,000. What we got? Nice, nice. Okay. So now that quest is over. I gotta do the night training thing upstairs, and yeah, I'll be right back with the sexy ass patty unlocks. Gains, I'm here at the uh, training ground upstairs. So yeah, it's time to do this, guys. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I can get it done in one try, and we'll see how it goes. Come on, I got this. Let's go. Oh my god, my stats are so low. Let's try this again. Damn. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, one more hit, guys. Please! Before my stats are lowered to the max. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Lancelot is just utter destruction. Oh, we did it, though. Hey, played it safe. Oh, snap. Whoa. We just got 79 defense. With the Berserker Ring, Fire Cape, Fighter Torso, and Potty unlocked, I am now hitting close to. 40 with my Dran Scimitar, which is absolutely massive. All these upgrades are probably going to get me a comfy 20k star XP an hour. I know it's not a lot compared to today's times, but this is as good as it will get. 
at my stage in 2015. Things like Zerg Catacombs and Barrage Slayer did not exist till 2016, which essentially doubled the rates. So the grind to 87 Slayer was super slow for Iron Bar. Slayer is definitely getting a lot slower in the mid 70s because the XP requirement rises exponentially. So now I'm on the health phase of the Slayer grind at 87. I need to essentially jump from about 1 mil experience all the way to 4 mil experience. This means I'm only about 25% of the way there. Woo! Now as a solid 80 everything, I'm gonna go back to strength and we're gonna see strength level actually pretty soon too. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? I hit a freaking 40. So yeah, I believe 82 strength did the job. It just goes to show that this 40 damage just represents how much progress this account has uh, been building up towards and I'm pretty damn proud of it but honestly we're only at the tip of the iceberg in terms of progress that I can make on this account so yeah we still got so many things we gotta do but nonetheless very nice achievements thus far. I want to start doing Slayer Grind alongside farming the seeds because I'll show you real quick. I got a shit ton of seeds that I got from uh, wyverns, like Raynars especially. Look at this, 107 Raynars. I definitely need to work on uh, farming some of these seeds. I can farm all three of these, so might as well do it. Now I know why I didn't do my Arms Big Adventure in the beginning. It's because of this goddamn minigame. It takes forever and it's annoying to do, but yeah, I'm gonna have to get myself 60% favor. Finally managed to get 60%. Uh, type of one a favor, so that should be the minimum that I need to start the Myron's Big Adventures. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that shit done. Come on now, give me that level. Yes, 42 farming. I'm definitely gonna be using Trollheim patch like every time I have the chance. The other patches, they're a little riskier. I could use Geomancy spell, but it's really inconvenient because I have to be on Lunars to prevent the other herbs and other patches to not get diseased and waste the seed. Definitely gonna be hitting up the Tron patch every time though, because it is guaranteed herb. Hallelujah guys, my first ever gargoyle task. And yeah man, it took me one whole Slayer level just to get that gargoyle task. Look at that guys, 77 Slayer. Oh man, that looks good. There's no more major upgrades left for me to get to 87 until the Abyssal Whip. At the bare minimum level of 80 Slayer with boosting. Another thing to note is that Wyverns were the only Slayer Masters past 70 that, that got buffed as I mentioned. The other mobs didn't get buffed until 2016. This meant that I didn't get any bonus gold or resources drops like you would now from Gargoyles or Necrowls. So definitely a uh, disadvantage. Alright here we go guys. This is uh, step number 5. <gasps> oh holy shit. Wow. Mother of all. Blue scroll rewards, baby. Let me check the bad boy. What? Oh my god, this page alone is like worth my bank. Wow, 1.5 mil blue scroll reward. You know, you don't get these that often, man, do you? That's great. Well, it turns out all the pages are unique ones, but that's okay. Now I am working in the process of getting a ancient book and the Zami book now too. So I haven't been to Wyverns for a while, ever since I finished my finals for the semester, I didn't really need to FK as much anymore. So I'm gonna show you the resources I've gotten from around 2.8k Wyverns. Some is already used, but most is still in my bank. I got lots of uh, gems, especially the diamonds and uh, rubies of course. Gonna be using that most likely as Ceridomen and uh, Armadale boss and got tons of bolts to 2k runites and a 5k adamant bolts that's gonna be amazing to use and wow that's crazy 1k adamant bars great for i guess darts if i ever get around to using them so that's interesting and uh wow 11k iron ore that's crazy <laughs> what 4.5k magic logs mother of god that's insane oh that's a crazy amount of magic logs and is there anything else? Oh yeah, some unpowered orbs. I guess I'll be making some battle staffs in the future. And I also got 580 battle staffs from uh, Wyverns as well. So yeah, that's some really good haul, man. Can't wait to actually use them for like bossing and such. Look at that first farming level, you know, a little bit. And uh, yeah, making lots of uh, 
farming gains so far. Been pretty much farming seeds periodically and uh, it's working out fine, yo. I'm gonna be stocked up on stuff like prayer potions in the long run. Alright, just hit uh, 85 strength right there, 339k to go and we are really close to 78 Slayer. So I believe after this task, if I get something like Hellhounds or Bloodfells, then we are good to go for that Slayer level. But yeah, not bad though, 5 levels to 90 strength. And then I guess I might just uh, split up my stats evenly again. Oh yeah baby, my third black mask. Yes! I hope this one will get me the uh, Slayer level. And now you see 78 Slayer. Ooh, look at that. 1.45k total, very nice. Two more levels to go and then I can uh, start attempting to grind out for that whip using stew boost. Gonna be really interesting. Um, we got 169k to 79 Slayer. I totally forgot how Slayer was like without the cannon because I used I've gotten 99 Slayer at old school on my main account, but of course I had cannon help me out quite a bit. But yeah, early levels on the Iron Man for Slayers arguably still pretty slow. So I can only imagine trying to go for like 99 at this point on this Iron Man is gonna suck. I'm at Bandits right now, just amping for a little bit so I can edit some videos, and I just hit 88 hit points, which is a nice plus. 456k to 89 hit points, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna sneak out on me in no time because of the Slayer grind anyways. Breaking news guys, we got two Rebels competing for Bandits right now. One guy's got Dragonfall Home and Tentacle, this guy is a beast. And he is fending off uh, this dude just using Iron Eyes. I have no idea which one is crashing, but I don't even know why they're even bothering doing this. There's like literally open worlds everywhere. Look at this! This room is open! What are they doing? I don't get it. People get heated so fast, man. I'm just saying. There's a freaking free room right there. 89 range it is! Yo, very nice. 500k to 90 range, guys. That's crazy, that's gonna be my first uh, combat 90 skill, so that'll be interesting. Yes, that means in terms of like bossing when it comes to doing Zora, I got a range all set. It's just a matter of kind of raising the magic up a little more for her as well. Been a while since I've uh, come to the store, but I've stocked up on a lot of root and I decided, eh, I'm not gonna out it. Might as well just sell it with the gloves while the effect, you know, is still very good. And I'll be back with all these things sold. Sold everything, and I had 70k with me at the time, so I made 1.18 mil from uh, rune stuff and a few other things I got from Slayer and Clue Scrolls. First things first, I'm gonna deposit another million there, so I don't have to worry about Kingdom for like the next two weeks with 2 mil cash XP. So I'm gonna bang out probably like 40 or 50 Hunter tonight, and then I'll head over to Chase of Cuthics and get some nice rune crafting levels. Step number 4, might be a short heart clue. Or not. What? A back to back? Wow. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> oh well, the reward wasn't the best, but that made it pretty convenient for me. Just hit 80 strength strength. All these times I've been doing clue scrolls, I've come upon a lot of them that have some pretty nasty requirements, such as like wear some blue dehyde stuff, and yeah, I couldn't do them for the most part until now. When I was trading, for 70 prayer, I was also banking the hides, and I have 1.2k green dragon hides, I can craft them. So I'm gonna turn all these into bodies, and see how far I can get with it, because I really want to uh, get those crafting levels, might as well get it right now, and hopefully craft some blue dragon hide vampires and finish this clue once and for all. We got the first level from uh, crafting the green hides, and I've already done 400. Wow, these things go by fast. There we go, guys. 63 crafting, so now I can make some green leather hide. I am running out of patience. I've already failed this like five different times. So I can only hope that I can make this. Oh my god, yes. Finally. The clue that required the blue vampires. It's done, I think. This is the last step. <laughs> oh man, that that really wasn't worth it. Well, it probably will be because th that'll just mean there is a less chance of me having to drop a clue scroll, so that's always nice. But yes, we gotta get back to Slayer. I really want to rush this 80 Slayer ASAP. There we go. Yes! 79 Slayer on point. 
task completed as well. Just need one more level to go. Oh man, another long grind is gonna be over very soon. But damn, that's a huge step up. Basically 190k to 80, so that's definitely going to take over 10 hours. No matter how efficient I go, so yeah, that's gonna be a treat. Here we go, this should be the first hunter level for today. 24 hunter. So the plan is I am going to uh, straight power level all the way to 50 hunter. And the main purpose is actually so I can catch some elected emplings. And these emplings have a good chance, well a decent chance of uh, giving me some wild pies. And or a blue dehi trap. I could just boost for the dehi trap but Right now, I'm really concerned about the whip grind because I have two choices. I can use the stew to boost to 85 once I hit 80 slayer uh, to kill Abyssal Demons, but they are really risky because it's easy to mess up using stew boost. But Wild Pie, if I get those from the Inflings, is a guaranteed plus 5 slayer level boost. So if I just can get like 3 of them or something or 2, I would be able to grind at Abyssal Demons for a while. Let's quickly get ourselves 33 Hunter, now I can try Barb Tail Cabets. And that's where I'm going to be going to next, but I have sufficient Hunter level over Runecrafting now, so I'm going to do tiers first before I get back to the Hunter grind. And also I've been uh, alking the armor that I've made using a Green Dehide. So far I've made 1.1 mil, and I'll have an extra like 400k after I'm done, so yeah, let's do it. Did better than last week, got 102 tiers, and this time we're going to see some Awesome room crafting levels. I wonder how many I get. Let's see here 23 to 27. Not bad at all. Now I can uh, craft cosmic runes. That's cool. There we go. Just finished alking all of the stuff that I turned um, from dehydes. And yeah, I got a big fat cash stack of 1.57 mil. There we go. 37 hunter. And this place is pretty boring, so I'm gonna try the deadfall at the other place. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit better XP, logical sense. And yeah, let's try that for the last 13 levels. So I just hit 43 Hunter and that should be in Fall Green section. I'll show you what's next. Spotted Cabets. So that's the next place I'm gonna be heading over to, which is a little bit to the left, I mean to the right. And yeah, it's gonna be the easy seven levels, man. These things go by actually pretty fast the last time I did it. Just need to catch one more of these cabets. There we go. And that's it. 50 hunter guys. That didn't take too long. A few hours altogether. And now I can collect, I mean now I can catch the electric amplings. Nice. Holy oh, shit guys. 13 levels to go for 1500 uh, total milestone. Probably gonna wrap that up with some crafting later on. But yeah, my stats are looking pretty good now. No more, you know, shady like 10 hunter and like 10 room crafting. So like everything's pretty decent. So yeah, that's nice. All right, man, we're gonna have to go back to Slayer. 187k to 80. Let's grind that shit out. Yes, we got 87 strength, 400k to 88. There we go, 88 strength, guys. Really nice. 456k to. 89 yeah two more levels to go for that 90 milestone that's really good and in terms of slayer progress got it down quite a bit now 63k 280 if all goes well the next task that i get will be the task that gets me to 80 slayer finally and also 180 tasks done in a row that's crazy come on please oh 185 kill fights how many kills left 37 plenty just gotta kill this one and it will be exactly enough XP for 80 Slayer. There it is. Oh man, I've waited so goddamn long for this. And also I can kill Necrael. I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch some uh, Implings, Electric ones, and hopefully get a Blue DI Chap along the way as well. And get some two Wild Pies, I think. That's what I'm gonna go for. I've been here for about a minute now and already got myself the wild pie so I could honestly just head over to Abyssal Demons right now and kick some Abyssal Demon ass. But like I said, I kind of want to get two so I'm going to see if I can get two within like 10 minutes or something and then go there. But yeah, that is so nice to see. Guys, two wild pies already and I've only been here for 
honestly less than two minutes. I guess I don't need to be here anymore. I'll come back, I guess, if I mess up and don't get it before the boost runs out. I'm heading over to Absol Demons right now, and this is my setup. Sexy accuracy gear with boost and everything, and my pies, of course. So boosting methods worked super well back in 2015 because you had close to a whole minute before you needed to hot world to log out to maintain the boost. You can't do it as easily anymore since the timer doesn't work that way. As you can see, the time is ticking down. Basically, once I hit zero, my boosted stat will go down by one. So that will allow me to keep track of when my wild pie boost is going to go down. So if I can kill Abyssal Demons within that minute time, I'll be able to hop again and reset the timer and keep doing it that way. And this will tell me if I am taking too long, because if I am taking too long, the boost will go down. So I would definitely have to... Uh, run away from Abyssal Demon and try to hop to reset the timer. I only really have 4 shots at the moment so I'm gonna make the best of it and this overlay is very useful for keeping track of when you're about to miss uh, another stat so yeah really good tip right there. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! <sighs> Holy shit! Holy shit that just happened! Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Oh man. Took me one wild pie for it, baby. I've been here for a little bit under an hour. And wow. I am so happy right now. Oh my god. Holy shit. I just got the whip. <laughs> oh my god. That is so good. Great, man. Oh my goodness, I am so relieved. Wow, look at these 40 hits and I'm not even on task. Oh my god, that is so great. Oh man. Alright, I guess I'm out of here, man. Um, Yeah, that caught me by surprise. I thought I was going to stay here for probably 5 hours. Just because it would, you know, easily take me 500 kills for a drop. It's done. Episode whip. Oh my goodness. What is the next plan now? Um, I guess I should probably head back to do barrels a bit every now and then just because I am still looking for stuff like a tank melee body. So like a Guthans blade body, Torax blade body, Darax blade body. And maybe full Guthans too in the long run. So I should probably do an hour of barrels every single day or something. Just so I don't have to do the Slayer grind. I mean, I'm probably going to still have to grind Slayer just because I need to raise my stats up for stuff like Zora, God Wars, etc. So, yeah, and then somewhere along there, I'm going to try and mix up with a bit of scaling as well so I can work on some diaries because I know those diary rewards will definitely help me out. Now that we have acquired the whip, we are basically going to increase our efficiency at Slayer and just killing things with melee much, much quicker. So, I am looking forward to that. Now, the weapon has weird attack styles compared to a Dragon Scimitar. It does not have an aggressive strength style to train strength. It only has attack for attack XP and defense for defense XP and control. Control is a mix of all three. And that's what I'm going to be mainly using because it gives me probably one more max hit. And it's the only way to train strength. So, I have a Spiritual Creatures task. And I remember that with this extra wild pie, I can actually boost to 83 Slayer and uh, kill some spiritual mages for those Dragon Blood. So I think I'm gonna try to do it this way with the Slayer task, and uh, hopefully I get some drops. Oh, there we go, guys! Yes! Oh my God, that's awesome! There we go, Dragon Boots on the ground, 48 uh, kills, I think. Because I did kill an extra spiritual warrior. That is so sick. Alright, I'm not really gonna do this anymore since I already got the dragon boot, so... My first farming level in a while. And now I can finally grow some arid seeds, so that's really good. Alright, so I am still working on the farming seeds. I got plenty to uh, farm, so I'm probably gonna be doing this pretty much every hour, if possible. And probably end the day with uh, a farm trip, a trollheim patch, and then when I wake up... Just uh, harvest and replant again. So I was about to head over to Barrows to do some uh, looting, but I realized I should probably just go ahead and upgrade 
my helmet because like Torak helmet is nice and all but I don't think I need it and I think Nanita's knot is probably the best replacement for it so here I am about to uh, turn over the troll's head for that quest completion and I should be able to get the Nazi helmet right there Ooh, 10k XP in one skill Freemanic Isles is now done there we go, 75 fishing guys. One more level, then I can fish sharks, but I don't think I'll ever be fishing sharks. Slayer and barrels and stuff has finally turned my food supply into almost nothing. So yeah, it's nice to just sit back a bit. Coolio, 75 cooking. Uh, is there any perks here? Nope. Well, I got around 1k raw monkfish that I fished uh, after a while. And once I'm done cooking, I should be stocked up. Just got 89 strength and 106 combat. I've been thinking about maybe grinding out a bit of agility as well uh, sometime soon just because I really don't like doing slayer tasks here anymore. Well just when it comes to blood fields and hellhounds just because if you've done slayer recently on old school you will know that these places are so crowded like mucho mucho crowded. It's so I think I am gonna get myself Thunder Jody soon so I can just do the task at the certain time. Oh snap! 77 magic! Alright, nice. And what's the next spell for this, I wonder? The next thing is Entangle, and that's about it. But, anyways, we got 153k to uh, 78. So, I'm just kinda doing a little bit of Chill Slayer right now with uh, magic. I do have Chaos Goddess and a shit ton of uh, leftover Chaos Runes so I might as well just you know use that up and do a little bit of Casual Slayer doing pretty well with the Slayer Mass effect and the uh, Chaos Goddess I think I'm hitting like 17, 18s so it's pretty good goal would be to somehow get 90 magic too so like for Zolver prepping and stuff 79 magic and I can cast Entangle really cool but the coolest part is I just got 1500 total and a lot of times I've been uh, hopping around worlds and sometimes I always get that thing where it says Oh, you are not high enough total to go to this world. So now I have unlocked another world, the 1500 total world, so that's good. So hopefully I don't get uh, as many competitors in like certain places like Ceratabs or Vibrance. But it's nice to have an extra world though to hop to. 81 Slayer guys, and I said I was probably going to take a break from Slayer, but I ended up just enjoyed Slayer so much after I got the whip so but um, I think one whole Slayer level grind ever since the whip is good enough for now I really do need to finish up and try to get myself a melee play body because that's gonna be something I'll really need in the near future we are now transitioning into the year 2016 a massive update has landed in RuneScape a literal new landmass called Zaya just dropped it was a pretty empty square map initially. Zaya had the spellbook, the RCS one, that mainly just had insult heads at the time. It also introduced things like Dragon Warhammer with the Lizardman Shamans and Tide Farm for farming. And it's honestly insane how big Tide Farm is when it first came out. It was like literally all of Lucidius. But the rewards were just the infinite watering can though, so nothing too crazy. There was Blast Mine and Blood and Soul Rune Crafting Ultras as well and some other small things so still pretty impactful but definitely a lot less than what you know of today. I did explore a bit of Thai Farm and try out this farming training method on release to work on the farming requirements for the Mauritania Hard Diary or the 50% extra rune perks from Barrels. I wanted to finish this old goal that we started a while ago and get the tank body for some upcoming bossing. I got myself 100% say a favor just plowing the metas weren't well known yet so it took me forever to get the favor i'm not really sure how to go about farming here but i collected some seeds from the table there was an assortment of three types and the only one i could use was the level 34 one it's called the uh, golovanova seed so i'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, farm this and uh, see how this goes so I am doing the farming method, the teeth farm it's called, I believe. And let me just tell you, it is very click intensive, like seriously. It's probably on par with uh, Libby Farm from RS3, if not even <laughs> more click intensive than that. So one second, let me uh, store these fruits in for my first farming level here. 
Should be 480 XP drop. Nice. 46 farming. Cool, cool. And yes, for the hard Martini Diaries, that would be 7 more farming levels. So, ever since I got the uh, 70 Prayer, I realized one of the major obstacles is now uh, done and over with for that. And the only thing that I really need to work on is agility, which is perfect because it coincides with my uh, progress to 70 agility anyways, because I kind of want to use that for stuff like Bloodvilles, Hellhounds, and whatnot. So I can use Tavly Dungeon Shortcuts, Slayer Tower Shortcuts anyways, so that's uh, easy peasy. I can kill two birds with one stone, and plus with these Mauritania legs that I get from this uh, diaries. Sorry guys, I'm getting pretty excited just thinking about it. I will get double runes! by completing the hard ones and bone crushers so yeah that is my uh, next goal for sure so yeah I'm gonna do a bit of agility and probably do a bit of the hostius pushing the plow thing to get 100% for farming as well at least for hard ones I need 53 anyways and there is my first agility level in a while I still got 13 agility levels to go and the 70 agility goal will take quite a bit it is pretty uh, tedious for sure just like every other goal I've uh, encountered so far, but luckily it's a lot easier than the 70 prayer grinds. Oh yeah, agility is coming along nicely guys. 58 agility, 12 more to go. I'm glad that these late 50s are actually pretty fast. It's not taking me over an hour per level, so that's great. Another agility level, there we go. 59 agility, elven overpass, cool. Anyways, 25, 26k, more like it, to 60 agility. And then I can move on to the next agility course. Pretty hyped about that. Fall door course is way too quick intensive, but uh, still pretty chill, but definitely would love to see a new course. My friends, we are about to hit 60 agility. I believe like now, there we go, nice, 60 agility. Can now use Werewolf and Serious Village course and access the Godward's Dungeon via Jody route. But yes, the important thing is the rooftop for Serious Village. So nice. That is probably my favorite Jody course since it's a uh, very chill and the XP is better than here. So yeah, let's get the last 10 levels and call it a day. Yeah, probably not in a row. Bam, right there. Nice. Ooh, Sir Tower medium climb. I do have problems with run energy, but luckily I have energy potions. Oh my goodness, already 62 agility. Slayer dungeon shortcut. 63 agility, 7 more to go. I'm gonna keep these short. So after doing a bit of agility, I got around 90 marks of grace, and I went ahead and spent 55 of that to buy the graceful top. So now I have rate reduction for almost every uh, slot except the gloves. Yeah, I can fish sharks now. Not bad. I totally forgot that 70 agility grind is definitely going to take uh, many, 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 many hours. And I still need, I believe, 150k agility experience. So that's like another three hours. So yeah, I guess another clip in another like three or so hours. At last, all this agility grind. I can't believe I did most of it all in just about uh, one session. I still need one little requirement left before I can actually do all the tasks. Oh, there it is, 70 agility. Hell yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a really uh, nice hurdle completed. But yeah, I was saying I need to actually get uh, 53 farming. I mentioned that before, but that is actually the level uh, skill requirement so I can finish the uh, Hard Mauritania Diaries. So I'm gonna go back to the teeth farm in the whole city's house in Zaya. And uh, I've been looking around and I found a really nice way to train it. So I should be getting 53 farming very, very uh, fast. I actually came back. Uh, from this like 10 minutes ago and uh, what happened was I was planting my seeds doing the usual and I got to the final part where it was stage 4 for 16 of them and then I freaking realized that I didn't have my spade so all my plants were grown but I didn't have a spade so I couldn't get any of the XP oh my god so I had to bank yeah oh that was so stupid like GG. Well, that won't happen again though. I got my shit, so this time everything should be uh, ready. Alright guys, check out this XP drop. It's gonna be insane. And by the way, this is the low lowest level seed here. 1.2k drop, not bad. And um, anyways, if I finish planting all 100 of these, I get this like big bonus at the end, so I'll show you that at the end. Here we go guys, the first farming level uh, for today. And uh, let's see this. Nice, 47 farming. We need uh, six more levels, so should be able to get it uh, very soon. Here we go, guys. Another farming level. 
Get hyped. 40 farming. Ooh, Jango berry bushes. About to show you how much XP that you uh, get from depositing the last fruit out of the 100. So I normally gain 1.2k, so I gain doubled at the end, so that's nice. And basically you get a bit more XP every deposit, so as long as you keep um, planting your seeds and harvesting them before they die, and do all of it before you leave or log out, you will get quite the handsome amount of experience. And yes, I am now 49 farming, 4 more levels to go. Another farming level, and this time it's a nice level 50 farming. And I can now grow Aventos. Ooh! Never mind, guys. So I actually don't need to train my farming anymore because I can actually just use a garden pie to boost to 53. So that would just save me the effort of having to grind out farming any further than that. So that's nice. I guess the teeth farm worked out quite a bit. You know, I got the level that I needed. Um, it's late though, so I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and uh, work on the Mauritania Diaries. It's official. I got all the requirements now, basically. 103 tiers, not bad at all, and I should be expecting another few levels from rune crafting. Oh, nice, four, that's nice, very good. Okay, I guess we'll do this again next week, and hopefully we can do the same thing and get a uh, three to four rune crafting levels. That would be very nice. Oh damn, the coffer is at 600k. That's not good. All right, time to spend a mill into the coffer, and I'm gonna collect my resources. It's been a while. Alright, uh, good serving of resources. Now I probably need to worry about cash soon, so I really need to probably start working on 87 Slayer as soon as I uh, get some barrels done, that's for sure, so I can get the GP to maintain my kingdom. 77 fishing, just doing quite a bit of fishing to FK and chill a bit and do something else on the side. And here's 78 fishing as well, gonna stay here just for a little longer, perhaps maybe even one more level. I've been AFKing so hard the past uh, two days. As you can see, I have 4.6k raw monkfish. I did say that I was kind of lacking in food, so I think that is no longer an issue. And plus, I already have a shit ton of cooked monkfish as well, but in the, like, the long, long run, I definitely don't have to worry about food, so that's nice. I ended up getting another fishing level. Alright, we got 76 cooking now. Alright, cooking is probably not something you guys want to see too much, but I uh, just want to say I got now 5k raw monkfish. So I'm going to probably cook all those and uh, should have uh, somewhere between five to 6,000 cooked monkfish. We're going to start off the Mauritania Easy Diaries now and the Scarecrow is the hardest thing. I just went and glanced at the task for Mauritania Easy medium and hard and wow some of these are pretty challenging actually so the easy one even though it says it's easy it's actually not as easy as it sounds because on the iron man you need to uh, get the watermelon by planting it now luckily the farm requirement is done and all that perfect timing every easy task is done except for the scarecrow one and what i mean by perfect time is that i got enough watermelons and they're harvested so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, make the scare coral. I need to go ahead and rake this, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's place it on the flower patch and that should be all the easy tasks done. Yes, congratulations, you have completed all the easy tasks. Okay, let's get that and uh, start working on the medium ones. So guys, I almost got trolled really hard. I'll explain in a second, but let me just finish this uh, task real quick. Should be done. So believe it or not, I actually uh, tried to climb this chain and obviously it worked. I was able to go up and down it with the boost. But there was this weird glitch apparently that if you wear graceful items and you try to do this task, it will not complete. So <laughs> yeah, just a little warning for you guys trying to do this. Definitely don't have your graceful because it did not work. But as soon as I took it off, it worked. So interesting. I am turning in in search of my quest real quick and uh, that is one of the requirements for the diaries and I think I need to probably finish or start two as well so I can get access to that bank over there for some nice uh, quick banking. This quest was pretty AIDS. So many traveling back and forth but we have done it in A of the Myrq is done and uh, that means I can now make myself the uh, 
got this balance potion or whatever and I have access to the bank here as well so that's really good I think that's all the quests I need to do now for the uh, hard diaries and yeah we can uh, finally finish up so I did not know that killing the terror dogs were the final task for the medium so I have that done now and uh, let's look at the hard ones real quick there should be like one or two things left oh, okay wow this is the only thing that's really gonna take a bit of time Come on, one more. Yes! Oh, there we go. And I think that's it. We probably reached uh, the end of this hard temple trek. So uh, let's get out of here. Freaking took me two tries. The first try was the same thing. I had to go through a bog and I, I said, I give up. I'm not doing it. And then I tried again and it's the same thing again, a bog. So that was pretty butt. But yes, it's finally done. That was really frustrating and yeah it's over the grind for the diaries temporarily anyways but yeah let's talk to Lay Saber for the freaking rewards oh boy it's gonna be so nice all right we got the first lake and I'm gonna use the lamp on Herblor and there we go should probably get an herbal level from this as well and then we're gonna upgrade to uh, Mauritania Lakes 2 Oh, I don't have space. Alright. Let's uh, upgrade to the second leg. There we go. Oh, baby. And then put that on Herblor as well. For that sexy 60 Herblor. Very nice. Oh, make weapon poisons. Alright, and uh, time for the final one. Anyways, let's go get the final one. Here we go. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, it's done. I am so relieved. Oh baby, that is so nice to finally have that like out of the way. And uh, yeah, that is uh, Mauritania Hard Diaries officially done. I got the teleport, I got the bank access, everything. The Bear's Grind will be amazing. And also, I should be getting double runes from the chest as well. So that's also great. And uh, yeah, this is uh, really good. Anyways, let the Bear's Grind begin. I am so pumped for them double runes. First chest guys, let's go for it, Badoodle. Alright, I'm seeing the double rune effect kicking in, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, first chest, nothing yet, but we're gonna be doing this for a while. Here we go guys, second chest. And by the way, I also got 81 defense last uh, chest, so that's pretty good. And we get runes again. Come on baby, let's get the first barrels item for today, come on. <laughs> oh no! Why must this be a Carol's Koi? Why must my first item in on such a long time? Can we get the plate body now? Oh my god, how does this happen? I don't understand how this happens, man. Two Carol's Koi's in like five chests. Damn, dude. Come on, give me that plate, please. Please. Oh, Derox Helm. Yo, that's actually really nice. Okay, well, I guess... It's not that bad that I didn't get the plate, but um, yeah, I'm gonna still be gunning down for it, but hey, Dark's Helm, at least it's not a Carol's Helm. <laughs> I'll take that, man, I'll take that. Okay, I have 9 HP left, so I need to loot this and get the hell out of here. Quickly, 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 if I die. Ah, oh, just in time. Another one. Second chest, guys. <gasps> wow, really? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yo, oh my god, it's a top, and then I was like, oh, it's it's Aram's top. I mean, placeholder, Aram's top, yeah, that's cool. I guess uh, we're gonna have to just keep doing barrels for a little bit longer, man. Uh, it's been uh, two days, honestly, ever since I started the barrels grind. And uh, so far, we've gotten five items, three coys, which is absolute shit. Getting that plate body today. Oh my god, what is this? What the heck is up with these goddamn Karel's Coys, Aram's Hood? Yo! I can't. I really need this body, but... I think I'm just gonna get back to Slayer, man. Slayer grinds real, guys. Just got 82 attack, and I believe the next thing should be at defense level. 90 hit points and 107 combat. That's my first ever uh, level 90 skill, so that's really cool. We got strength coming along here as well, and uh, range. 
this clue requires me to make a blue dragon high body. I don't got the crafting level, but I do have lots of bucket of sand, so what I'm gonna do is I'll just buy some seaweed and uh, quickly get those crafting levels. Probably we'll be aiming to get two to three levels, and then boosting will be pretty easy. I totally forgot about these gold bars. I can actually use them on some uncut sapphires and uncut emeralds to make myself some rings and get me some decent crafting experience. Then I'll move on to seaweed. Ah, there we go. 66 crafting. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and plus 5 boosts too, but I am gonna stop making jewelries now. I'm gonna save some of my rupees and definitely my diamonds for bossing bolts. And move on to the normal method on the Iron Man to craft. And yeah, let's stock up on some seaweed and get going with the remaining levels. Turns out, I only need 1,500 seaweed to collect. And once I turn them into molten glass and turn them into orbs, I should be 68. There we go. Nice, 67 crafting. Ooh, I can cut onyxes already? So early! Even though like Fury is like freaking 90, but yeah, anyways. We got one more level to go, I have just enough for that final level, and yep, boosting will be easy peasy. There we go, 68 crafting as planned, and we got a little leftover as well, so that's really nice, and 1550 total. I will take that. So I just need to get myself a plus 3 boost to make the body, which is gonna be hell of a lot easier compared to a plus 5. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. This is attempt number 9. Let's check this. Yes, there we go. Come on, please. Plus 3 boost. Yes, plus 4 boost. After 9 freaking attempts. 5 blue D high body should be plenty. This better be worth it, guys. Please! Ah, oh, wow. These past few clues have been uh, pretty bad. But future clues, I don't really have to worry about making blue D high stuff anymore. I got all of them, so that's good. And out of the way. And uh, yeah, back to Slayer now. My kingdom's at like 740k in the coffer, so that is not good. Definitely want to be over 750k. And I got quite a bit of stuff from Slayer and clues and stuff, so I'm going to alcohol this and just put the money straight into the coffer. And that should last me a while. And here we go, the last alc. 2 million cash, guys. There we go. Let's put that in there. And yeah, let's do that. Let's just type in 2 mil. And there we go. So that should last me quite a while. And I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve this week's herbs, I think. I'm probably gonna start doing some herbal grind very soon, probably after 83 Slayer. This is so nostalgic, guys. Look at the style for the freaking rocks now. They brought it back to the old style. And honestly, I do prefer the old look. It looks so much cooler, you know? It's very sharp and pointy, that's cool. And you also have the uh, Wyvern expansion, which is also interesting. Um, I wonder if any of these spots are like uh, decent to range at, because I would really like to uh, get myself a nice safe spot and FK range these. Turns out that uh, the new expansion is quite nice. Um, there's like a safe spot here that's pretty easy to do, and no competition. And there may be some other safe spots over here as well, but. Uh, this one, at least I don't have to wait for the aggro to go away. Well, I just hit 90 strength unexpectedly, and the next level is going to be a 83 defense for sure. What is it, my second level 90 skill? Yeah, it's my second level 90 skill, that's really nice. And I'm surprised that uh, my range really kind of dropped off, but hey, that's good. We're going to see some more common level gains, and we are also 122k to 83 slayer. It's very, very slow, as I said earlier. But we're gonna get that soon. We have uh, 83 defense, and now I got also a new combat level 108. 94 tiers today. Not a bad haul. And can I get two room crafting levels, please? Oh, yeah, two. That's nice. Two more levels, and then I can craft some astral runes. That's really interesting because I'm actually looking forward to maybe training with Lunars at some point to do some crafting or whatever. But yeah, I should be able to get those two levels by the next week. Five step clue. Can I please get a unique item? Oh my god, I was about to say. Shit, that looks similar to a freaking third age. 
Got myself Armadillo Chaps. That's nice for, uh, I guess, killing aviancies maybe. But uh, anyway, this is a unique item, something I am looking for, so that's nice. And it looks pretty stylish as well. Not bad. Ah, crap. Just missed 91 hit points. But uh, yeah, we are almost halfway to the 99 mark of HP. <laughs> Not really. 600k to 92. That's going to take a while. Just hit 84 attack, guys. And this guy just freaking came here with a cannon. Alright, gotta hop. And anyways, we got 83 Slayer coming up finally. Took so long, but we're going to get it in a few minutes. Finally, guys, it's here. 83 Slayer. Four more freaking levels to go for that Kraken task. And what the heck is this? 278k to the next level. And it's gonna get worse and worse from now on, obviously. Uh, you know, I wish it was a little faster, but on the Iron Man, it is just goddamn slow. Can we get this plate already? Come on now. Oh well another Varus item so not too bad melee legs are I guess nice if I ever do lose any I don't think I will but um yeah I guess I'll have to take that where those plate body at though last chest just got myself another Varax plate skirt so it's my second one it's not the plate body but it's still very nice to have what could it be wow Varax Brissy and we get a Darox plate legs what the heck? That's like my fourth one or something. Jesus. So many placeholder Darox plate legs, man. Okay, I think this is gonna be my last chest for today. I've been doing this pretty much all day, so if I don't get the plate, it's whatever. Yep, alright. I'm just gonna have to settle with some nice drops. But we need to get back to that Slayer grind. Four more to go. Those crazy long ass grind levels. We did it, guys. 90 range. My second. Oh no, it's my third level 90 skill. That's freaking sick. No combo level though from range. Wow, that is really nice, man. Range is definitely my favorite skill on RuneScape in general. Well, it's nice to have it at least 90, so that way I'm really motivated to get it to 99. 85 attack, guys. What is going on? These levels are going by fast. Everything but Slayer. Let me update you guys on what's going on besides the uh, Slayer. So I got a clue scroll earlier for my last task. And one of the requirements is to get myself a room boot. Now that should have been done a long time ago because I have 80 plus Slayer. And unfortunately throughout these three Slayer levels I have not got a single Nakarel task. So I guess I will just camp for a room boot. They should be relatively easy to get so I don't think it'll take more than one or two hours so I don't really mind. Um, anyway so I do have some other interesting idea that I want to do. I really am tempted to unlock the fight caves as a Slayer task because I'm pretty damn sure it is one of the best XP tasks ever that you can possibly do and I am pretty confident that I could just um, keep doing it relatively easily with my stats now. 90 plus range and 80 plus all combat stats I think it will be a breeze even with just uh, broad bolts and I'll be on Slayer task so yeah she will uh, get through the task relatively easily and safely. So I'm gonna go and uh, buy that ability. So let's unlock the perk called Hot Stuff so that it can be assigned to Zartas. Guys, we got it. You can't see it right now, but look. Ah, well, that's good. We got the room boots, so let's go ahead and finish that clue from yesterday. This clue is quite a tough one. Aside from the room boots, I need to get a Mystic Fire Staff, so um, luckily, I got some fire battle staff, so I just need to go ahead and enchant it here. But it's probably gonna cost me quite a bit of money. I don't remember how much this costs. Okay, 35k, so let me enchant the other one so that I have a placeholder. But besides that, let's go and finish this clue. Okay, we're here, so let's dig it up and open up for the reward. Beautiful! Rune plate legs, rune dagger, and some purple sweets and nature boots. Ah, the perks of 70 agility, guys. So nice for this blue dragon task. I normally don't like doing this, but um, with the addition of the extended cave for blue dragons in the Tavoli dungeon, it is so nice. Competition, as you can see, there is none. And it only took me one world hop just to find a spot pretty much free. It's actually pretty good because I can collect my blue dehyde quite easily and bank, no need to boost energy potion during any of that. I just bank and come back here, get a full inventory of highs, repeat. 
And that's a really nice way to collect the hides for crafting. Obviously, I want to get some ingredients for crafting along the way, so I don't have to deal with that in the future. But it's a pretty decent slayer task now. I would probably wouldn't mind doing this every time, just because the reward is quite worth it. And also, um, dehyde crafting is really nice outs, and I'll get a lot of cash out of that as well. Anyways, 84 slayer guys. Let's go! 307k to 85. Three more freaking slayer levels, guys. The clock is ticking, guys. The clock is ticking. And uh, this one is gonna take a hell of a long time too, but... I'm really glad that uh, I'm getting closer and closer. And I just hit 92 hit points. So I am officially halfway to 99 hit points. I'm guessing with the way I am training right now, 99 hit points will actually be my first 99. It actually happened on my main account spot in old school because I pretty much love to train uh, with the web music controlled and what that pretty much made me do was get 99 um, untrim HP cape so it's pretty much the same exact idea pretty good start 91 strength right there and uh, we got 600k to the next one I did not expect to finish this medium clue so early and we got a semi page one hallelujah that is really nice how much is this oh my god 1.4 mil if this was a normal account starting from scratch dude that would have been a really nice boost but um Let's check the bank and see if it is a placeholder. I hope it's not, please. Moment of truth, guys. Heavy breathing. Oh, yes. Yes, boys. Hell yeah. Two unique Xami pages. Two more to go for a book. That would be pretty nice to get um, as a book for my first one. Either one, Sarah, Sammy, whatever. That would be nice. Finally, guys, a level on freaking recording. And what? Damn, not only did I get 86 attack, I also got 110 combat. Really? That's crazy fast. I did not expect to get another combat level so soon, but hey, that's a really nice number. Oh my goodness. My first jet task. Alright, nice. Oh, I'm actually excited for this. I mean, I already got the fire cape, so it isn't like the craziest thing I could possibly do but just to do this with a slur mask oh dude and my new stats and all that oh man I wonder how much better I can do fight capes now really and plus the juicy freaking slur experience guys if I finish this that should be like 30 something K slur experience or yeah something like that and that'll get me to 80k or less to 85 beautiful oh my god face palm I totally forgot that if you leave the caves just once, you forfeit the task. And the thing is, I left because I felt like this gear setup wasn't necessary. Like, I felt like this Dragon Defender wasn't necessary. So I was like, oh yeah, um, let me go ahead and bank this real quick so I can uh, get another shark. And I totally forgot I'm not supposed to leave at all. I can't leave this. Wow, there goes 30k plus their experience opportunity right there man oh man i am i am quite uh sad and a little bit mad but okay you know lesson learned don't do that again finally guys it's time for redemption so glad that this task is actually quite common let's go in guys and destroy jad oh it's here yes one more hit guys and then i will get my juicy xp yeah, there we go. Jad task complete for that crazy ass experience in Slayer. Wow, yeah, 37k. And that took me an hour and 21 minutes. Okay, not bad with Rob Bolts. Another Fire Arcade. I love how my super crucial Slayer levels has been from this task. What was the one that I needed for the Absolute Demon? Oh yeah, 80 Slayer, so I'm getting 85 now. Which means I don't need a pot for the Absolute Demon task, so yeah. I always seem to get it at Kelfight Workers, it's weird. And anyways, there we have it guys. 85 freaking Slayer. Ah, and let's look at that. You can now kill Absolute Demons and Sires. That is fantastic. Two more Slayer levels to go for that Kraken task and that Juicy Trident. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. 
I guess I'm gonna take a little break from Slayer so I can train some herb lore and not just really for the sake of those herb levels I am getting close to running out of super energies and I usually do my clues with super energies because who the hell wants to walk and do clues that would just take so long so yeah I got a lot of aventoles I think I might just go ahead and turn all these into super energies um, there won't be any problems with that and that's probably gonna take a little bit gathering all the fungus but it should be fine should be a lot of herbal xp and it'll contribute towards that 72 herbal goal or maybe 71 with a green man's ale for them range spots that'd be nice as well i'm just gonna collect all the herbs right now should be quite a bit oh 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 my god that is a, a juicy amount here's our first herbal level for today 61 and because i do have mauritania hard diaries completed I was able to get the Motmar Fungus twice as fast, so I'll need really had to pick 350 from the ground because of that, so that's really nice. And yeah, I got about 700 super energies to make, it's gonna be a lot of herb lore gains. There we go, 62 herb lore, we got 400 or so potions still to make, so there's a good chance that we will get ourselves another level, so I think we'll end at 63, not bad. And there's the final herbal level for now, and I can make super restore potions. That's nice, except getting red spider eggs at an early level is uh, quite a pain, but it's okay. Don't really have to worry about super restores for a while anyways. Got 97 tiers, and I think that should get me close to 40 or 40 runecrafting. I really hope it just gets me to 40. And yes, perfect. Now I can craft astral runes, and well done. I've reached... Uh, 40 on all skills not too shabby of a milestone So that's actually pretty good because whenever I need to go and collect some snake grass for my prayer pots I have freaking 900 Ranar weeds in the bank I can use the crafting that I just got to make a lot of astral runes and have a telly to the water birth island Which is perfect for collecting snake grass. I believe it's the best way at the moment. So um, that's really nice and I'll have that ready whenever I need to make some prayer pots again. I freaking got another Tazar task. They're so damn common, but it's really good for me. Yes, there we go. That is Jan number two today. Hopefully I can get this brought boat. Yes, I did. And that is very nice. Another 37,000 Slayer experience in the bag in an hour. Oh, actually, I made a new record. Personal best. Cool, cool. So now it's an hour and 19 minutes. 269k to 86. 3 is way more than I need. Just having 2 just for the placeholder is nice enough. So I guess future fire capes, I'm just going to go ahead and cash it in for a chance at a jab pit every time I do it. So here goes the first one. If I can get a jab pit, that'd be pretty dope. Okay, let's do it, guys. Wish me luck. Uh, bargain for the jab pit, of course. Okay. Uh, you're not lucky, maybe next time. So yeah, I'll just keep doing this every task. I have saved up over 300 bird nests worth of just seeds. And I just opened all of them up. I got so much good seeds out of it. And I plan to pretty much use them all. And the reason why I am uh, trying to shift a little bit of my time into farming is because if I can get myself to at least 56 where I can just uh, boost with the garden pie, I can just plant some white berry seeds and these white berry seeds are going to be pretty useful because I can every day collect white berries from the bush patches and that's actually pretty important because there's really no like decent way for me to collect white berries on this Iron Man aside from like trying to go to like the elf spot and just pick one at a time which would take so much time so the quicker I can plant these white berry trees the easier it is for me to get white berries and it'll save me a lot of time in the long run because look at this, I already have 500 cadentines and I'm gonna have to use them eventually for like super combats and whatnot. So I'll definitely prepare myself. And food tree runs slash tree runs aren't too time consuming, so I don't mind that at all. So I just hit 51 farming. Right now I'm just doing a little bit of payment gathering. I'm gonna be collecting quite a bit of pineapples and some apples in general for the trees I'm gonna plant very soon. Wow, that was a lot of work. Found a mesh to get everything ready for tomorrow. 
As soon as I wake up, I'm probably just gonna plant as many trees as I can and fruit trees. Probably gonna do the highest ones because I do have payments for them too. So I can just guarantee myself some nice juicy farm experience when they're grown. Should be really fast farming levels at this rate. Here is my first farming level guys. Let's go check this maple tree. Oh, delicious. 52 farming. Not bad at all. And I gotta say, tree runs and fruit tree runs, when you are prepared and all that, it is so nice. Just uh, really easy to get that XP. Should see maybe 53 today. And I'm prepared for this nice 91 range, guys. Really good. Uh, anyways, I've been just ranging every time I get a Black Demon task, just because it's really chill. Uh, gets me a really good opportunity to edit some videos and catch up on some TV shows and all that stuff. Training here with broad bolts on a Ceratas is actually pretty decent. It's 50k an hour. 54 farming. Oh yeah, baby. Really nice. Coming up, we got 55 farming in probably a few minutes. Here we go, guys. 55 farming. Easy peasy. Ooh, I can now grow the cactus. That will be a nice prelude for you tree farming in the future. And uh, I still got quite a bit of high level seeds like curry seeds, pineapple seeds, I still have quite a bit of maples. For the longest time I thought that Jad spawned randomly but actually Jad spawns in a very specific way. So as you can see I just killed the orange 360 and look at that Jad spawned exactly where the orange 360 spawned. And guess what? It's not a coincidence, guys. It actually does that every single fight caves. So as long as you figure out where the orange 360 spawned, you will know exactly where Jad spawned. Hopefully you guys will find this information to be quite uh, useful. Another Jad task done. Very nice. 52k, guys. 286. And let's cash this. Fire cape in and hopefully we can uh, try to get this pet again. Okay, let's do this. Oh, rest in peace, another one. Here we go, guys, another farming level. There we go, 56 farming. Now I can grow some quarm. Really nice, 17k to 58. Here we are with 57 farming and I can grow papaya trees. Beautiful, because I actually have a bit of that as well. I should probably start planting some pineapples, honestly. And uh, two more levels to go and then we can grow some white berries. That's a pretty nice milestone, but I honestly think I'm just gonna keep doing tree runs and stuff until I pretty much run out. And I wonder how many farming levels I can get. Didn't even realize I was gonna get a level. Here we go, guys. 86 defense. We also got two other levels coming up very closely behind. And here is 87 attack with the bonus 111 combat. Triple digits, guys. And uh, let's uh, see here. We still got 93 hit points coming up, so I'll see you soon with that. And pretty sure we'll have 86 Slayer soon after as well. Oh, yes, 93 hit points. Not bad, not bad. I kind of need that extra hit point right now. That is really good. We're more than halfway to 99 hit points. It's going to be nice. Perhaps uh, Untrain HP, for real. 86 Slayer. Hell yes. That means we only need one more Slayer level for that freaking Trident, man. Although it is arguably quite a long time, 374k before uh, I can see that happen, but I'm gonna work my ass off from this point on. Definitely gonna put in hours of Slayer every day until I get this bad boy. Here we have 80 cooking, and I think I can now cook sharks, but I would not dare to cook sharks at such a low level. Once I get like 90 or something, I'll probably start cooking and using some sharks because I think by then, hopefully everything ties in and my stats are good enough for like God Wars and all that. And yeah, that will be a good timing to use the sharks then. Here we have 58 farming guys, not bad at all. There's a good chance that I might be able to get 59 today, but 20k is pretty crazy. We'll see about that because that's the one level I need and then I can grow some white berry bushes gonna be uh, interesting. Wow, I am quite surprised by this. I still have two fruit trees to check health with and I only need 335 to 59 so uh, let's quickly get that 59 farming and voila, farming goal is complete. I can now grow white berry bushes. 
So I will just occasionally go to the Arty church. I mean, I usually always go there for when I do Slayer tasks and Clue Scrolls, so I can always just pick up the berries there. So it'll be a nice, easy way to get berries without really using much time. So this white berry bush should generate me quite a bit of white berries over its uh, duration. Here is 64 herbler guys. I'm just taking a little break from Slayer so that I can get some uh, energy pots. I'm gonna be using these instead for my clues and whatever I need to do that requires a lot of running. And I have so much Highlanders left, so I'll have 1k energy pots 3 and that'll last me a long time. Yo, what the hell, Chaos Elemental? Jesus Christ, this guy can go this far away. I almost died to him. Yes, Abyssal Demon Task. Oh man, first one on this account, uh, took me a little bit over a uh, Slayer level. So I am doing another clue and while I was killing the imposter, I actually got 92 strength. So now I have another skill that is halfway to 99, my second one. I thought I got myself an Abyssal Demon Head, but it just turned out it was an insult Abyssal Demon Head. They look very much alike. Wow guys, look at that 50 damage. Beautiful. So I have always wanted to hit a 50 on this Iron Man and now that I have done it, I guess that's a really cool milestone completed. I am pretty sure you cannot hit a 60 or higher with a whip with today's current endgame stuff. So I guess that's it for the damage goal for my whip. And I guess the next big thing would be to like hit a 70 with a god sword, but obviously I am quite far away from that. 92 range, again late recording. But anyways, we are now halfway to 99 range, and that is 678k to 93, so it's probably going to take quite a while for the next level, but uh, eventually we'll get it. But overall, not bad. About to get my next farming level, and this will be the final one for a little bit. And yes, that is 62 farming, beautiful. These papaya fruit tree seeds are amazing, and I can also grow snapdragon. That is really cool. But now I am pretty much out of the good seeds. I am almost out of cash now, so I definitely need some more money in the bank and for my kingdom. I've done a lot of slur and clues, and that means I have a lot of rune items to elk. And from what I can see, I think I can get like at least 3 out of it. I'm just guessing, we'll see. Going for the final item, let's out that last dragon plate legs, and that cash stack is amazing. So I was really close with my guess. 3.3 mil basically, 300 more thousand than I expected which is really nice. So yeah, 3.5 mil in the bank, I'm gonna put a few mil into the kingdom and we should be all set for a few weeks with that much money. After finishing my troll task, I just realized that's actually my 300th task in a row, that's freaking insane. 180 slayer points for that, can't believe it man, 86 slayer took 300 slayer tasks, wow. Here we go with 87 defense, beautiful. Here we go guys, 88 attack on this Iron Man now, pretty damn good, 2 levels to 90 and 400 HK to 89, but we're not going to be seeing any other skill levels for a bit, but 112 combat though, that means 14 more to go for that max combat, which I don't think I'll ever get, but yeah, still nice. Holy shit guys, I did not expect my whip number 2 to be uh, this early, oh my second Abyssal Demon task, that's so awesome. Now I have placeholder whips. Normally placeholders of an item is just for looks but the whip is more than just that because I will probably be making some tentacle whips in the near future. Since I will have 87 sir very soon, we should be expecting a tentacle to go along with these extra whips. Cannot wait for that. This next task should get me 87 slayers, so what is that magical task? Okay, upper inspectors. That will guarantee me the level. So freaking pumped for it, man. 87 slayer for them cracking so close. So sorry about that, guys. Could not get it on time for that recording, but we've done it. 87 slayer, guys, for that freaking cracking task and that trident. Oh my goodness, that took so long. I mean, it could have been faster, but... Um, definitely, definitely was gonna be slow no matter what. But yeah, 400k to 88. I'm not too concerned about the next layer level for a while because I really want to work more on getting that trident and just using it, you know, at Zora and probably get me back into Boros as well. But yes, there it is, guys. Cave Kraken at 87 Slayer. Beautiful.
Luckily, OS Buddy automatically captures a level, so there it is, guys. I skipped a bunch of tasks, and unfortunately, I did not get a single Kraken task. But I'm gonna stop here. Don't want to waste my points like that. So I am going to just do the task as usual until I get one. Wow, got another surprise level. 94 hit points, guys. That's pretty sick. Did not expect to uh, get that this early. And we hit... 1600 total level milestone. That's freaking awesome, man. So that's 150 more levels until I can use the 1750 total world. Please give me that Kraken task. Yes! 109 cave Krakens. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Beautiful. So yeah, that didn't take too long, which is great. And uh, we should uh, expect to get ourselves a trident in just one task, just because the drop rate of an uncharged trident from the regular ones, not the boss ones, is quite low. Let's do this guys, hopefully I can get the trident in one task. Wish me luck. <gasps> what? Oh my god. <laughs> really? A Kraken tentacle? Holy shit. That is so goddamn rare from a normal Kraken. I believe it's like one in a thousand something. Okay, I guess uh, Abyssal Tentacle is pretty cool too, but I don't know if I would really use that. Well, I do have two whips, so I could just make one. And even if it breaks, I'll still have another whip left over. And I probably will be expecting to get more whips anyways. So it's not bad at all. Wow, I guess I'm already prepped for like maybe God Wars in the near future. But uh, yeah, where's that trident at? 44 kills left, please. Just finished the first ever Kraken task and I did not get the trident, which is a little bit disappointing considering uh, they're definitely not that hard to get. But we're just gonna have to keep trying. I don't wanna go through all my points again, so might as well use the Kraken tentacle on my second whip. Yes, the warning, but it's okay. Oh yeah, now I have another cool item to use. Well, I won't use this often at all, if anything. Probably just for like, Iron Dragons or something when I get those. Stuff that requires a lot of accuracy. Kraken Task, yes! Second Kraken Task, holy shit, that was good. Did not take too long for that. But yeah, here's another shot at freaking Trident. And check this out, 81 magic guys, been a while since I've gone a magic level, but yes, this Kraken grind is getting me quite a bit of experience in magic. And hopefully, we can get this shrine soon, hopefully. And that's another Kraken task done, but still no trident. That's a little disappointing, but we gotta keep trying man, keep trying. Just got a prayer level, 71 prayer, it's been a very long time since I've gotten a prayer level. Just because all of the experience I've gotten so far from 70 to now has been from like Bone Crusher. Yeah, just from doing Slayer. <laughs> That's insane. But nice. I said that I would probably stop skipping tasks after like my first 10, but I've just been doing it quite often. I went from like 2.6k uh, points to freaking 1.6. So, man, that's so bad. Oh, nice. 89 attack. I have gained over a hundred thousand star experience without getting a trident. Hopefully the next task will be my third one. Yes! Third task guys, alright. I think I'm gonna stick with dirt though for a little bit. But yes, third Kraken task. This is the last kill of the third Kraken task. And let's see what it is. Wow, just coin drops. Well, that is uh, over 300 kills now without a trident and the drop rate is 1 in 200 so I am 100 plus over the drop right now. Maybe the fourth task, we will get it. Well, just got a defense level. I believe I am now 88 defense. Yes, that is correct. With 456k to 89, but I am probably just gonna train solely on defense until I get it to 89 so that it matches nicely with the attack and then I can go on control again. Holy shit, guys, I did not see this coming at all. Of course, who the hell would expect? to see a freaking dragon spear on the ground. But yes, that's my first ever dragon spear. Feels good, cause uh, it's actually really good for elite clue scrolls. However, I'm still trying to wait on the rune bucket helmet for that elite clue that I'm very close to finishing, so hopefully we get that soon so I can use this for another clue. 
God damn it, I was not paying attention and I accidentally unlocked the Slug Salter perk, which automatically salts the slug for you, while I was trying to get my freaking Kraken Task. Rest in peace, 80 points. Ooh, baby, 80 fishing. What is going on? Wow. Just uh, wanted to chill a little bit and what a surprise. Pretty nice level 80 milestone here. I'm honestly going to be doing Monkfish all the way to 99 to be honest. So expect to see a bit more of that every now and then. Holy shit, what did I just get? A clue bottle with, I think it's a clue scroll, right? Let me open that real quick. And it is a freaking clue scroll, that's so cool. I think I heard about this update, but I didn't know it actually passed, so... I think that's actually a, a nice way to get some clues while you're AFKing. This is freaking amazing, another clue bottle scroll. And this time it's a medium. And medium clue scrolls are really nice to get because I don't usually get them often since most of my tasks gives me hard ones and not medium ones and medium one will give me that sexy ranger boot so yeah fishing is actually really nice now. I have spent way too much time trying to get this Kraken task and skipping too many good tasks like Jad tasks so I'm actually going to do one of these so that I can get some nice Slayer experience. And in the long run, Slayer is the main goal because other monsters are unlocked at higher levels, so Jatas is definitely going to save me time. Okay, minions is out. Gotta quickly lure them. No way. I, I am so dead. I don't think I can survive this because I have no food. Oh shit, I just got hit. 6 HP. What? What the hell are you serious? Am I going to survive this? No way, okay, I might get hit one more time. Alright, let's see if I- What?! That- that is insane, I can't believe that just happened. I lured all four of them while per flicking Jad with freaking 6 HP. What the hell, I should have died right there. Oh my god, that is so clutch, I wonder if I can survive um, after luring all these four. So the really good part is, I got it trapped and I can kill the minions. So I can just fight Jad alone. So as long as I don't mess up my perflix, everything will be good. So uh, let's see if we can do it. Looks like we've done it boys. Yes! That was nice. That was definitely the clutchest Jad task I've ever done. So ever since moving to Shanghai, the internet can be very unstable. Unfortunately, in the IRL section, I had gone to Shanghai, China to study abroad for the semester. It was a really good opportunity, so I didn't want to waste it. And long story short though, going to Shanghai, China definitely had its fair bit of problems with RuneScape gaming because anything not hosted within China is incredibly laggy as I have to use a VPN, which leads me to introducing you guys to today's sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have a sponsor for this video, I don't think. I did use ExpressVPN though. It actually made it possible for me to sneak past the Great Firewall of China so I can get some RuneScape gains in. Totally ask me more about that stuff in stream or something, you know, if you want to hear the full detail. I would DC though pretty often as well because my connection was getting constantly cut off by the Great Firewall. So I decided to work on some more chill stuff until I got the situation more under control. The Trident Grind is definitely the hardest thing I've ever done on this account just because I think I'll hit 88 Slayer before I even get a Triumph. Like with the whip, it wasn't that bad because you could just boost from 80 to 85 and just kill the Abyss Demons without needing to get a task, but unfortunately I have to get a task in order to kill the Krakens. Beautiful. I spoke too soon. Freaking 103 Krakens. That is Kraken task number 4. This has to be it. I cannot go over double the drop rate. Please don't let that happen. Try to before 400, please. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. Yes. That is what I wanted all this time. This freaking Trident, man. We finally freaking got it. Oh, yes. Number four task. And we finally. Got it. Over a thousand plus Slayer points used. I think like 1.5k and a shit ton of like days. It's finally done and I'm really excited to freaking see how long it took to get this goddamn Kraken task. So let's go on the log real quick. Should be 300 something. 
three hundred and thirty wand. Okay, that's good. As long as it's under four hundred, that's all that matters. It's time to charge this bad boy. Oh yeah, try to deceive full. Cannot wait to use it like in a few moments. The next time I get a Kraken Task, I will definitely be killing the boss version of these guys just because it drops a lot of good resource materials. I know that on the top of my head it drops a lot of seaweed, so that will save me some time when I need to train my crafting. Aside from that, after this task, I think I'm gonna head over to Barrows. I still have this long unfinished goal of mine to get this tank body that I really wanted to get, so I will definitely use the trine there and speed up that process, hopefully get it soon. Wow, are you serious? Another trident in the same task? Why couldn't I just get one within 200 kills the first time? So then I didn't have to go through this freaking troll. You know what, I'm done. I'm done here. So the trident is really good weapon, but there is one downside to it. And it's that you don't get much XP when you cast the spell. As you can see, I can hit like 20s, 10s, and I'll only get like 40 experience or like 30. And that is a problem for me because I definitely want to get my magic to a higher level because at higher levels, you can hit higher with the trident. And at the moment, I think I'm maxing out at like 23 or something, so it's not like the best so at some point I definitely need to train magic with like another weapon maybe even the Ivan staff I don't know but definitely need to get it higher eventually I am now done with my fourth Kraken task and also with Slayer for a while because I'm gonna head over to Barrows now and try to get that tank melee body and from now on we'll definitely see more of that and definitely some Zora in the near future as well I need to prepare for a few things though so Slayer is definitely not over, I still have to train that skill a ton to unlock more bosses and that will be more for future movies but you'll still see me periodically do Slayer in between the main goals because of the disconnection issues and also the fact that sometimes I need to just do something a bit more chill in between the more serious grinds. Still not quite figured out how to deal with the internet issues in Shanghai, so I don't really feel confident rushing into Zora right now. So the barrels go to get that tank body and some skilling goals to better prepare for Zora, like range pots and things like that. Higher matching level would definitely help a lot. So we're gonna work on some more side stuff for now until I figure out this internet. It's been a while since I've collected my resources from the kingdom, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Yes. A very nice serving of herbs. I really am interested to see how much money is left. Should be a mill. What? It's been that long? Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna put three mil in. Let's just do it. Wow. So the last time I had like two mil. And yeah, that's insane. I already am down to 200k. But yeah, should be all set for a while. I'm out of prayer potions, so I need more for some barrels, but I might as well just go ahead and use all my herbs and train my herb lord because I do need that 72, ideally, for some Zora. So let's go ahead and make as many potions as we can. So for this herb lord endeavor, I think I will just uh, go ahead and turn all of my Renars into prayer pots, all of my Harlanders into energy potions, I'll also go ahead and do a bit of super defenses and super strength. I'll just use whatever I have. Oh, hey! 67 herbal already! Beautiful. Super restore mix and I can clean some lanthanides. Anyways, I am in the process of finishing up some energy pots. I have, honestly, a thousand plus to make. So once I'm done with that, I will be so stuck on energy pots. It's gonna be freaking amazing. And after this, uh, I will be turning all my Ranars into prayer pots. But there is one problem. I don't have any snake grass really to uh, turn all of them. So I need to go and collect some. I'm just gonna teleport to Wild Birth Island and teleport back to Lunar Isle and keep banking the snake grass doing it that way. That'll be the fastest way. Wow, what the heck? Since when did they added a fairy ring to the lighthouse. Hmm, that's really interesting. Even the map it doesn't show it, so it's definitely a recent update, that's for sure. Jagex recently made an update to the prayer books. So in order to get a second prayer book, you needed to fill your first book completely. 
but now that's no longer a requirement. You can just pick a book and if you want to get a different book, you can. It doesn't have to be filled. You can just keep getting one of each. I will show you what I mean. So I can just go ahead and uh, buy this. So I'm just gonna get, I guess, all of them. So now I have access to a shield that gives 5 prayer bonus. I am going to complete the graceful outfit by buying the cape, the gloves, and the boots. And the reason why I want to get it all now is because I'm going to be collecting a shit ton of snake grass. The set effect allows you to restore your run energy 30% faster. I am almost done with collecting snake grass, so I collected about 1.2k. And I gotta say, it's actually quite fast. So I think uh, it took somewhere between an hour to two hours, but definitely not over two. And it's quite nice um, with the lunar teleport, it's very convenient. I am really curious before I turn these into pots, just how much are random weeds each right now? Wow, 9.4k. Wow. <laughs> I have 11 mil worth of random weeds. What the hell? Here we go guys, 69 herb lore, and I can make anti-fire bread potions, that is sick. Okay, I want to see how many Lanta dimes I have, 600, ooh, that is really nice. Well, super anti-fire is nice for dragon tasks in general. I am 69k, 270 herb lore, woo, yes, 70 herb lore. Guys, I have a confession, I think I am addicted to training herb lore. Maybe I'm just starting to feel quite good about training skills other than my combat, just for the hell of it, but yes. So what was my goal originally? Oh yeah, 72. Two more levels for ranging potions, that's really good. I might want to do another herbal grind at some point. So I need two more levels, so I think that's probably over 150k herbal experience. That's kind of hard to obtain, given what I have. So let's quickly look at what other herbs I got left. So I got 1.7k Terramint. Uh, that's like 80k herb lore. So I would need another 80k of something to get that. So if I were to put these two together, I'm just gonna assume that's 100k, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I could totally just make some super anti fires. I don't need it immediately, but. For the sake of the ranging potion, that would totally be a good investment. So somewhere down the line, maybe next week, I'll finish off these herbs as well. Let's decant all this. So I now have a shit ton of potions that are all useful. Prayer pots for bossing, attack pots for, uh, I guess, slayer and stuff. Defense pots for bossing, energy pots for anything that requires a lot of running. Beautiful. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna head back to barrels now. I got plenty of prayer pots. Just about to open the 400th barrels chest. What is it? Okay, just runes. So yes, I am back at the barrels grind now and it's quite enjoyable with my new weapon, the trident. This is chest 405. Please, Torax play body, Dark play body, anything. Oh, Carol's leather skirt. I don't think I have anything, Carol's. Except for the goddamn coins. So, yes, I am more than certain that we got a unique item. This is chest 408, and it is a Derex Helm. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. I think I might have already gotten one, though. Pretty sure I have, because I think I've gotten mostly Helms so far from barrels. So, yeah, there's a very likely chance I already got it. Well, it's not the item we're looking for, but it's okay. Still, nice item. I wonder if we can get our first item for today. What will it be, guys? What? Another DH Helm? Are you serious? Oh man, Helms for days. Number 6, I think. Oh my god, really? Another skirt? Wow. Okay, well, placeholder Carol's all the skirts. Not a bad start to today's barrels. Hopefully we can get the top today, that would be great. Chest 425, what are we gonna get? Oh man, another Aram's top. Is that like my fourth one? Holy shit, when I get placeholders, like it goes hard, man. I think my Carol's Coil is at 4-2 and some other junk. Damn, this guy is OP as hell, using Guthans to kill all the brothers. Damn, that's just insane, man. Kudos to you. Let's see if he dies. 
No. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's really ballsy. I didn't think he would like actually try to go the full distance. Wow. Well, I'll give him uh, A plus for trying. Anyways, we just had 82 magic. Chest 492. Oh man, another Gutten skirt. That is also like my fourth one or something. Oh my god. Chest 498. What did we get? Oh my god, that's sick. Carol's leather top. Speak of the devil, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Freaking, I think in two days we got the skirt and the top. That's freaking awesome because it is incredibly useful gear, especially for Slayer and a few bosses as well. The magic defense on these two items are just like way better than a dehyde, so that's really nice to get. And it's worth a lot too. Wow, 2.2 mil? What? Nice. This is KC500, and we did not get the top yet. Okay, I'm gonna badoodle this one, guys. I shouldn't have talked shit about it. Just got my first ever legit runecrafting level making some cosmic runes so I am making myself a lot of dueling rings cause I'm about to run out and I need them for barrels so yeah not bad side gains. Chest 515 let's go. Another one. 516 Torax hammers. Okay I've definitely gotten that before. Unfortunately none of the weapons really are that good on their own. I mean, even with the set, Torak Hammer still sucks, so... It's looting time, boys. Okay. It's been a few days since I started the Barrel's Grind again after my potion adventure, and uh, I have used almost 10,000 trying to seize charges, so I need to get myself a lot of fire runes now because I've run out. <laughs> so I'm gonna stock up real quick and then get back into the Barrel's Grind. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh my lord. Oh man, Arn Jesus. Wow. I, no, this is good. This is amazing actually. Okay, well, what do we have here? I mean, this was definitely going to be a future goal that I was going to complete try to get the full gutten set but at this rate seeing as how I just cannot seem to get either of the three tank melee bodies I could honestly get full guttons before I even get that body so um uh, that's really good the most important piece technically uh in terms of price for the gutten set and uh wow we got it huh <laughs> that's nice so so far in this grind we got two really good items that I've never gotten the carol's top which is going to be very amazing. It's already quite useful as it is at Barrows. Great for Slayer bossing and the Gutten Spear. Great for bossing and, and Slayer in general. Once I get the full Gutten set. So that's amazing. Pretty refreshed now. Gonna make this trip quick. What is it? Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! Oh man, that is so amazing! Finally, we got it! The badass tank play body. After 557 chests. Oh my god, okay, I'm I'm out of here man. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, that that is so good. Oh my god. Like honestly, I I, I don't think I've ever felt this good getting a drop in a very long time. Let, let's say that. Especially on this account. Guys, I cannot understate how awesome having a Barrel's tank body is. Look at the freaking stats on these bad boys. Damn! 100 plus everything, except for magic, of course. And like, watch, I'm gonna put on a rune play body. Look at that. Wow. Legit has 40 plus and even like 50 for range, more defense than a rune play body. So now that I have a tank body and Guthans play body is actually probably the best tank body to get so I, I'd say it was well worth it guys. We are now three-fourths of the way to full gutton so that's really nice. Oh snap 81 fishing. 
and I can now catch manta rays. Only if it was viable to actually fish them, then they would be a great food source, but otherwise, it's just monkfish all day, every day. 88 Slayer, not bad at all. So I am focusing a bit on mage training, and I'm going to be doing that through Slayer and a combination of Bandit AF King. And we need two more Slayer levels until the next Slayer monster, which is Dark Beast. Uh, definitely won't be seeing that for a while. I am starting to be short on cash again, so I just started alking some of the stuff that I got from Slayer recently. And we just got 1.1 mil from the Alks. And right now, I'm going to be spending most of that money on buying broad bolts because I am running out again. I think 10k broad bolts will be more than enough for a long time. Spent 600k and I still got 100k left. Probably going to dish that out at the kingdom. We just hit 83 magic. It is really nice. And uh, for how AFK bandits are, the magic experience per hour here is quite nice just with fire bolts. It's 40k an hour. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Bam! Double combo level, baby. Nice, four more to freaking 99 hit points, wow. Yeah, that pretty much settles it, man. Gonna get that untrimmed 99 HP first. Since these two weeks will be incredibly laggy, I definitely will not be able to spend most of the time bossing. So instead, I will shift the time into doing some skilling stuff that will benefit me in the future. So one of the diary goals I want to get done uh, right now is to complete the hard diaries for Lumbridge and Drainer so I can get the sexy ring and that ring will give me unlimited teleports to the cabbage patch which is great for farming because I want to farm quite a bit of herbs so for future herbal training and just to have potions in general is really nice and for that I need to get 70 crafting that isn't too hard because I have the ingredients for it so I'll just need to spend time to make the glass and I also need 59 runecrafting. Now that seems like a bitch to get, but I have access to astral runecrafting, so it's actually really chill. And that won't be too hard either, so I'll work on that every now and then during these two weeks. And also I want to make some skill gains for Zora, because I can definitely improve my character to do Zora more efficiently. So for Zora, I want a shortcut, which requires 76 agility, so I want to bang that out as well. And also I want to work on my magic as well because higher level magic will let me hit higher with the triant which will be really good for Zora. This will be good hopefully. Oh nice! Armadale Dehyde. Hey, that's awesome man. That's definitely a unique item. I know I have the chap so that's cool. There we go, 63 fletching. Ruby tipped adamant bolts, hmm. That'll come in handy I guess. Still got 7k to go, so that should be 21k XP. Uh, that's not gonna get me 64, unfortunately, but yeah, I'm gonna be stocked up with bot bolts for a bit. It's gonna be nice. The internet is just absolute shit right now, so at least for today, definitely no Zora. There we go, 84 magic. So far, so good for that magic grind. So with 84, I should be hitting 23 base damage with the trident so I need to level up to 87 now in order to hit 24 and 90 for 25 and so on and uh, yes I thought I would have to get rid of the admin staff but it's actually quite a useful uh, magic training weapon so the XP rate for magic with an admin staff on Slayer Tass is pretty good uh, right now I'm getting about 60k but the only downside is I use death runes for trying as well so I can't use all of my death runes doing this so so I found this one spot for greater demons uh, this spot is really reliable I can hit these two just standing here 100% of the time and then it gets stuck it's really easy I know that Slayer nowadays is may escape but uh, this is a nice way also to train your magic in range so my Ivan staff is out of charges and normally if that happens in the middle of the trip like now I just switch to fire bolt with chaos gauntlets and we're good to go. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Rune Bucket Helm, motherfucker! This goddamn item, I finally got it. Because you know why? I've had this elite clue for a very long time now, and uh, before I show you what I need to do it, look at this, seven steps. And the only thing stopping me was this shit. Oh yeah, and the split bark body, but that's pretty doable. I can just go ahead and kill some Chaos Fanatics. Okay, that was a nice kill. 
Oh my god, split bark legs. Dang it! We were so close, guys. We were so close. The Chaos Fanatic is so f***ed up right now. What the? Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I am so confused. I am so confused. What the f*** is it? Alright, I'm not the only one seeing things, right? Okay. Ah, that's weird. I think I need to log out and log back in. It's probably due to my internet being shitty or just a random ass glitch. Last kill for now. No way, another split bark leg. God damn it, man. So that's two split bark drops, but they all happen to be legs. Clue scroll. And a ring of life. What is this nonsense? Alright, I'll just wear it. Oh, god damn it. PK here? Hmm, I am gonna hop uh, and come back in a bit. Please, the top? Oh my god. <laughs> How can this be? Three split bark legs. And I know they're definitely the same rate, so um... Yeah, that's so bullshit, man. Freaking... Three legs. No top. I am so sad. First kill of this trip, and it is... Yes! Split bark body. Finally, man. After five split bark legs. What are the odds, guys, right? Of getting five before top. But uh, not bad at all, honestly. 83 kills for it, so... At least I didn't go over 100. So finally, we can start doing this elite clue that I've had in my bank for many months now. And yes, hopefully, just this step will get me it. If not, I hope the remaining steps will be doable. This is step 11, and I managed to do the other steps after the emote one relatively easily, so I got quite lucky with that. And this should be the end, I think, so please be something good. Oh, I knew it. God damn it, I knew these elite clues were gonna be pretty shitty overall. Dragon necklace uh, and uh, dragon bracelet, D maze, and some planks. Okay. Well, I don't really care that the reward is shitty. It's just I am pretty damn happy that I finished my first ever elite clue on this guy. Here we go with 85 magic. Beautiful. Cannot get enough of that bandit FK action. 339k to 86. That's gonna take many hours of AFK, but uh, it's AFK, so who cares? Gonna see you soon with 86 magic. It's time to do some real rune crafting, boys. I got 50,000 pure essence. I'm not gonna use it all up, obviously. I just wanna work on it so that I can get a little bit closer to that 59 rune crafting for the Lumbridge Hard Diaries. First legit rune crafting level I've gotten, besides from tears. And I am doing Astro Rune Crafting, it's really nice, I'm getting like 18k an hour, so I'll actually fly by these early Rune Crafting levels. Here is 46 Rune Crafting, so the levels are going by really fast, so I'll just see you at 50 when I unlock the sexy new pouch. And here is that sexy 50 Rune Crafting, I can now use large pouches, that will make my Rune Crafting training a lot easier, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get 51 rune crafting right now. Beautiful. That means we only need uh, 8 more levels to go, and I think that's gonna take around 7 hours or something, if I try hard. But I'm gonna take a break from this and do some PVMing, because I think the internet is pretty stable. So what I want to do is try out Zora. Okay, here goes nothing guys. It's been a very long time, so uh, I'm probably gonna fail the first few kills. Hopefully we can get it done. Well, first attempt, I got totally destroyed. <laughs> and a few frustrating attempts later. So close, come on, we got this. Oh, okay. And then, it's the mage one. Oh, the mage one could kill me really easily though. So close! So close, come on. <gasps> oh my god, we got it. Oh my god, we got the first kill. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Holy shit, okay. And I need to log out or else the poison's gonna kill me, so... Well, we did it! First kill! Took almost everything that I had. I decided I'm not going to do Zora until I have 76 agility so that I can use the shortcut. And the reason why is based on these 10 attempts, which I got one to work, so <laughs> hooray. 
I realize it's just a complete waste of time walking from Catherby and then the char ship all the way to the Zora place because it's just way too time consuming. So 52 rune crafting, uh, triple earth runes too. Getting our first agility level in a long time, 71 agility, and I got access to Slayer Tower Chain Spike. That is really nice. And now we only need five more levels to go. We got quite a bit of pineapples to plant, so that's good. 67 farm, beautiful, and I can grow some cadentines. Really loving planting the herb seeds, so I will definitely look forward to planting some cadentines, make some more super defense for them herbler gains. So that is 72 right there, beautiful. And I need four more to go for that 76. And nice, I also have access to the stronghold shortcut, which is good for like absolute demons and gargoyles. No need to boost anymore. Nice. Here is 86 magic, beautiful. And I need one more magic level so that I can have a new increase hit with the trident. So my main goal is to get 90 magic for now so that I can hit a 25. What is this? A Kraken Tentacle. About to finish my first ever Kraken task and I have to say this task is incredibly worth it for an Iron Man, especially on Iron Man because of the amazing supplies that this boss provides you. This task however takes hours though. Not talking one hour, not talking two hours, it'll take you over two hours. But again, the reward is well worth it, so it's a really boring task, but hey, at least I get like planks, watermelon seeds, seaweed, everything. All the drops are pretty much really valuable, so I gotta do it. I am approaching another agility level. This will be 73 agility out of 76 for that shortcut. Anyways, we just got 87 magic, so now I can hit 24 with the trident, which is beautiful minimum damage and 413k to 88 so i'm getting about 40k an hour at bandits with the firebolt method here so that's gonna take 10 hours of afk but i absolutely do not mind that afk escape let's go doing some room crafting guys and i'm gonna start off with 53 room crafting so that's 53 out of 59 for the lumber chart diaries approaching the second room crafting level for today at 54 Beautiful, anything? Nice, I can now craft law runes, okay. Don't think I'll really need to craft a lot of those since I still have a lot. Last rune crafting level for now, gonna stop at 55. Beautiful, and I can now make six times the air runes, cool. Fast approaching another agility level. Bam, right there, 74. That is good stuff, and we only need two more levels to go. It is getting quite slow, with each level taking somewhere between 2-3 to three hours, but it is a lot faster than before the rooftop update, so I'm really glad that rooftops are a thing. Only a little bit faster, but quite an amazing improvement. 10 hours of AFK later, what well, we got? 88 magic! Awesome, 2 more to go for that sexy 90 magic milestone that I've been dying to get. I am almost 75 agility, just gotta wrap up this course. There we go, 75 agility, and we need one more to go for these over shortcuts. So goddamn close, but it's gonna take three hours, but I will try my best to bang that out very soon, and then go and kill some Zora for those sexy loots. Cannot wait. Here we go with a surprise 93 strength and the reason why I am training a bit of Slayer right now is so that I can take a little break from my skilling session. It can get a little boring so I just want to do something combat related to break out of the monotony but yes 93 strength is very nice and that's 6 levels to go for the 99. And that is another Jad task successfully completed. So I actually did another jet task a while ago. I did not put it on the video because I was so frustrated that I died due to lag. Like the internet just absolutely shitting on me towards the end. Let me offer the fire cave for no pet I assume. Yep. I have been enjoying skilling quite a bit on this Iron Man and I decided I will add more skilling goals to my character. 
So aside from the agility, then the rune crafting and all that, I actually want to go for 75 crafting very soon so that I can boost to 80 crafting and make some glories. So a lot of you guys have been dying for me to get a glory because for some reason you just hate the power amulet so much. So it's finally gonna happen very soon. I already have a shit ton of astrals for my rune crafting endeavor. So I can use super glass make which will speed up this process quite a bit with the buckets of sand and stuff. And I got quite a bit of the ingredients already. So we will definitely see that glory in action very soon. 89 magic. That is really nice stuff. I just need one more mage level to hit that. A 90 magic milestone which will be perfect for Zora because then I can hit a 25 with the trident if I get to 90. Lately I've noticed that when I am doing slayer. I have just been getting like Aberrant Spectres every other task. So my herb piles racking up from farming and just from Slayer in general. I will be able to start doing a herb lore grind very soon at this rate and I cannot wait because 72 I will be able to make range pots. I am done alking again, got myself 1.7 of cash. I'm gonna collect uh, whatever I invested in for I think a week or two. Yep, good healthy serving of herbs. Gotta definitely start doing some herbal grind very soon. Maybe next week. Oh sweet, I still have 1.8 mil. Beautiful. I want to play it safe and I'll put another 1.7 mil. I was really curious to see how many chaos runes I have used ever since I started seriously training at Bandits. And I think I started in episode 35 and I went to that episode and I realized I started with 74,000, maybe even more. And yes, I have already used over 40,000 because I'm now at 30k. So that got me, I'd say 4 to 5 mage levels. I'm almost 290 mage as well, so I'll include that. And I am just quite surprised at how much I've used during my time here. Jagex introduced a few cool quality of life updates, and one of them is the ability to get multiple achievement diary items so as you can see I'm getting a shit ton of already cloaks right now and the other one is the ability to get multiple god cloaks and that's really useful considering if you die you generally lose it and then you have to go back to that place and get it so instead this time you can go to the mage arena pray to the god of your choice as many times as you want as you can see I have a shit ton of god capes and already cloaks now it's nice to have more stackables just to keep the bank a little cleaner and more organized Gonna get myself a nice farming level here for 69 farming. Bam! Very nice. But I don't really have any seeds now. Food tree seeds, tree seeds, so it's gonna take a while to stock up again. 89 Slayer. It feels so much better not having to grind Slayer. Just because whenever I do a Slayer task every now and then and I check the XP, I'm like, wow, I'm so close to another level. Whereas when I grinded it a lot, I was like, shit, this is taking forever, so. Finally, I present to you 90 magic. That is a beautiful level milestone right there. And I can now hit 25 base damage with the trident. So that's going to be so good for Zoro. I cannot wait to start. I am so close to meeting all the gold requirements that I wanted to get before I attempt to grind Zoro. And yes, the only thing left for my Zoro goal is to get 76 agility, which is really close. I have already started working on it from 75. So actually, I will see you with 76 agility in a little bit. At last, the agility grind from 70 to 76 is now over with this final obstacle right there. Hell yes, 76 agility. Whew, that was quite the grind, but actually I did not mind it too much. It wasn't that bad with shows to watch. And here's the shortcut I was talking about, the island crossing near Solandra. I'm gonna be abusing that shit to get to Zora, so it's time to camp Zora now. First time ever using the Solandra shortcut because when I did Zora on my main account, the scrolls were plentiful, so all I did was use that to teleport here, and I never had to spend time doing this or getting the agility level for such a thing. But yes, I can now use it, so it's really nice. Yes, guys, just got my second ever kill after a few attempts, and we get double Runei ore drops. Okay. Not gonna be able to use that at all, but uh, that's nice. Just pretty pumped that I'm starting to get the hang of this again. This is kill number three, and we get some teleports and snake skin. 
Oh shit, look at that freaking kill timer though. 2 2 2 personal best. That is actually a really good time. I did not expect to get such a fast kill with the gear and stats that I have. This is kill number 5, guys, and we get bruised. Wow, surprisingly, the kill before was also bruised. Wow, I f***ed up, dude. <laughs> what the hell? So, I brought Carols with me with my Arams, and unfortunately, at Zora, it doesn't work where if you die, you keep all your tradables. At Zora, you only keep your first three, and then the other items are considered to be dropped, even though the Priestess saves it. So, even though she saved it, it's considered dropped, so it broke, so I have to repair it again. Kill number 6 guys, and what is the drop? I see... Ooh, Raw Sharks and Chaos Roots. My first ever Raw Shark drop. Those are gonna be really good for bossing. Number 7, and it is... Wow. Zora skills. The whole thing. That's a pretty nice stack though. It'll come in handy, I guess. Oh my god, perfect. Just in time. Oh my god. Please! Quick, what are you doing? Yes, come on. Pick up the stuff before I die. Yes, 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 yes. That was close. Alright, poison's gonna kill me, so let me log out real quick. No! God damn it! Oh well, it's okay. At least I got the drop. What the heck? Where's my stuff go? I swear I died while teleporting here. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. There we go. That was a beautiful, splendid kill. And what do we get? Cow quad tree seats. Damn, those are really good farming experience. Packing that. Okay, I guess we might just see 70 farming really soon from that. Lovely. Woo! Okay. That was kind of a close call kill. Flax! Alright. Okay, I'll take that. I'm not used to this rotation, but I did pretty good this time. Oh man! These cow quad seats, man. Kicking ass. I love it. What's the drop? Battle staffs. I'm really starting to get the hang of this. Hey, raw sharks. I think very soon I can start forward to using some sharks. One thing I forgot to explain about Zora in the original episodes is that currently there is four rotations that you normally encounter at the start of Zora, which means it will spawn different forms and do slightly different things after each dive. So if you memorize all four, then you have a really good chance of consistently killing the boss. Now, if you take too long and let's say your fight lasts like three minutes, it will actually do a really weird rotation where the jad just shows up randomly, but at a spot that it's not in one of the original four. So then you are gonna, you know, have some extra trouble. So my setup is basically meant to kill the boss within like two to three minutes. So that way I don't get that weird rotation and it's always within the four normal ones. Okay, stop panicking, please. We almost got the kill. We almost got the kill. Oh, fuck. And it died too. Are you serious? What the hell was the drop? Pretty decent kill, guys. And what is... Oh, oh my god. Oh, holy shit, that just happened. Serpentine Visage. What kill was that? 39? What? Oh my goodness. The luck is real right here, guys. Oh my god. Yes. Serpentine Fassage. I actually wanted to get the blowpipe first, but the Fassage is amazing for Zora and just like any bosses in general just because this shit negates poison. So that means I don't have to carry anti-poison with me anymore. And I don't have to worry about any poison related things for PVM. So like DKs, Sammy God Wars, I can just wear this helmet. That is so nice. Oh my god. Holy shit, I am so fucking happy that I got a drop this early. Honestly, I would have been pretty happy with any drop, but yeah, this Passage, I think, would probably be the best item to get early on, so yes! And I got plenty of skills to use it on too, so yeah, I'm definitely using the Passage at Sorrow just because the poison can sometimes KO you randomly and unexpectedly, and it'll save me a lot of food, so definitely gonna be using that, even though I know that it's a melee helm, so my magic and range accuracy will probably drop a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. Let's just go ahead and check real quick so I can confirm once and for all the accuracy loss that I get. Okay, magic still 87 versus 95. That's alright. That's not too bad of an accuracy drop, so I should still be able to kill Zora as normal and save food and lower the chance of dying. So that's freaking sick, man. Kill number 41, and we get. Ooh! Dragon Helberg! 
What? Uh, that's actually really cool because I don't have a Dragon Halberd, and that's actually a pretty cool bossing weapon. I cannot wait to use that actually. Or a good Alk if I get multiple drops from it, I'll probably out the rest. But yo, Dragon Halberd, man, not bad of a drop at all. This is the shit I have to deal with on a daily basis, so I went on Zora and as soon as it spawned, I disconnected. And I logged in obviously to see that I died, but luckily, I didn't use any supplies so I can just collect the stuff and go right back in for another kill. So it's fair to say that I am playing on landscape mode, not necessarily Iron Man mode from now on. Kill 53 guys, what are we getting for this kill? Okay, Dragon met home. Alright, so I know that Zora dropped a shit ton of those, so... Now I have placeholder dragon at home, I guess, for Ellie Clues. Not bad. Kill 55, and we get ourselves- What? Crystal Seed? Shit, isn't that like a troll drop? It's like just as rare as the Sora Unique drops. Badoodle? Oh shit, okay. I badoodled another dragon at home. Seems to work, but not really. Okay, that's my third dragon at home. So I guess I can start alking D-Meds too for alkables very soon at this rate. Well, the internet has officially, like, died, so I will go ahead and take a break from Zora and just do some FKing or something. I did manage to get, like, 60-something kills. I don't remember the exact number. Oh, there goes that disconnection. But, yeah, I will probably not talk so much about disconnecting anymore. And, wow, surprisingly, I logged back in safely. Hmm, that's really weird. 81 cooking, so I am just cooking a shit ton of monkfish that I fished a while ago. I have like 2k raw monkfish, and I want to cook all of them so that I can go back to Zora right away. 82 cooking. Sexy. Ooh, sea turtles. I'll never cook those. But anyways, I just want to show you all my food uh, collection right now. So I have 500 raw monkfish left, but I cooked 2,000 since starting last night, so I'm gonna be quite prepared for Zora again once I started. Here is another runecrafting level guys, 56 runecrafting. About to get myself 57 runecrafting, there we go, 57, that's nice. So that means I only need two more to go, ooh, alright, quadruple water runes perk, not bad. And I think it's gonna take me around an hour to get 58, but that's okay, it's not that bad in runecrafting terms. So I am doing a bit of crafting training right now to get a little break from room crafting. I'm gonna finish up the 59 tomorrow or something. But yeah, I am now using super glass make to create my molten glass. And let me tell you, it is so much better than doing it with the furnace. Because I also have to cook the freaking seaweed, which also takes a bit of time as well. So with the super glass make, it bypasses that so I don't have to waste my time doing that. But in terms of supplies, I don't have all the seaweed I need to get 75 crafting so I need around I think four to five thousand more seaweed and I can just get that through charge ships obviously so it's gonna take a bit of time all right here is 69 crafting guys beautiful it's been a seriously long time since I've trained my crafting so yeah I got a long ways to go for that 75 but anyways I actually have quite a bit of molten glass enough for 70 here we go, just need to make two more of these lantern lenses, and we got it! 70 crafting, and I can now craft diamond amulets. Awesome. Just enough too, with only a few left. What the? Whoa, lag! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, lag! Oh, man. Oh, wow, that was so close. I don't even know how I survived, but I did. Oh my god, that was such a clutch kill though. Lag can't stop me. And here is kill 100. Can we get a lucky 100 number drop? Nope, just regular stuff, but wow, I am so goddamn addicted to Zora, guys. I am not anywhere close to being bored of this boss. And here we have ourselves 58 room crafting. Bam! Beautiful, so I only need one more level to go for those double cosmics perk. Just a little bit over an hour to get the final level, so I will get that in a bit. And here is the final runecrafting level for a while. 59 runecrafting achieved, and I can now make double cosmic runes. That's really good. Aside from just the diaries alone, just being able to make double cosmics is really nice because I actually need to use cosmics quite a bit to enchant rings, jewelries, 
and also to make battle staffs in the near future because I almost have like 800 battle staves that I gotta just put the orbs in and alkin for massive gains. We are stuck on a dilemma because one of the requirements is for me to grapple across the river lump and that requires a mythical grapple hook. Now you need to make it yourself on an Iron Man or get it from a drop luckily and I can't make it because you need 59 smithing so the monsters that drop it are the Barbarian Spirit. I'm gonna go ahead and try and kill some of them. Guys we got the drop. Only took a few minutes so that's really good. And let's get the hell out of here now. I don't think any of the grappling shortcuts has been particularly useful in any runescape situation I guess except for going to Armadale but besides that I have never used any of the shortcuts and well the only time I did use it besides Armadale is for this well I just completed the medium task so that's nice but there's a problem guys I didn't even realize it when I was uh, going through the requirements I was only looking at the level requirements and I wasn't looking at like the other stuff and I realized I have to unlock freaking bones to peaches for the hard lumberage diaries and that takes hours from personal experience I'm gonna have to delay that and do some Zora instead because I'm itching for some more PVM the tooth half all right haven't died in a while which is good crystal seed maybe I'll use crystal shield might be useful for some stuff maybe tanking so Okay, will this be my first death for today because the internet is shitting on me at the most crucial of moments. Okay, I seem to be back. I do have my recoil wing, so everything's in check. Oh, yes, that's a really good kill. Even though, I almost died. Oh shit, an elite clue scroll from Zora. My second ever elite clue scroll, and it seems like we can do it. Alright, hopefully I can finish this instead of the first time where it took forever because of emote clue But I could easily get fucked up with another emote clue or like a Sherlock one So we'll see. I'm gonna try and do this I am like halfway done with this elite clue and it's telling me to freaking talk to Sherlock Sherlock's gonna fuck me up. I know it. He is gonna troll the shit out of me. Oh god. Come on Please don't don't be something like ridiculous. No! Smith the myth or two-handed sword. There's no way I can make that with 50 something smithing. So what level is it to make it? Oh god, 60. 64. Oh. Damn, what a setback, guys. 64 smithing. Shit. I really don't want to have to add a another skilling goal to my already existing ones, because 75 crafting's already a bitch. Okay, we'll have to hold back. What's the draw? Wow, double magic seeds. Holy shit. I didn't even realize it, but Zora just dropped so much seeds, like, wow. And I have been really into farming ever since I started it on this account, so I am totally looking forward to planting them. Just stuff like magic seeds, though. It sucks when they die, and I don't really have that many protection payment stuff for it, so, like, it needs a lot of coconut, so I might just have to YOLO plant them without payment. We'll see. I'll try to get a stack of, like, Coconut trees going and actively collect some, I guess, maybe? I don't know. That'll definitely kill it. Oh, or not. Oh shit, I'm not even the right person. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, yes! <laughs> Holy shit! We got it, boys! Dude, the tanks and I think. Oh my god, the things I can do with this shit. Oh my god, dude. Let's just say this blowpipe will help me get faster Zora kills, easier kills at, I guess, prime DKs, fight Ks, make the Slayer task for that super easy. Maybe Sammy Boss? I've seen that being done too. It looks really good. A bunch of things like I can do with the freaking blowpipe. So, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so freaking sick. Oh man, I freaking woke up. Early just for this shit, man. Oh, my addiction is real, guys. I might need to uh, get some intervention or something, you know? I'll be like, hi, guys. I'm addicted to RuneScape, you know? An episode for that. But holy shit, let's go ahead and freaking make this blowpipe, my friends. I remember I used to sell this just as is for like 20 something mil on like the release. 
pretty OP. Oh, here we go. Blowpipe motherfuckers. Alright, any uh, darts? Do I have any? That's it? Ugh, that's not enough. I, I need to make my own, but... Shit, like... The good darts is mithril or higher. Oh, there it is. 54. Oh, I am so close. I am so close, guys. Holy shit. So, what I need to do is train my smithing at some point. Maybe I should just take a break from Zorak. I forgot to get the easy and medium rewards for the Lumberish Diary, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it right now. With the medium ring, I can actually use the Cabbage Patch teleport once a day, whereas the hard ones are limited, so I can still put this to good use and still gain a nice free teleport to that patch so I can farm there once a day. I can't wait any longer guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start to use my blowpipe, but first I need to get money so I can get the mithril ores and other stuff that I need to make the mithril bars. I'm gonna go ahead and take 1 mil out of my kingdom. I got 3 mil in it, so 2 mil in the kingdom will be more than enough for a while. So yeah, let's do it, let's go buy some ores at the blast furnace. I spent 800k buying some ores, leaving me with 200k just emergency cash, and I have quite a bit. So 1.8k metal ores, that's enough for almost 20,000 metal darts. Oh god, I have to buy the feathers too, but that's no big deal. And 1.7k gold ores. So that's way more than I need for the 54 smithing needed to make some mithril darts. Now, I'm actually going to be using the blast furnace to do all this smithing, just because it will save me a lot of time, and time is always of the essence. So I'll be doing that. I might regret this, but I'm gonna get myself a coal bag because I'm most likely going to have to do a lot of mithril bar making in the future just because of the blowpipe usage. So, being able to use the coal bag to make mithril bars will speed up the process by quite a bit. So, I'm gonna go for it. Oof, too late to change. We can get plenty more nuggets when I start mining. I eventually will start AFK mining though instead of fishing, but. Yeah, that's in the future, not now. Beautiful guys, first smithing level of today. So the current goal right now is to get 54 smithing for the metal dart so I can use it for my blowpipe. And very soon also to get 64 smithing for my metal 2 handed sword elite clue requirements. And anyways, I am doing blast furnace right now using the French chat true BF. They are amazing at what they do. And basically you can get some insane smithing experience here and also smelting bars is a lot faster too with the coal bag. Their service is only 60k an hour and it's quite worth it for what they offer. So highly recommend it if you're doing this. And I will be back with some more smithing gains. I have gained 2 smithing levels in like less than a few minutes. And I only need one more level to go for 54 for those mithril darts. But I think I'm just gonna use all my ores that I got that I can, you know, make might as well because this is so fast anyways. And here is the final level, 54 smithing. Now I can make myself some mithril darts. That's gonna be so good. Cannot wait to use my blowpipe. But I'm gonna be here for a bit more so I can smell all my remaining auras. Gonna skip all the way to 57 smithing, guys. Beautiful. Gotta love the blast furnace, man. So amazing and fast though. Seven more levels to go so I can make that mythical 2 handed sword for that troll ass elite clue scroll. Let's go. Gonna skip again all the way to 59 smithing. Hell yes. Five more smithing levels to go, guys. And here is a sexy ass achievement in my skill, guys. 60 smithing, and now I can make dragon square shield. Now, that is not a important shield. But it is quite useful for elite clue scrolls, which I always plan on doing. So if I can get that dragon square shield half drop, I will definitely be making that. Four more smithing levels to go. So I am done with blast furnace because I am out of auras. I have not reached 64 smithing yet, but I will be back. I just want to go ahead and make some mithril darts right now because I am itching to go back to Zora. The addiction is strong in me. I got 61 smithing earlier, and from that I got myself 9,000 mithril darts, which will last me a long time, and 3 more smithing levels to go. It's a good thing to make the completed darts, it's actually super fast, and I just hit 64 fletching, not bad. I expect to see maybe 1 or 2 more fletching levels from this. These fletching levels are going by super fast, and we have 64 fletching, but the cool part is I just hit 1,675 total milestone. So, 75 more levels and I can access a new world, that's really cool. 
finally done making these 9,000 mithril darts and I ended up getting 66 fletching from it so that's pretty nice. And now I can head straight back to Zora but this time I got a sexy ass blowpipe to you. This is gonna be so fun to do. <gasps> what the heck? Another serpentine visage. Kill 159. What? Wow, that is ridiculous, man. The Zora luck is insane. What else can I say about this, guys? Like, I guess I can always dismantle into more of the scales, but no way. A placeholder is, is quite nice, I guess. But it won't really stack, so unfortunately, that's uh, kind of lame. But hey, another draw from Zoro, man. I'll take that, man. That's awesome. More PVM gains, guys. This is a seriously fast kill. It has to be a new record. Oh, yeah. We did it, boys. 219 record, guys. All because of the blowpipe, for sure. Fast kill. What's the drop? Alright, battle staffs, cast runes. Oh, and a new personal best. What? 214. Slowly getting down those times, man. That's awesome. Blowpipe OP, guys. This is an extremely fast kill, guys. What? Two minutes. I was really anticipating that time. Two freaking minutes. I just dropped my Zora kill by 14 seconds. What happened, man? Well, definitely had to do with the blowpipe. But, like, jeez. The RNG was really good on that one. And I didn't even use any food. Maybe just one. Wow. Okay, I guess the next huge goal would be to go under two. That's gonna be kinda hard. Okay, this is the 200th kill, and my last kill for a little bit. I don't know, I'll probably come back really soon, to be honest, because those gains, man, I can't resist. These 200 kills has been really amazing. I definitely have been quite lucky to Fissage and the Blowpipe. Like, wow, what can I say, right? You know, this Magic Fang is probably going to elude me for a while, seeing as how I don't think I can be that lucky and get, like, the Magic Fang as well, another, like, I don't know. 300 KC or something. 62 smithing guys, just need two more levels to go for that sexy elite clue grind. Here is a sneaky 63 smithing coming in nicely and I need 38k to 64 smithing for that elite clue. There we go, 82 fishing guys, not bad. Ooh, I can now catch anglerfish. Oh yeah, those are like the new food that came out with Zaya and they heal quite a bit too. Well, I don't know if I want to invest in that because it seems I've heard it's probably really slow, so I'll probably just stay to Monkfish for now, but I'll check it out at some point. So you guys are probably sick of me mentioning farming so much, but anyways, after 200 Zora kills, here are the seeds from it. So we have 19 palm tree seeds, 43 cocoa tree seeds, that's over 400k farming experience in that alone, and 26 papaya tree seeds for the fruits, we got 16 magic tree seeds that's another sexy ass level 70 arguably one of the harder ones oh yes i can grow poison ivy bushes i probably will invest in growing one just because these are payments for cow caught trees and because farming experience are hard to come by i definitely want to make sure the plants don't die so i'll probably plant one mm, i don't know maybe by like the Remington house area, maybe change my house portal there so that I can pick them up occasionally. But yeah, 75k to 71. I'm gonna start planting a lot of papayas by like tomorrow, so we're gonna be seeing some crazy experience. I am doing a bit of preparation for the 75 crafting grind, and I am collecting seed right now at this spot. So recently, Jagus made the seaweed spawn here a lot faster, so it's actually really practical to just gather seaweed here. And people have told me you can get somewhere around like 1800, I guess, optimal, so that's actually really nice. I like to do the fishing trawler method to buy them at the charter ships, but holy shit, it's so competitive. Every store I go to is bought out, so this is a waste of time to buy it there. I think this is a lot faster on average, so... Yeah, I'll be doing this till I get my uh, 45k seaweed that I need. Done with smithing now because I will hit 64 any time now. Okay, there we go, 64 smithing. It's done guys, gotta love Blast Furnace. Again, amazing work by the French chat, True BF. And yes, I can now start working on my Elite Clue now, so that's really awesome. Hopefully, I won't have any other obstacles to finishing this Elite Clue.
time to turn in this clue to Sherlock and hopefully we don't get another one of these stupid skill clues. God, please, please. Oh, f me. Another Sherlock clue. Man. It better not be a fletching one. That was suck dick. Okay, that's good. My Mithror, I can do that. Here is another Sherlock clue done. And if I get another Sherlock clue, I will just... I don't even know what the fuck I would do, honestly. Seriously? Back to back to back Sherlock clues. God damn it, man. Please don't be a fletching one. Okay, yes. I'm glad I worked on my herbler before because I can make this too. I think this might be the end, finally. Please, be something good, come on. Ooh, Zami Page? Although, I don't know what number it is. Okay, number one. Shit, it's been a while since I've gotten a Zami Page, so I don't even remember what the hell I have in my bank. So, I'm gonna look real quick and see if that's a unique one. Please, there's only a 25% chance, I guess, seeing as I don't know what I have. Oh, no! I already have it. Placeholder is unfortunate, guys. Oh, well. Been a little while since I've gained a combat stat, so here it is guys, 90 attack, another level 90 milestone, that's beautiful. Very soon I'll have 90 all melee stats, so that's really cool. Anyways, I would like to start training my Slayer again for those sexy combat stats and Slayer levels to unlock some new monsters, and maybe get a DK's task so I can get some sexy new boss drops. I am done collecting CB for now, I have a feeling that I will probably have to come back in the distant future. To do some more of this but I have 4.5k seaweed and uh, hopefully this will be enough to get me 75 there may be a good chance that it won't but that's okay because I also do have a uh, blue dragon hide 700 of it and a lot of battle staves that I can make into battle uh, air battle staff so if this doesn't work out with the seaweed I'll finish it up with the other two crafting supplies here we go guys about to get 72 crafting and we got it so that means three more crafting levels to go i can craft uh dragonstone necklaces pretty cool might make some when i have access dragonstones here is 73 crafting guys beautiful two more freaking crafting levels to go and red dehive empresses but i don't think i have enough molten glass it seems like i'm gonna be off by like a 100k or something so we'll have to use our backup plan I am so close to finishing up guys because I just hit 74 crafting and I can make dragonstone bracelets so that's really cool. One more level to go but unfortunately I am almost done with my long glass and I still have over 100k experience to go so I'm gonna start using my backup crafting materials that dehide and some other stuff. We're gonna get it so I'll see you with 75 crafting in a bit. Here we are guys 75 crafting. Oh man that was quite the grind. I don't think I will be doing crafting for a very long time. A hundred percent certain on that. Like the fairy can wait. It's nice, but not that important, honestly. We can now make slayer rings and dehyde traps. That's cool. Slayer rings are actually really nice as well. So I now have to go ahead and boost to 80 so I can make myself like 30 or so uh, glories. Decided not to make the air orbs because it is super slow without the edgeable teleport I have to like teleport from Varak and the walk is ridiculously long So I decided might not just use the rubies because I don't really use them Just open like the first half of my crystal keys and I got another crystal key out of that full one So that's kind of funny and yeah pretty good loots. I got half more to do so while I was opening my keys I kept getting a lot of loop halves and stuff and that was perfect because I ended up getting a surplus of crystal keys to open. So yeah, I guess I can make myself like 30 glories and the remaining will go to Wing of Wealth because they also have some pretty nice teleports. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's do this guys. So I have the timer from OS Buddy set up. So all I really need to do is pot up real quick with like, I guess uh, I will use uh, let's use the tackle zoom because it's really cheap. So let's do that and we'll have our timer set up. And yeah, let's go ahead and start boosting in the attempts of getting that crafting boost. Okay, this is try number four. Yes! We got it! Oh my god! Oh my god, what is this lag? What the? Okay. Wow, this lag. But we're doing it, guys. 
Yes, so even if I fuck up halfway now, we'll still get some glories. So, that is really nice. I've been lagging a lot uh, this hour, so it's really not a smart idea to be doing this now, but I cannot freaking wait. Okay, we have hopped. Okay, let's quickly just make these three. Jesus, I feel like a lot of these are bots. Okay, there we go, come on. 49 seconds left. Alright, this is going good. Alright, I guess uh, it's pretty safe to say that I'll be able to finish. Here we go guys, wrapping up the amulet of glory making. So it's time to put on this bad boy and replace the power amulet. So it's time for the power amulet to retire guys, because the amulet of glory is finally here. It'll definitely helped me out quite a bit when it comes to traveling and of course the increase in stats over the amulet power is always a welcome addition as well. So yeah, that's awesome. Okay, crafting goal done. Now that I have 75 crafting, I can just go ahead and make myself a shit ton of Slayer rings, which is really nice. So it's going to make Slayer a little bit more convenient. And in terms of teleportation across RuneScape, it will also benefit me with that as well. Alright, I'm going to get my next assignment. Cave Krakens. Okay, more of those sexy ass Kraken bosses, I guess. Wow, it cost 300 points, but totally worth it. There we go, that's unlocked. Let's go and make ourselves some Slayer rings. I made my Slayer Rings and it's already proven to be quite useful along with the glory of course I've been using that a lot as well for teleport. I'm going to be introducing another new goal for the future episodes and that is to do some DKs and get some of the nice drops specifically looking for Warrior Ring, Dragon Hatchet, Sears Ring, Mud Battle Staff. I'm not gonna mess with Supreme yet because this internet is just too dubious. I want to show you guys something cool. You can actually use the blowpipe to heal here. And you just gotta attack one of the uh, tentacles and just rapid fire the shit out of it for some free heals like that. Very simple and uh, it's actually really effective because there's really no other way to get free heals uh, from here. So this is actually a nice way to stay here for longer if you're running out of food and stuff. Finished my first ever full Kraken task, not the minions, and god dang it, it's still so long. So I'm gonna get my next task. Fire giants, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Holy shit. And I hit 60 smithing like two days ago. And we get the shield left half, boys. Oh my god. I wish I had the money. I could totally make the dragon square shield. But yeah, you need 750k to buy the other half, the right half. I don't have the legends quest done, so I would need to do that quest, complete it before I can buy the right half, anyways. That gives me a really nice reason to finish that quest. Legends quest has always been that quest that I've been too lazy to completely finish. Just started it for the hard clue and that's it. But yeah, I definitely need to get around doing that. I guess once I have enough cash to buy the right half, I will finish that quest once and for all. Because we finally got the shield left half. That's awesome, man. All the dragon stuff on the rare drop table is now obtained. Nice. I totally forgot how useful this Slayer Ring could truly be. So with the Slayer Ring, I have access to the closest Fairy Ring possible to a teleport. So I will show you what I mean. I'm going to go to the Relica Slayer Cave, right? And give me a few moments. And as soon as I exit the tunnel, voila, the Fairy Ring's right there. So it's actually quite a bit closer compared to the already cloaked teleport. So yeah, I'll be able to do Zora just a teeny bit more efficiently, which is quite nice, all right? Saving time is the name of the game, guys. But Dudo, Crystal Seed, god dang it. My luck with Crystal Seeds is ridiculous. When people do Slayer, you bring yourself a healing equipment. Over a year ago, they came out with a blowpipe and it's a ranged weapon that actually heals you. And to be honest, this blowpipe is actually quite useful even on a melee task. So for example, I don't have a god sword, well the Seraphim god sword, or folk weapons to use to heal during my Slayer task, but actually I can use the blowpipe as a substitute and it's quite effective. So I have melee armor on, but really it doesn't matter. So I'll have Eagle Eye on for the spec and I'll just spec real quick and as you can see I got myself just a 12 HP heal or 13 HP heal and yeah it's quite effective. So for those of you guys that don't have money for Guthans, Ceridum and Godsword, 2 mil man, 2.4 mil for this quite consistent heals too. Stuff like 
Greater Demons, Fire Giants, with low defense, you can easily hit through it with melee armor. And we get, ooh, got this page four. New page or not, okay. We got two, three, yes, and four. Hell yeah, oh god, this lag. So that means I only need one more page, and that's Guthix page 1. I'm looking for you. It feels so good getting a farming level, guys. Freaking farmer life. And I need 84k, 272 for them cow quads. I got plenty of papayas. Seeing that very soon. This is probably the end of this hard crew. Let's see what we get. Come on, baby. Something nice? Oh my god, a crosshair! Holy shit, guys. What? Finally, man. Do you know how many times I've dropped a clue because I didn't have a crosshair to do the remote clue and now I finally have it So I can finally do all these goddamn hard clues and you know what? I totally forgot to mention when I uh, got the glory I can actually do like three or four more clues because a lot of them actually require the glory So that is really nice. I'm getting a lot of clue score requirements out of the way. So nice I made around like 350 ruby amulets for the uh, 75 crafting grind and I just finished alking it and I got like yeah 394k so that's really good for uh, whatever I need I guess buy runes. We got another jad task and I'm really looking forward to this one because I can use the blowpipe at that 5 caves and I'm really excited to see how much faster can I do 5 caves with the blowpipe. Totally forgot that I was so close to a range level but yeah I just hit 93 range at the 5 caves and let me just say the blowpipe is quite amazing here, first time using it at 5 caves. And yeah, it just wrecks through the 360s. It usually takes a really long time to kill with the rune crossbow, but with the blowpipe it just goes down like, I'd say 50% faster, so that's amazing. I cannot wait to see this new record. One more hit guys, there we go, perfect, that should kill it, yup. And look at the freaking time for this, 48 freaking minutes in 15 seconds. So I think my previous record was like 70 something minutes, so wow, that's crazy. Over 20 minute PR, so personal record, that's insane. Blowpipe is so nice. I cannot wait to get another one of these Jatas for those sexy experience gains. Now that I have the glory, it's actually really convenient for me to start collecting cactuses now because I need the spines so that I can pay for the yew trees that I will eventually plant. It's a bitch though because you need 10 for a yew tree so that's gonna take over three runs just to get enough for one tree but it's gonna be worth it though for that xp after 200 plus kills of zora i kind of feel like i can probably do two zora kills a trip because i usually only use like half of my monkfish anyway so this will be worth a try we got the second kill of the trip beautiful so it seems as though i can probably keep doing this but i just need to adjust my inventory a little bit for these two kill trips but yeah it seems really good so i'm gonna keep doing it it's gonna save me a lot of time totally did not expect this but i freaking got another whip what the heck that's three whips guys and i've only had what like four episode even tasks maybe just three that is quite freaking insane what the f no freaking way that was almost was that a back-to-back -back whip holy shit i just got back-to-back -back whips oh my god this whip luck is insane hold on let me see how many abyssal demons i killed abyssal demons 500 wow and i've gotten four whips insane that's over four times that should have been 2000 kills for four whips so what is this Insane. Wow, I was recording for the first one and then all of a sudden I get a second one. There goes all my RNG for like a week. Here is 83 cooking. Beautiful. So I was curious to see what my cooking plans are because I really want to start using my massive amount of sharks that I have in my bank. They're raw though and uh, I'm really worried about wasting them because right now the burn rate is quite high. You stop burning sharks at 94 with the gauntlets. What I'm thinking of is I'll probably start cooking sharks somewhere at a higher cooking level. So I think at like 89, it's like 5% uh, burn rate for sharks. So it's not too bad at all, only 5%. But it's still going to take like, I think 13,000 monkfish or something. So I don't know. I might just do it at 87 where I only need like 9,000. I'll only actually need 8,000 because I already have 
like a thousand plus in the bank. So eight thousands for seven percent burn rate for sharks. So it's about time that I got a freaking elite clue from fishing, and this will be my third elite clue attempt, guys. Here is that delicious A3 fishing, guys. So I still need to probably catch myself like seven thousand or eight thousand more mugfish. Making good progress on this elite clue, but I need to make myself a mind shield and black vampresses. Luckily, I can make both. Wrapping up making the mind shields, so all I need to do now is boost to 79 crafting for those black D high vampresses. Come on, baby, third time's a charm. Perfect, yes! Alright, now I can go ahead and make those vampresses. Okay, please be the final obstacle for this elite clue. Please. Damn man, we were doing so well, and now I have to catch a freaking black salamander. God damn it, Sherlock man, why you always gotta be trolling? And as you can see, it requires 67 Hunter. Luckily, Hunter isn't that slow to level up, especially in like the early levels. Alright, I guess uh, my new goal is 67 Hunter eventually. Jag is coming in clutch with the favorite option, Fairy Ring update? Sick! Perfect for Zoro guys, and also for other Fairy Ring uses. Look at that, 72 farming. I was only one farm plant away last time. Oh yeah, I can now grow cowquat trees. And I've been collecting some poison ivy berries, so that is beautiful. I'm gonna plant one right away. So from around 283 Zora kills, I got 55 cowquat tree seeds. They give around 12k farming experience each. So let's just times it by 10,000. And that's 550k. So more like 600k farm experience in just Kalka trees alone. And I also have a plenty of palm trees that I need to start planting soon. Once I get enough of the papayas for it. So yeah, I cannot wait. These farming levels are gonna go up so fast now. And that really helps with the herb farming because I'll have a better chance at higher yields too. So that's really good for herbla as well. Pretty good second kill of this trip. Oh <laughs> Freaking uncut onyx. Are you serious? Oh my god, that was freaking unexpected. But okay, that's really nice because I mean, eventually I'm gonna need one to make that fury. There's just no way in hell though that I'm gonna get the fury though anytime soon because freaking 85 crafting and I just struggle getting to 75 like last week so yeah definitely gonna hold back on that but okay that's awesome man first ever onyx on this account and that is quite nice so i guess you could say that's three out of four unique zoro items man that's <laughs> pretty cool man where should i put this yeah probably in the trophy tab with all the loot and stuff oh yeah that looks so nice in the bank though man just hit freaking 90 defense man i wish i recorded that Perfect timing guys, so recently I just got the crosshair from a hard clue and I just got the hard clue which requires a crosshair So let's go and get that done This is step number six. We get ourselves nice Armadale Kai shield I am pretty much done with all my arid seeds. I planted like 250 something and yeah I already used like a thousand of them that I planted and I have 1.8k now so it's time to move on to Aventos they're gonna be even better XP so that's really nice and that's 73 yes and I can grow freaking Lantadimes sick I wonder how many I have I don't think I have that many but I will definitely plant them when I get around to it I am finally starting to work on Hunter again just need to get I believe 16 levels here is 55 Hunter guys, so the experience here is quite fast, I'm getting many levels an hour. About to get ourselves another sexy Hunter level right there, 56, beautiful. And I also hit 1700 freaking total, that is so nice, that's a really cool milestone. One last catch for that 57 Hunter, beautiful, and now I can catch Darker beds, so that will make this training go by a little bit faster. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end up doing cabets all the way to 67 because they're way better than red lizards to be honest. Red lizards from past experience is so annoying to do. This is very simple, all you do is click and grab and drop the fur. I'm taking a break from Hunter, but because I have access to Dark Abets now, I got some of the hides and I am turning it into the Gloves of Silence because I know I'm gonna have to start using it eventually because an elite clue will require me to get like 70 something thieving. So 
I'll just have to prepare for that. I decided I'm just gonna go do a bit of DKs, try it out without the Slayer task. Because in these past few days, I've actually done quite a bit of Slayer and no luck with a single Dagonaut task. And I don't want to panic skip in the attempt to get it because from past experience, trying to do that with the Kraken task, I wasted a lot of Slayer points, so I don't want to do that again. And anyways, like 20 minutes ago, I tried to do DKs, but... Right now, it's like peak RuneScape time, and yeah, I just want to see how it was like, and holy shit, there's just so many people. So basically, I need to wait till tomorrow when I wake up, and as soon as I wake up, I'm gonna go ahead and try and, and see if uh, there's like three worlds for me. Dragon Halberg, nice. Second Dragon Halberg, alright, placeholder. It's the next day and I am playing at the most inactive time for a majority of players. Luckily, I found myself world. Everything seems to be going pretty well. I'm killing Rex and Prime right now and yeah, should be able to get quite a bit of kills. I'm hoping that I don't get crashed though because it did take a considerable amount of time to find this world. So if I can get this world for like, I guess even for 30 minutes, that would be amazing. Well, this is unfortunate. Everything was going well and I almost finished this trip, but I got crashed at the very end by some dude with an Ellie. Max combat probably. Oh well, gonna have to go for a second trip. Wow, a freaking clue scroll. That's my second one from DK's. I actually didn't pick up the first one and it was from Prime 2. But yeah, I think I'm gonna pick up this one and do it. But yeah, so far we got 25 Rex kills, 11 Prime kills. And yeah, nothing yet. Not expecting anything so soon. Man, I barely just started this trip and freaking already got crashed by two dudes. Ugh, this is so bullshit, man. And there's no way I can compete with them because if they do even just one damage, I can't get the drop, so... Alright, so I guess we'll have to try again. And hopefully find another world. Oh shit, someone's here. And what the hell is he wearing? Okay, this guy... I think he probably died, I guess, before I came to this world, and uh, this guy is not having the right prayers on, so is he gonna die? Oh my god, this guy died again. Wow, what a troll, man. GG, he's gonna have to come back again. It looks like I have to bail out this kill. Shit, man, I was so close to finishing it, but I could not get that last prime kill. But anyways, 37 rex kills, 21 prime kills. And nothing too significant so far except for that clue in the tooth half. But yeah, I'm gonna go back for another trip. Hopefully we get something then. This is getting ridiculous, guys. I got crashed again. This is like the third time. Pretty much out of my like four trips I've done, I've gotten crashed three times. So 75% chance of getting crashed. Ugh. And I'm not even close to leaving yet. So that's such a pain in the ass having to find another world with like so few food left. And literally nothing I can do about it, so I guess I'll try again with another new trip and hopefully I won't get crashed the next time. I'm gonna go in and this has to be the world. Wow, am I seeing this? Three maxed accounts and I'm pretty sure these guys aren't in a team. Okay, that's when you know you have to get the fuck out of DKs for a long time because if max mains are crashing each other, then there is no way in hell I'll be able to find a world and keep it for like even 20 minutes, 10 minutes. So yeah, we're gonna have to cancel the DK's plan guys. I'll just have to wait till I guess Jagex reverts some Demon Seasonal worlds back to normal worlds or they make some more room for DK's or something because right now, impossible to get a world. Back to Hunter guys with 58 Hunter, nice. This will be the catch for 60 Hunter guys. Here we go, beautiful, any perks here. And I can now set up to 4 traps, cool. So 7 more levels to go. We are now at the halfway mark in terms of experience to 6700. Recently found out that the cooking ranges in the Hosidius house in Zaya has a minus 5% chance of burning your food. And that's freaking amazing because when I cook my monkfish here with my cooking goblins combined, I have a 100% successful cook rate. And for sharks, it's only a 2% burn rate. So that's freaking amazing. I was originally going to get like 87 cooking so that I would have like a 5% burn rate at the rogues den. But this is a way better option. And plus the bank chest is right here, guys. However, you do need 100% favor in this whole city's house. But I've heard that it's easier to get the points now. So maybe you should give it a try. 
I mean, especially on the Iron Man, and if you don't have like 94 cooking and you don't want to burn your sharks or whatever, definitely get the favor and come here. 84 cooking, awesome, and it is amazing to not burn a single monkfish. Ooh, I can cook anglerfish, and maybe, just maybe, I'll fish some in the future just to use them, but anyways, I got plenty of sharks to cook. I got like 3k something, so I'll definitely be able to get 85 cooking in a bit as well. Gonna be cooking at least 1k plus sharks so I can use them for a bit of Zora. Here is the 85 cooking, so I am cooking some of my sharks right now. I have over 3,000 in my bank. 2,000 from Zoro and 1,000 from some other stuff like the Kraken and some ice trolls But it's nice to know that I'll have a bunch of cooked sharks to use for whenever I need to where monkfish just doesn't seem to suffice I stand corrected guys. So at 85 cooking here with the cooking gauntlets you burn sharks at a 4% rate The only reason it was less is because it also averaged the rate of monkfish together with my sharks So the true rate is 4% 85, but that's still within the acceptable range. So more than good enough This was such a bitch clue to do guys, but it better be worth it. Ooh, Samurai page 3. Oh my god I don't think I have this guys. So I definitely need to go to the bank right now. Come on Please tell me that's a unique page because if it is then I think that'll be three out of four pages and getting the Zami book would be quite nice Be really useful for Zoro and stuff. So let's check. Come on. Where is the loot tab section? There it is. Samurai 1 and 2. Awesome. Yes, that is three right there So, okay, I'm gonna remember Samurai page 4 is the page that I need to complete this book So please let me get that man. That'd be so sick to get a full prayer book this is my first round of palm trees and the XP is freaking amazing. Look at that, freaking 74 farming. And I can grow the Lago Vonos, oh that's in the whole city's place in Zaya. I'm not gonna do that though because freaking seeds are so much more convenient and easier to get XP off of. But yeah, 110k to 75 farming. Jesus, my farming level is so much higher than like some of the other skills guys. Ridiculous. One more catch for that 63 hunter there we go got it guys and i can now catch chen champas hmm may want to do some of that in the near future for some chins but anyways i am getting some really really good hunter experience an hour here look at this 70,000 pretty much and i've been doing it for around 30 minutes so this is a pretty good estimate so yeah the xp per hour is quite nice time to get the second hunter level for today 64 beautiful three more to go and let me see how much XP I need to go. So 100 and around 40k left. So that's a little bit over 2 hours. I think I will stop for today maybe. This is the one thing I never like to do. And that is recharging the Ring of Wealth at the Obelisk in the Wilderness. Just because what if I freaking get PK'd and I lose all of these hard earned Dragon Stones man. That would suck but yeah I'm gonna have to make these trips pretty regularly for these sexy teleports. So my kingdom only has about a mil left and I really don't have the cash anymore to supply it so I need to go and start alking some stuff so yeah I got quite a bit of stuff from clues and slayer for now I'm just gonna out the big ticket stuff and then just put all that cash in to the kingdom. Okay time to badoodle. Dragon Halberg nice third one. Alright I can start alking these now. 150k that's beautiful. This will be my 400th Slayer task on this character once I finish this Spectre task. And there it is guys, 400 tasks done in a row, 225 points, and what? A clue scroll to end it off. What a nice way to end it. Thanks Jagex. Okay, I think this might be a third age then to celebrate. Super special congratulatory casket gives me Gothic's place skirt. Super long time since I've gone to magic level, but we got it now guys 91 freaking magic So 95% of this experience came from the trident guys from 90 to 91. So that's crazy That's a lot of Zora guys for sure And anyways, I am just doing a bit of slayer with magic and also alking at the same time I got quite a bit of blue dehydes from my crafting adventure for glories So I just want to out those and my 300 plus ruby rings so I can get some money in the bank Cause I'm broke as fuck. And I just finished alking all my blue dehyde body, so I got one point like three mil from it. I'm gonna be striving for the quest cape because the quest cape gives you unlimited teleports to the legend skill now, which is amazing because it's so close to the Ardolan farming patch and it's also the closest teleport to a fairy ring, so that is so good. I must have it. So I'll be periodically doing quests 
and of course Zora for that final item of the Magic Fang and the occasional Slayer. So it's gonna be a bit of that. Quickly get ourselves 75 herb blur. Just need to get one extra herb right there. Nice 75 farming. I can now grow magic trees. Okay. Totally ready for that actually. I got like mm, 200 something coconuts, so that's about seven magic trees that I can plant. So that's a lot of XP right there. But I just did a small test at Red Lizards and at my level the XP per hour is pretty bad compared to the Kabets. So yeah, 63k versus like 69-70k. And I was going pretty hard, so yeah, I definitely will be finishing up the remaining hunter levels back at the Kabets. We're gonna get 60, was it 5? Yes, 65 hunter, and I can now catch magpie implings. That's really cool. Almost done with the hunter grind because now I just hit 66 hunter. Just need one more to go so I can catch those black salamanders for that elite clue. Cannot wait. I will be able to get it within the hour. So yes, let's do it. And here is the sexy final level guys. 67 hunter. I can now trap black salamanders. Perfect. Let's go and get some of those sallies for that elite clue and hopefully get something nice from that clue. Got plenty of sallies now, just need to go ahead and do that clue. Hopefully the next clues will not be a troll one where I cannot do it. Pretty excited about this. Will this be the final or the next step? Step number 8 by the way. And it is a dragon longsword and dragon stone necklace. Wow, okay. I thought it was going to be a unique item, you know, maybe after my third elite clue, but nope. And I don't think I've ever had a Dragon Longsword, so this might actually be my first one. Yep, I was correct. First ever Dragon Longsword, I guess that's kind of cool. But at least I did the Elite Clue. Nice, another Dragon Halberg. 300k and now it's just from Halbergs alone. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. That's freaking three Passages. That's my 9th Jad KC now, cool. Please pet time, please. Oh, maybe next time, all right. Nice XP though for that Slayer. And new personal best, 43.58, nice, sub 44. And that's another 25k from Jad. Aw, wow, I did it slower than the last fight caves that I did. Really nice though, check this out guys. 20k to 90 Slayer, oh, that's gonna be so sick. Dark Beast? Yeah, Dark Bow is actually pretty nice. I can use that at Zora. Oh wait, I need Dragon Arrows. Well, Rune Arrows would probably be pretty good too, but... ah, uh, I have 2000 Adamant Bars and I would love to be able to turn them into Adamant Darts. However, you need 74 Smithing and I don't have that. I'm 10 levels away, but I can get somewhere halfway and boost for it. To get to 70 Smithing and go for a plus 4 boost, I need 5600 Gold Ores. And if I buy it from the Dwarf, that's around like one point, I'd say three or four mil, and I got the cash for it. So I will probably start doing that very soon. Being able to use adamant darts would be nice. Nice, just hit 65 smithing. So that means I just need five more levels before I try to boost for that adamant dart making. It's gonna be nice. Getting ready to do Legends quest, my first quest in a long time, and yeah, I was going for that toll pass for that quest, and I completed a medium test. Not bad. If you ever have trouble getting to the Kasari jungle, this is the best way to get into the jungle. You have to be here, and with this method you go straight, you only have to cut two trees. The last part is pretty much about to be done. Gonna finish up Legends quest real soon. That's Sunny Herb right there. Beautiful. Super defense mix, not interested, but the next level is gonna be Ranging Pot, so that's really nice. Oh rip, I just accidentally pressed the last experience on strength. Oh well. Anyways, 200 plus quest points now. Pretty cool milestone. I am also finishing off contact quest for that bank in Sofnim so that I can train at Pyramid Blender a little easier. Might as well for the quest cape. Let's turn in the contact quest. I forgot what the rewards were besides the bank. Okay, nice. 7,000 Deviant experience and two lamps for combat. All right, I guess I'll put that into HP. Anyways, wow, I just hit 55 thieving too. Awesome. Here is 56 thieving. Quite enjoyable, quite fast, guys. A pyramid blunder. Definitely chill. And yes, just one more to go. This was a lot faster than I thought. I'm already 57 thieving. Nice, 113 tiers. Wow. Okay, that's good stuff. Definitely gonna get a construction level. 
Oh, never mind. Wow, I got trolled. 577 XP off. Okay. I decided that I want to switch up my form of AFK. Usually it's been monkfish because the food is quite important. But now that I have a lot of sharks from Zora and stuff, I really don't have to worry about getting food for a while. So I actually want to do some mother low mining, which is a semi-decent AFK and I can train a new skill and change it up. But I want to get the follow or hard diaries done because it will give me 10% chance at getting a better aura. So I've been planting new trees as well. This is like my third one that I planted this week. And here is 76 farming surprise. Triple U, it's cool. And yes, I have enough cactus vines now to plant all my yew trees without having to worry about them dying, which is amazing. It was actually quite easy to get all of this just from picking my cactus since I have the glory now. No, seriously. Come on. That's bullshit. I had that kill too. Hopefully I can get this shot before I die. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. So close, man. Ah. <sighs> I was just trying to not use my Serpentine Helm at the right time so I can hit a little more and I learned something new. The little snakes can also poison you so <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna fall for that again. There we go. That's three kills in one trip. Second time. Not bad. Honestly you could probably try for more but it seems like the chances of being able to consistently do three kills even with sharks a trip is just too slim so. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Okay. Wow. That... That is insane. Did I just... I just got a freaking Tanzanite music gen. That's one in... What was it? 6,000? One in 13,000 or whatever, but... What? Why? I was just looking for a magic thing and I got this crazy ass cosmetic item that is so freaking rare. Wow, this is rarer than the pet. What the hell is this? My character has got like super swag now I guess because I can put this on the serpentine helm and everyone's gonna know that I got this sexy ass drop on this Iron Man so <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Rarer than a freaking visage too. Okay, let's... Uh, die this helmet, I guess. Let's just do it right now. Alright, okay, I won't be able to get it back, but might as well use it. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> oh my god, that is crazy. That that looks really nice, though. I am almost out of death rooms, guys, and my plan is, I guess once I am out of these, I'll save some for barrels and just get some of it back from barrels, and also might as well just Go ahead and try to finish up like full Guthans or something. And maybe full Ferrax. That would be great. So we'll be able to kill two birds with one stone. Eventual Guthans go in full Ferrax too. So this will be my final Zora kill for a while. And it is nothing good to celebrate the 500th kill. And the reason why I'm stopping is because I feel like 500 is a good enough amount for getting resources and using it. And also I got plenty of the R items and weapons that I needed. The magic fan can come later. It's not as important so that's okay. I want to use the time that I'm not doing Zora so I can work on the goals that I've set on the previous episode. Such as getting the quest cape and a few others. So I'll definitely get most of them done quicker now. And I will come back to Zora at a later point in the future. I want to show you guys what I got after 500 kills of Zora. Now keep in mind I've already used some of the resources, mainly the seeds, so you won't see all of it. But anyways, let's just try to brief do some of it. For a quick little recap, so we got one blowpipe, three helmets, I'm wearing one right now, and Uncle Onyx, and of course the sexy ass Tanzanite Musogen towards the very end. And as for supplies, I got a shit ton. Oh yeah, I also used some of the coal too from Zora. So I probably had like over 10,000 at some point because of it. And most of the magic logs came from Zora as well. Crazy, huh? Yeah, 6,000 grapes. And dragon bones, most of it came from Zora. 1,000 plus. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, we got some battle stats from Zora. Probably half from Wyverns, half from Zora. And most of these admin bars are from Zora as well. And I've used uh, probably 70% of the skills 
So some already went to my armor and weapons, so 55,000 of that. And here's some other stuff. Oh yeah, the sharks of course. I've gotten 4,000 from Zora. Crazy, huh? And that's gonna last me a very long time. Cannot wait to use these for some sexy ass bosses. Shit tons of demons, of course. We got some helpers. Good alchemy money, gonna get rid of those at some point. And uh, there should be some other stuff. Yeah, runes. Of course, the seeds, you know. I've already showcased the seeds before, so I'm not gonna go over too many. But yeah, you get the idea. Lots of great resources. Oh, of course. I also got the planks. Oh my god, this is gonna come in handy for the construction training in the future for that gilded altar. But yeah, the idea is Zora has definitely helped me out in terms of improving my my character as a potential PVMing machine and also as a skill machine. All these supplies, I will definitely make use of it. I just realized I might have set myself a little bit too many goals at once, but I don't mind. I'll probably just do a bit of everything, so I will not know how it's exactly going to all turn out. But that is fine, more goals the better. I'm about to finish up the easy Falder Diaries, beautiful. That was definitely easy. Now I just need to do the medium and hard, so let's go ahead and do that. Decent progress towards the medium diaries, however, there is a few quests I have to do, and they are Rat Catchers and the Recruitment Drive quest. So I'm gonna quickly bang out Recruitment Drive and then work on Rat Catchers, the really annoying quest. Here is Recruitment Drive done, and now to move on to Rat Catchers. So I actually did not need to finish Rat Catchers to do the Medium Diaries, but I'm pretty much on the last step anyways, so might as well finish it for the Quest Cape. And here is Rat Catchers completed. That was a super annoying quest. So I'm gonna get my rewards for the Easy and Medium Falder Diaries. It's gonna be a pretty decent amount of XP towards uh, my Herbler, gonna be putting it there. However, the Hard Diaries, there's some crazy requirements that's gonna take a bit of time. There are three things that I cannot do right away. I need to work on the Grim Tales quest for the Dwarven Helmet and the Slug Menace quest for the full proselyte. And the worst one is to get the full prospector. That's like a hundred and like seventy or eighty nuggets. And I don't have any anymore, so I need to do a lot of mining to get that. 62 mining, beautiful. And I already have 27 gold nuggets, so a hundred plus something more to go for a full prospector. Even though I could not finish the hard Falder Diaries, I still got access to the Dark Tunnel shortcut, which is amazing. It's actually quite useful. I normally don't have to compete for a spot at the Mother Low, where normally if I go to the other spots on like the west side, the normal side, it's quite packed. I have finally got the Dagonaut task. And great news, so last two episodes, I was having a really hard time fighting a world. But then again, I try to do it on the weekends, so I guess no matter what time I played, it would have been crowded. And I've heard from someone that they had no trouble finding a world during the weekdays. So I'll give it a try again and see if I can get a world without getting crashed so often. We'll see. So today's Monday, so it's a good shot. Let's do it. So with a recent update, you can go through this door without a partner. All you gotta do is drop your pet rock that was pretty much useless until now, and it's amazing. Save time without having to look for someone to open the door. Oh, there we go. 97 hit points. Beautiful, guys. And also, I'm probably going to hit uh, 90 Slayer doing this as well. And apparently, the mage already left after I got in. So, I guess I'll just take Prime and Rex now. Wow, loot half of a key. And now, I just finished the Elite Task for the Freemake Diaries. Huh, interesting. I did not expect that. And there is freaking 90 freaking Slayer. Hell yes, that is awesome. It's been a very long time since I've leveled uh, Slayer due to other goals, but now that I have it, I can actually go ahead and kill some Dark Beasts. And the reason why I would probably want to kill Dark Beasts besides the Dark Bolt is to quickly get a Death Talisman. Very soon, I'll be getting the Quest Cape and the... Mourners and Part 2 requires me to either get Death Talisman or collect like... 50 something items for that quest and I'd rather just kill Dark Beast for the Death Talisman so and I can just skip that part which is gonna be amazing. Oh come on, seriously? I'm gonna lag at a time like this and I don't even know if I got my Pearl on time. Oh no, my internet connection is dropped. God damn it! Ugh. This is not good. Hopefully my character will log out on its own. 
Well, I am about to wrap up the first trip of today and I gotta say I'm quite impressed on the weekdays. It's not as bad for sure. I did not get crashed at all this trip so that's already a good sign. So thanks to the dude that told me about it. It's starting to get crowded quite fast but uh, luckily I found some guy soloing Rex so I'm just gonna kill Prime and Supreme. Circle! Yes! Oh my god, this was totally worth it guys. What's this dude? Is he not here? Ah yeah. Wow, holy shit. That was awesome. Oh my god, okay. It's definitely not the drop I was looking for at first, but... This is way better. This is way better, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. That's gonna be so good for freaking elite clue scroll once I get around to that. But yeah, that's awesome first, well actually second drop from DKs in general. Let's see if we can get like a uh, Sears ring or Archer's ring, that'd be great. This is my second trip. I may die because of lack of food, but actually I have a brew so I can probably survive this. And yeah, we've done 50 kills so far, uh, one drop. Which is pretty good, and I'm gonna eat a brew just in case. And I'm gonna come back for a third trip. Ring of life, suck my nuts, man. Prime is dead, and we go to Supreme. Oh my god, yes! Dragon Axe! What is going on? Let's go! Two drops this task so far, with 63 Dagonauts left. That's so nice. And it's a completely new item that I've never had, so that is awesome to see. Now I have the best woodcutting axe in the game, basically. And I guess I will definitely look forward to woodcutting in the future, you know, for some AFK. But yeah, that is so nice to see. Third trip is finally done, and the spoils were pretty good. We got the dragon axe, I wonder what price it is. Wow, it's dropped so much. Oh my god, under 100k, that's so shitty. But anyways, I'm an Iron Man, price doesn't matter. So yeah, two drops so far, going back for another trip, that may be my last one, we'll see. Wow! <laughs> another circle, holy shit, placeholders incoming. Okay, well, you know, I did ask for more drops and they delivered, so... But we still got a few more kills left, so hopefully we can get a ring or something. It'd be great if I can get a serious ring or arch ring or a warrior's ring. Those three are actually really nice to get. Oh my god, we just got a back-to-back -back drop, dude. Circle and then a Berserker Ring, wow. And I have a Berserker Ring already from a long time ago, but dude, that's pretty nice, man, to see those back-to-backs. You actually get to see those quite a bit at DK since their drops for any of the items aren't like ridiculously rare. That is really nice, man. That is four drops, this DK's task. Really nice. This will be my last uh, DK strip for a while. Only need 10 left, so I don't want to go back just for 10 kills. So, anyways, that was a very good DK's trip. Really great decision to go back on the weekday and try out DK's. So, yeah, we got two unique items the Dragon Atchet for, I guess, boot cutting, the Circle for the Leak Clue, so that's really nice, and a placeholder Berserker Ring. I guess I'll just keep this one in the drop tab. 58 Thieving, so I'm working towards 72 Thieving right now. For that LE clue that's sitting in my bank. So 14 more levels to go. It'll take quite a bit though because it is 14 levels though, so. 59 thieving coming up right here. Voila. Anything good? I can now steal chests from Chaos Druids. About to get ourselves 61 thieving. Beautiful. And now I can finally access the next room. And the experience rate should be fantastically better. So I am quite excited about that. 11 more levels to go for the Elite Clue. This episode may have the most amount of levels I've gained in one. And yes, that is 62 Thieving and we got 10 more levels to go. But this new room that unlocked is such good XP, man. So many levels gained yet so many more to go. 63 Thieving and we got 38k to 64 but I will get that in no time. Not Thieving this time, 63 Mining. So I'm taking a little break from thieving so I can work on the Father Hard Diaries. I need to get those nuggets for that full prospector. After some intense farming on the daily, I realized I have more than enough herbs now to get myself 77 herbler for that stamina potion. Stamina pots are amazing. 
on old school. So I definitely want to work on a bit of Herbler too. So there's another goal added. I'm going to be mixing it up all the time. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to see that 77 Herbler very soon. One, two, three. Nice. 72 Herbler. And now I can make ranging potions. Sadly, I don't really have any wines to make them ranging pots, but at some point I will start collecting some from Cuffy Queen. The recent update with that allowed it to drop quite a bit of that, so that's something to look forward to. And yeah, I'm gonna slowly work my way towards that 77 herb on the side. So right now I'm working on just my one point something thousand air leaves, turning them all into super attacks, then I'll move on to super defense because I already have the secondaries for it as well. Here is another herbal level, 73 herbal, beautiful, extra strong weapon poison, interesting, don't think I'll be making those, but I will be 74 herbal very soon actually because I also have cadentines and a lot of white berries that I can use right now, so I'll see you with the next level very soon. It's not an herbal level, but it's a farming level, even better guys, 77 farming, I cannot believe my farming level is so high still. It's all thanks to Zara though. Here is the 74 Herbler you guys have been expecting. Beautiful, but I think I'll be stopping with Herbler very soon because I am almost out of Cadentines. And the next potion that I'll be mass making is Super Energies, but I don't have any more my fungus, so I would need to spend time collecting that. Back to Thieving with some more Thieving gain. 64 Thieving now, so only 8 more levels to go, but I gotta tell you the experience here is quite nice. I'm getting 90k an hour, and that's also looting every single of the chests in the middle, so if I don't do that, that's even more than that. Getting pretty much 2-3 to three levels an hour, it's crazy. Here's another one, 65 thieving, so 7 more to go, and now I can go to the Summer Garden in the Sorcerer's Garden. That's gonna be really useful because I plan on getting the Skirt Drink for it for that plus 3 thieving boost. I'm gonna be stopping thieving for a long time at 72, and if I were to do Relic of Diaries in the future, you need 75, and I think I will be able to boost using the Scorch Juice, so that would be nice. Guys, this episode is a freaking skilling montage, 66 thieving. Working towards some of the follower requirements right now, about to finish the once it quest. Once it quest, done. <laughs> and also making progress towards the quest cape. And yeah, let's start Slug Menace. After a long while, we have Slug Menace completed. I probably should have done this quest a while ago because Proslite Armor is really good armor for when you use a lot of prayer and definitely better than monk's robe and definitely not too hard to get so i'm gonna get myself a set of the top and bottom now gonna be using it over the monk's robes of course from now on gonna be good and yes we only need one more quest and full prospector and i think killing the mole for the fall to hard 67 thieving and now i have 1750 total level Sexy, I've already prepared the world favorites for that world. So that's another world I can access. Beautiful. And the only one that I cannot go to now is the 2000 total one, which will take a very long time because the skills are going to be all 70 plus in order to do that. But anyways, not a bad milestone. Five more thieving levels though for that elite clue. 64 mining, beautiful, and 42k to 65 mining. I think I'll set my mining goal to 70, just because I know that it's one of the requirements for some diary, so why not? And I am still pretty damn far away from full perspective for the Fall to Heart anyway, so I'll probably get both at the same time. Here is 65 mining, awesome. What is that? Lava Kite? Okay, I think that's like a Zaya thing or something, I don't know anything about it, but... Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, anyways, I'm 46k to 66. We'll get that probably very soon. So I have 70 plus nuggets and I am getting myself the boots and hats. So the only thing I need now is the top and bottom, which costs a total of 110 nuggets. So yeah, we still got quite a ways to go to get the remaining 110 nuggets. But lots of mining experience though, I don't mind. 66 mining guys awesome and we got how much xp 52k about to the next one so it's gonna take a little bit but i'll see what that's in changing gears again to do some pyramid plunder for that leak loop but here is the 68 leaving this is the last new tree seed that i got to plant so i'm just gonna check it and keep it there for a little bit but we got 78 farming from that awesome and yes 163k to 79 farming 
So Jagex just recently made the update that allows you to catch implings barehanded on old school. So I wasn't a big fan of doing implings with the net is because I have to like always grab it and shit and also get the jars. But now it's so convenient so I might as well just catch them when I see it. And they also drop clue scrolls now according to the level. There is 69 thieving. Holy shit. Look at this guys. I just got fucking feral scepter. And I don't know what happened. I clicked on a chest and... Somehow I just got kicked out. That's actually my first time getting this ever, like, doing Pyramid Plunder. And that is so nice to get. I mean, if I ever plan on, you know, doing more thieving after 72, which I think I probably will for Elite Diaries, this thing will definitely come handy. So that's really nice to see. Can I do a price check on this too, by the way? Wow! 3.3 mil? There we go, 70 thieving guys. Hell yes. Oh, I can pickpocket paladins. Oh yes, I totally forgot that the Pharaoh Scepter also teleports you to the freaking uh, Desert Treasure Pyramid too. So I can use that to uh, get to the bandits easily and also change my spell book if I ever need to. I'm pretty sure I will for some stuff. But yeah, anyways, another level 70 skill. That's awesome. Two more thieving levels to go and about two hours left. Not bad. Been anticipating this level guys, 71 thieving, and I can now access the 6th room in Pyramid Plunder. Hell yes! That means the last level will go by even faster than this level, which is awesome. I decided I'm gonna start planting magic trees now because I have more than enough coconuts to plant at least half of them, so why not, right? And get some nice farming experience, so I got payments, beautiful. And look at that, an elite task is completed for this as well, nice. And the moment we have all been waiting for guys, 72 thieving. Now I can steal from the chest in the Ardoin castle, finally. The satisfaction of opening this goddamn chest guys. And woo, that's a hard task completed for the Ardoin diaries, cool. Okay, let's continue this elite clue from where we left off weeks ago. Oh yes, first ever unique item from elite clue scroll. After my fifth one. Hell yeah. And this isn't worth anything? Really? Inactive? Ah, whatever. That's still cool though. Royal Gown Bottom. Ooh, looks fancy. Holy shit, guys. It turns out there is a reason for me to train my woodcutting. For this quest, Graham's Tale for the Folly Hard Diaries, I need 71 woodcutting. And yeah, I'm not there yet, but luckily, I have the dragon hatchet, so I'm just gonna bang that out real quick. Cut some willows or something. 66 wood cutting guys, so that means five more wood cutting levels. One more log. Let's go. 68 wood cutting guys, and I am actually done with the wood cutting goal. So it turns out I don't need 71 to do the quest because I can actually boost with the dragon hatchet. So the dragon hatchet special will give me plus three wood cutting boost. So I'll show you right now. Bam! I'm 71 wood cutting, and it's super reliable. And yes, you can do the quest with a boost. So Yep, I am all set, ready to go. There we go. Lot is defeated. Not too hard at all, of course. But uh, anyways, oh, nice, I remember that. They dropped a lot of gems. But yeah, gonna be finishing up some more tasks right after the quest is uh, done. And for the cool moment right here, guys, gonna boost from 68 to 71. Bam, and let's quickly chop this tree. Easy peasy. Okay, time to turn in the Grimm's Tale quest for the sexy rewards and for that helmet of course and besides just using the helmet for the actual task itself the helmet is quite useful it's a helmet that gives crush bonus so for whatever boss that I will be uh, fighting against that has a weakness to crush is actually quite useful so I'm thinking Varian's probably one of the bosses I can use it at but yeah pretty good plus uh, 6 crush this will be my third to last task for the Fall of the Hard Diary. So all that's left is to kill the mole and to get full Prospector. So I'm gonna go kill the mole right away. There he is. It's gonna be annoying killing him for sure. I see him! One hit please! There we go. That is one mole dead. <laughs> I'll be taking those though. Alright, well certainly once I get the mole locator, if I ever want to kill this guy, it'll be a lot easier. 
I am now approaching 75 herb lure and it is happening now. Beautiful! And I can make anti-fire mix and clean torsos. But anyways, you might be curious to see what the hell I'm doing right now. I'm actually making Terramintar. And it's really good XP, pretty good AFK, and a little bit better XP than Serum 208. And I got these Swamp Tars from Zoro, of course, so instead of having to collect the ashes and whatever to use my Terramins, I can just use these Swamp Tars, so it'll save me a bit of time and get me a little bit more XP. But I have 2,000 Terramins and only have enough Tars for 1k of them, so... Eventually, I'll get a stack of Swamp Tar again because it's inevitable. I'll be doing a lot of Zora. But yeah, it's a nice way to train. 76 Herbler in the back. Hell yes. So, I can now make magic potions. Okay, cool. Anyways, one more level to go, guys. And I can finally make stamina potions and use them. I am so pumped. Alright, I have plenty of Aventos. Actually, more than I need for 77. But that's good because I can use that for future levels for like super combat. Guys, it is finally time after stashing a shit ton of herbs for this moment, guys. And here it is 77 herb lore. I can now make stamina potions. Hell yes, guys. So much farming. Let's just do a, a little bit of recap. So, most of my herbs. Believe it or not, just came from farming the seeds that I got from like Slayer. I pretty much finished through all my Aventos, all of my Arids, and all my Reynards. And yeah, that was a shit ton of herbs, so I had thousands after that. And for the remaining herbs, some of it came from Slayer, but a good part actually came from Kingdom as well, because I do those bi-weekly checks and stuff. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself uh, some amylase. So I have 163 marks so I can buy 16 packs. I don't know how many that is, but uh, let's just open it up real quick and see how much that is. Oh boy, 900, 13, 14, 1600 stamina pot doses. Great for clue scrolls and anything that requires me to run a lot in advance so that's awesome i'm gonna go ahead and uh, make some right now for the next quick goal i want to get done is the 70 smithing that i mentioned so i can boost for adamant darts it's gonna be nice for stuff like zora and it's gonna be real quick i will be able to finish it by today probably just need to get 4.8k gold ores from the store and then just smelt them at the blast furnace i made myself 1600 doses of stamina's right here that's gonna be great stuff all right let's go ahead and buy some gold Oh yeah, first things first, what the hell do I want to alk? I'm going to sacrifice 5 dragon halberds for the gold grind and some other rune stuff, and we will have enough money. There goes my precious dragon med helm collection. Don't worry, it's going to start growing again once I hit up Zoro. Alright, I think I have enough ores now for the 70 smithing. 2,200 mythal bars and 3,134 gold bars should be enough for it, so let's go ahead and do some blast furnace now. And also I have 900k left, so doing it this way I saved a lot of cash because normally I would just buy two inventories worth of gold a world and the price just got ridiculous. So instead of doing that I did like one of each and that reduced the cost by a bit, but I focused a little bit more on gold ores though. I just finished smithing 2000 mithril bars, well a little bit over that actually. And yes anyways, Jagex recently made it so that the ice gloves will cool down your bar so that's really convenient and awesome and also i've been using the stamina pots for this and it's making it go by a, a lot faster so yeah i was getting like 80 something k an hour doing mythal bars so that's crazy and uh, earlier i hit 66 mything so only four more levels to go for that goal i am about to get myself 67 smithing it's super fast as you can see on the right i'm getting a stable 250k an hour, so that's crazy. Ooh, I can make Seijian supply boots, cool. And yeah, there's a trick to goldsmithing. Obviously, you can't always be wearing the ice gloves, but basically, just keep your goldsmith gauntlets on until you see that XP drop, and once you do, just uh, wear your ice gloves, and you can pick it right back up. 68 smithing, and I am halfway done with my gold ore, so it's going by super fast. And yeah, I can also make mithril plate bodies now. So the question is, what the hell am I gonna do with these 2k mithril bars? I could turn into more darts and make some more mithril darts, but see, the point of me getting 70 smithing is so I can 
make adamant and I'll have so much adamant darts at that point that I don't know if I'll ever use those mythical darts so I could instead just turn them into like play bodies. I'm not going to be able to finish this off with gold ores but I have the 2k mythical bars. Just to make sure I don't run out of darts and stuff, I will just get to 70 smithing making mythical dart tips and then I'll have 1000 mythical bars left behind for backup and yeah that should be all good. Here we go guys, in a matter of a few seconds, like now, I will get 70 smithing. Wow, that's another level 70 skill guys. Pretty damn sick, so what skills don't have 70? We got fire making, wood cutting, fletching, hunter, construction, room crafting, and I don't think I've missed anything else. Oh, and mining. But aside from that, everything else is pretty damn high level. Hey, I can now make adamant daggers, but okay, I am gonna save the remaining mythical bars as backup, just in case I need some darts in the future. It's time for me to boost to uh, these plus four smithing levels and then just track out these 2000 adamant bars. It's gonna be nice. About to hit 67 fletching guys and I needed this level because if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be able to make adamant darts. Let's get those orange spaces and hopefully get the boost. If you guys have watched a friend's video which you have heard about the hell rap behemoths and I'm gonna try out myself because I only need orange spaces specifically so I think this might be better just based on obvious logic so uh, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. There we go, that's my second kill. So it's a bit slower than I expected, but it's not that bad. And I'd say it's totally worth it because you're guaranteed to get the spice of your choice. I'm gonna get four more spices before I try to boost for the plus four smithing. All right, try number eight. Yes, perfect, we got it. Oh my God, on the last try too. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and make adamant darts. Gotta be careful to hop worlds very often. I fucked up. I was not paying enough attention and uh, the boost just went away. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to boost again, guys. Rip. Wow. I fucked up again. My cat passed away. <coughs> At least I have 4,000 admin darts, but damn, I was not expecting that. God dang. Lesson learned, guys. Do not uh, AFK too hard while you do this because, yeah that happen. Growing this kitten is gonna take a bit and I really don't have the motivation to try to do this again so I will stop with the adamant dart making for a while because 4300 is plenty for now. I think I want to head back to Zoro though for a little bit so I can just you know use the new darts. First kill in a while, jeez, feeling so like rusty you know. Yay, three kills a trip. <gasps> Oh my god, placeholders, what's up? Oh man, that is nice to see. Well, it wasn't the magic fang, but hey, we got another Tanzanite fang, so yep, second blowpipe, not bad at all. Maybe a placeholder onyx before the magic fang, but hey, let's see if I can get that magic fang still. I'm gonna keep going, guys. Mududo. Spirit seed. Holy shit, that's pretty damn rare. Haven't gotten those in a while. The last kill for now. I've had enough, got a drop, so still no luck at the magic thing, but I'll come back another time, probably when I get that quest cape. I just finished What Lies Below, and I am now working full time on getting that quest cape done. So right now I have like 20, very low 20s quests left, and I am gonna just do as much as I can per day and so I finish it and yeah that will be the dream and let's see what I am going to be doing next I guess I'll go with mountain daughter here's the annoying mountain daughter quest complete okay next one is making history because it's literally right there when I clicked on it so let's go ahead and do that a hey, making history quest completed in record time to be honest. Okay, what's next in this list? Oh, last quest, how convenient. Okay, I remember this having it in a Jody obstacle that was a pain in the ass, but I should be able to breeze through it as well. Yo, this new shortcut that Jagex added on the east side vertical is coming handy for the quest. Just in case 
for those people that didn't know about it, there it is. Wow, it's been so long since I've done this quest. So the last time I did this quest was back when the quest was released and yeah, that was probably over 7, maybe even yeah 8 years ago. And yeah, I don't even remember anything from this quest. So anyways, that's another quest done. And uh, let's see what the next one's gonna be. Uh, let's do the giant dwarf. Skipping the cutscene because I don't want to see this thing again. And we have the giant dwarf quest done. And since I'm already at the dwarf place, I might as well start the other dwarf quest. Ah, there we go. Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. So let's just go ahead and finish this quest. Instead of finishing the Forgettable Tale quest, I am gonna finish uh, Between a Rock because that quest, I actually had to plant some stuff and yeah, it's gonna take a little bit to grow, but I think the plants will be done growing after this quest is turned in, so I'm gonna go ahead and check and then finish that quest. And yep, we got another quest done Between a Rock, not bad experience. Ooh, and 67 money. Hell yeah, that's awesome. We got 219 out of 246 quest points, I believe. So close. And there is Eagle's Peak quest done. So I still haven't finished Forgettable Tale quest because I had to do something else that requires waiting. But yeah, I think that's the last time I have to wait for that quest. Such a long quest, guys, with these ridiculous cutscenes. But yep, that's one of the longer quests done. And only a few more long ones, I believe, such as Darkness of Hall Vale and, of course, Mourner's End. But, uh, let's go ahead and do Anakra's Lament. And here is Anakra's Lament done. Pretty easy quest, pretty good rewards. So, the next quest will be the Enlightened Journey. Let's go and do it. And here is another quick quest done, guys. Enlightened Journey quest completes access to Balloon Transport System. Pretty good, pretty useful for some diaries and stuff. The next quest is right there, Eyes of Glaufrey. Should be a quick one too. About to get myself 79 herb blood, guys. There it is. And now I can grow some dwarf weeds. Definitely will be planting some. It'll be pretty nice once I stock up on them wines of Zami. And anyways, this quest is actually quite useful besides XP. The small crystal seed you can turn into the crystal saw and I definitely am going to be using that for when I try to boost in an attempt to make the gilded altar for the, some future prayer training. But yes, 228 quest points, so that means 18 more quest points to go. Alright, next in the list is uh, Devious Mines, let's get this out of the way. There you go guys, Devious Mines complete, nice and easy quest, and I should be getting 60 rune crafting. perfect. That's another level 60 skill. Ooh, I can now infuse internal vacation and primordial boots, that's awesome. Alright, what's the next quest guys? Let's do another slice of ham. Quick quest done, another slice of ham at 230 quest points, so 16 more to go. Okay, Cold Wars is right there in front of me, so let's finish this quest next. And there we have it guys, Cold War quest completed. Quite the long quest, but that's another long one out of the way. Darkness of Hollow Veil seems to be the next one in my list. Oh, seven more quests to go guys, and it's early in the day, so maybe just maybe I can finish it by the end of tonight. That is it. Beautiful. Two quest points and a bunch of experience. Alright, nice. Okay, I am definitely gonna be putting this on Herbler as always because it's such a pain. There we go. 6k into Herbler. Alright. Okay, 13 more quest points to go. Oh, look at that. Fairy Tale Part 2 is on the list now. Okay, so let's quickly finish that. It's not too bad of a quest, so. Okay, that was a fairly quick quest guys. Fairy Tale Part 2 done, some fruit XP. Of course, this will be going towards Herbler. Okay, let's see what's on the list. I'm gonna be saving Mourner's End for the last, so we're gonna just keep scrolling down. Okay, Tybo Wine Trio. I really hate this quest. That's next on the line. That is Tybo Wine A quest complete. Awesome. And now only four more quests to go. So uh, let's work on Tower of Life. After this, and we'll be almost done. And there we have it, Tower of Life completed. So I thought I had four quests left, but it turns out I still have four quests left because of the stupid Rag and Bowman wishlist quest that I totally forgot about. A Tale of Two Cats is next, so let's quickly bang that out. 
Hey, there we go. Two quest points from that. What's the reward? Oh, that and XP lamps, of course. Oh, baby. 5k into herb lore. Okay. So that leaves me with the wishlist and the two mourners and quests. So let's do the wishlist first. This was by far one of the worst quests I've done in a long time. Dragon Bowman. The sequel is now completed. I got the bone sack. Not that it matters. I'm probably going to drop it anyways. But yes, we are so close to finishing, guys. Just those two final quests, the Mourners End series. So let's go ahead and finish out Mourners End Part 1. I actually started it for my first Elite Clue a while ago. But yeah, we're going to finish it. Finally, time to turn in the end for Mourners End Part 1. There we go guys, mornings and part 1 is complete. The final quest guys. It's time to do this quest. And of course I need to be killing some dark beasts in between for that death talisman. There we go, just hit 91 attack guys, awesome. So as you can see, just killing some dark beasts now in the hopes of getting maybe a dark bolt but the main thing here is to get the Death Talisman so I can quickly go ahead and uh, finish up the Mars End Part 2. Hey, check out what's on the ground guys. A Death Talisman. Took a little bit, wasn't too long though luckily. If it took any longer than that, I think collecting the 50 items would have been faster. But yes, this saved me a little bit of time. Thank you Orange Jesus, did not get the Dark Bow, but whatever, right? We're gonna get that off of Ceratas or something. The puzzle is almost complete in record time. I think this is the fastest time that I've ever completed uh, the puzzle. I don't know how long, but it sure felt fast. The moment that we have all been waiting for, the final quest is done. And now I can go ahead and buy myself the quest cape for that sexy telly to the legend skill. And not bad at all, 20,000 agility experience from that quest. So with all the quests complete, all the future diary goals that I will be doing in the near future will be a little bit easier because most of these tasks requires some sort of quest to be completed. So now that I have all of them done, I don't have to worry about that anymore and it's just really skill requirements to finish up the diaries. But yes, yeah, gonna be working on some hard ones in a bit. I will talk more about the diaries a later time. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the quest point cape. Hell yeah, wise old man. Hand that quest cape over, please. Yes! You know, it's been probably eight, maybe even nine years since I've ever gotten a quest cape. So yeah, it's been a long time. It actually feels pretty damn good to actually finish all the quests on an account. And unfortunately, Monkey Madness 2 is coming out very soon. But I'm actually looking forward to doing that quest because, of course, it's an original quest, never done it before, and the rewards seem cool. But yeah, with the quest cape done, I will be able to access the fairy rings a lot quicker. Well, even quicker than the Slayer Ring, which is already quick in itself, but yeah. It's nice to always have some like sort of new upgrade for your bossing. But yes, doing Zora will be a little bit quicker now, which is always nice to save a little bit of time. Hey, check this out guys. Just hit 68 mining, pretty damn nice. So two more mining levels to go for I guess my 70 mining milestone. I finally have over 60 gold nuggets so that means I can buy either one of these which one is the more expensive one of course it has to be the top there we go guys so I have everything but the bottoms now so I need 47 more gold nuggets and then I can finish the father hard diaries once and for all let's go and here is 69 mining guys so I think I will be able to get the uh, final uh, part of the prospector after I hit 70 mining, somewhere between 70 and 71 mining, I'll have it. It's exactly as I predicted. That's pretty cool. We're almost done, guys, for that fall to hard. Holy shit. Another Dagonaut task. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely want to do this. Get those rings, hopefully, too. Before I do any other type of PVM, I think it's a good time for me to head back to barrels. I only have, like, 2k death runes, so... I am pretty much running out, so uh, let's go to Barrows, hopefully get some items too, but the runes is the uh, main thing, I guess. Definitely need to stock up on those death runes. It's time to loot. What do we get for this chest? Elite Clue Scroll. Right on, man. Awesome. Pretty early on in the Barrows grind. So let's uh, hope I can finish this 
clue without having to train any skills. Please. Maybe this is the last step of the elite clue. Been doing this for quite a while. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, dude, it's pretty junkish though. Oh well. Can't really expect anything else from elite clue to be honest, except for the occasional unique items. Okay, time to loot once more. Ooh! Kareel's crossbow? What's up? Oh my god, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, item man, it's not a bad range weapon at all, that's for sure. I have like, I don't know, a few thousand uh, bolt racks and hey, now I can finally use them, so that's really cool. Probably gonna use that like banners or something. I just got about 2,500 death runes from uh, doing a little bit of barrels, so I think that's enough uh, to do the DK's test, so let's go ahead and do it. So I did roving elves a long time ago and it gave me a crystal shield, two tents, and I thought, why not use it at Dagonoth Kings? It'd be great for some extra defense. The Crystal Show has crazy range defense. And I imbued it with some leftover Nightmare Zone points. So as you can see, 80 plus range versus the 65 plus range all over the Grand Shield. So that's quite a considerable increase in defense. So it'll be pretty nice for the DK Strip guys. There we go. Oh my god, are you freaking serious? What the hell, man? I just got a rune square shield and this asshole just came and crashed me. I guess I'll just teleport. Since I am almost out of supplies, kinda. Not really, but it would be a waste to just hop and try to find another world. This will be the last kill for my second trip. Not bad, so I pretty much did half of the tasks in two trips. There we go. <gasps> Dragon Axe! Haha, <laughs> placeholder. Awesome. A okay, that's nice, I guess. First, uh, drop this DK task, so now we're pretty good. We still got 47 more to kill, guys. So, hopefully, we can get ourselves a unique ring. That would be so sick. Come on, let's go. Serious ring, that'd be great. Not a warrior's ring. Oh my god, yes, <laughs> yes. Guess what? I'll be doing very soon. Well, if you didn't guess it, I'm gonna head back to Nightmare Zone for sure so I can freaking enchant this ring. I kinda wanna go try hard mode when I go back to Zora and just use a serious ring switch. I love getting these new items and being able to use it, so that was what I was looking for mainly from DKs and uh, I guess um, I'll be going for the Warrior's Ring and the Archer's Ring and I think Mud Battle Staff. Those are the only three things that are left, but yeah, we're slowly Getting these items guys, this is freaking awesome. Two drops so far guys, 31 more kills to go. Well, this is officially the last kill of my Dagonaut task. Gotta say, pretty successful, quite enjoyable task. Doing Nightmare Zone right now is going pretty well. Recently, Jagus made the update to Nightmare Zone. Now you get to choose what monsters will be in your rumble, and that's awesome. I can get rid of stuff like Elvarg and the stupid dad troll that keeps pushing you to the wall and all that stuff. You should not get rid of the Desert Treasure bosses and the Dream Mentor bosses, because if you do, your points that you get from killing the monsters will be incredibly shit. So you can remove anything else but those two category of monsters. If you guys have not done Nightmare Zone but you want to do it for points, like let's say you're an Iron Man and you need points like me to imbue stuff, well the best way to do it is to use the Absorption Potion method. It's super simple, just buy yourself some Absorption Pods and I recommend uh, Overloads as well. Oh yeah, also bring your Dwarven Rock Cake too. So once you go in, chug the Rock Cake until you have 51 HP, that's the ideal light points. And then drink your Overload. And then the overload will take your HP down all the way to 1. And then after that, just chug some absorption potions. Basically, with the absorption potions and being 1 HP, all the monsters max hit will be at 1 HP. And the damage that you take from these monsters will go to your absorption potion points here instead of your light points. So that means you don't need to bring food. That's pretty much it for Nightmare Zone. It's super easy, just kill these guys, uh, bring a ranged weapon to kill stuff like Fareed from far away. And yeah, you'll get a shit ton of points in no time. So just finished my uh, first uh, attempt at the uh, Nightmare Zone and uh, I got myself 800,000 points. 
And uh, now I know exactly what to block and uh, here's the stuff I block which experiment, Elvark and um, I'll just scroll down and show you the rest. And basically the reason why I'm blocking these specific ones because it's either it takes too long, there's too many forms, there's stupid gimmicks like the Dagonoth Mothers and there's some that just gives super shitty points also because of Warlord I'm actually banning that as well. This should be a lot uh, better points per hour. So I'm just gonna do one with this setup for fun. My overload's about to run out and I think that's enough. Well, now I have more than enough points to imbue the Sears Ring, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, Sears Ring imbued, awesome. I have like 600,000 points remaining. I could use that for the future rings like an Archer's Ring or whatever, and a Warrior's Ring, and also to imbue some future Crystal Shields. Wow. I just got a curved bone. My first one ever on this Iron Man. So I'm pretty sure it's like 1 in 5,000. Just hit 80 farming. There must be something cool for that, right guys? I hope so, no? Okay, apparently there's nothing at 80 specifically. That's a pretty cool milestone. Look at that guys. Just hit 94 strength. Wow. Definitely been a while <laughs> since I've gained a strength level. Wow, 500 death runes. And I just hit 600 barrels chats. So of course I am just harvesting some death runes here at barrels while trying to uh, get some of the pieces, you know, for like guttons and whatnot. And uh, we're doing pretty well. Pretty good amount of uh, death runes so far, but I need way more than this. Just hit 70 mining guys. So there is our mining goal almost complete because I still do not have enough gold nuggets for the full perspective, but I'm very close. So yes, I can now mine adamant ores. Pretty cool, pretty nice to get from the mother low mine for them adamant bars. But yeah, gonna be mining just a little more to get the final nuggets. This is probably the last inventory that I need to get the remaining nuggets for the prospector bottoms for the Falder hard diaries. Yes, beautiful guys. I did not expect to get 70 mining in the process of getting the freaking full perspective, but yeah, it's finally done. I have the full set now, so I'll be uh, right back very shortly with the hard Falder diaries. Here it is guys, the moment we have literally all been waiting for from a few episodes ago. The hard Falder diaries is all completed now. Holy shit, that was such a long term goal, I did not expect it to take so long but we finally got it so let's claim the reward it's reward time yeah baby Faldor shield 3 and the xp lamps and yes let's put the experience lamp on herbler as usual so for the next diary goal i think i want to get the hard desert diaries done i'll explain more about it at a later time back at it again for some more barrels loot what do we get seriously Guthans chain skirt so would that make it my 5th Guttons chain skirt on this account? Wow, oh my god, dude. That's way too many chain skirts for my liking, guys. I just need that Guttons helmet, you know, just that one final piece with that sexy full set. And this chest will be... a dragon met home. You know what? I ain't even mad. That's just good out money. So, yeah, I'm gonna out that shit and get some money from it. Yeah. Will this chest deliver? We'll see. What? Curls crossbow again? Holy shit, I just got one like really recently. I think I will take a break from barrels for a bit because I have collected myself quite a bit of death runes as you can see. Almost 5,000 so this should last me quite a while at Zora and hopefully we can uh, get the final sexy drop from Zora and that is the magic fang using this many death runes. Let's go. And we get crystal seed. Why am I so lucky with crystal seeds? Just taking a break from Zora to test out this fun new weapon that I got recently, the Kurel's Crossbow. And let me tell you, it is so good here at Bandits. I am getting super consistent 55k range experience an hour versus a Rune Crossbow where I managed to pull 45k. So it's a 10k difference. But unfortunately, these bolt racks are limited. And at this way, I will probably use up all the bolts in a matter of just a few hours. But Hey, it's so fun why have it. Hey, check this out guys, because I'm about to get 94 range right there 
awesome. It's been so long since I've leveled up my range just because I haven't really been doing too much combat training these uh, past few weeks. Just been basically zoring my ass off and a bit of bossing. But yeah, it's nice to see myself uh, getting another range level. 800k ish, 295. I am going to be at Bandits a lot more now, so I'll probably be able to uh, pull in another range level, maybe even mage level, because I can do both types of AFK training here. So, And yes, we'll see more of these gains in the near future. As you can see, I am working on the Desert Diaries right now. That will be my next mini goal, and the reason why I want to finish it is because mainly for the increase in charges for my Ferro Scepter. So I plan on doing a lot of Bandit AFK training for my uh, Mage and Range. Using the Scepter, I can get there pretty conveniently. But right now, my Scepter only holds 3 charges. Once I finish all the way from easy to hard, the Scepters will have 6 charges. So I'll be able to teleport uh, without having to recharge so often. So I kind of want to do it just for that. And one of the other crazy perk is that the NPC in Narda can make unfinished potions for you even if it's noted so I can go with like a thousand noted potions and he can make it all for me all in one tick at the cost of a little bit of GP. That is the last task for the easy desert diaries. So I'm gonna do the medium ones real quick and uh, turn it both in at the same time. And here is the medium desert diaries completed pretty fast and honestly the hard one will be pretty fast as well I just need to get around to doing that Here's the dude that I have to talk to for the reward mr. Jar all right hand over the easy and medium rewards Here I am recharging my feral scepter and instead of getting a three charge It will now have five charges as you can see right there So now teleporting with it is more worthwhile so I don't have to come back here and recharge so often and uh, it's time to use the experienced lamps, of course, on herb lore, because that is literally the bane of the Iron Man. Maybe besides crafting, but yep, that's done. Awesome. I was AFK bandits, and in the middle of it, I ran out of bow rats. So unfortunate. It was so nice to use. I only got the Carol's crossbow worn down to 75%, but yeah, all 8,000 or so of the bow rats gone in a flash. But fortunately, I'll probably get a lot of bolt racks on the grind to Folk Guthans and Varax, so I'll be able to use the Carol's Crossbow again in the distant future. Yo, Jagged's coming in clutch with these quality of life updates. So they did a farming quality of life update. Look at this guys, I'm planting my seed and nope, I didn't super compost, but actually I can do it at any stage in the planting process. So you don't have to do it before you plant the seed, you can do it even after you plant the seed. So that is super nice. Here comes my favorite part of playing on this Iron Man, the farming gains guys, 81 farming, awesome, and I still have quite a bit of seeds from Zoro of course, so expect to see even more farming gains, oh my god, right? Probably see you with 82 farming in like a matter of days, honestly. So we just hit 71 smithing, cool, adamant axes, Sajian supply greaves, not bad. So I decided to just finish up the mithril bars, making them into mithril darts. I guess I could use them for Slayer as somebody suggested. But uh, anyways, with that level, I only need to get plus three boost to make adamant darts. So when I get around to that, it will be a lot easier to get the boost since it's only three instead of four. And plus I have my overgrown cat ready to turn into a wily cat. So I will be turning that into one when I start making some more adamant darts. So I just hit 600kc a little while ago. Ooh, nice, Elite Clue. Still no Magic Fan yet, of course, but because I don't have it yet, it's actually kind of a good thing because I can consistently just destroy Zora for a lot of resources. What do we get? Shield left half? Oh my god, I mean, it would have been awesome if I didn't get this before, but I actually did a few episodes ago at Fire Giant. Double Raw Sharks. Now I probably have almost 7,000 raw sharks in the bank. It's gonna be some crazy cooking experience, guys. I just hit over 700 KC. And uh, no magic fang yet, but it's okay. Got quite lucky in the beginning, so I guess I gotta pay for it at some point. So yeah, I am just racking up a shit ton of supplies, over 6k sharks, my fruit tree seeds are being replenished again, so yeah, expect to see some more farming levels in the very near future. But uh, in terms of going for this magic thing, I really do want to get it, so I mean, every day I'm just gonna 
maybe spend an hour or two at Zora until I get it. That's, I guess, the plan, because I don't really feel like doing any other bossing until I get this Magic Fang done, so... It could be a very terrible decision, but we will see by the time I get this Magic Fang. Magic Fang? Wow, double deaths again. Alright, I was kind of worried that I might head back to Barrels, you know, because I'm gonna run out of death runes, but... I feel like I have enough from Zoro just to charge up the Trina once more, so I don't have to go back to Barrels just yet. What's the drop? <gasps> no! <laughs> No, why? The second one was alright, you know, placeholder, but the third one? Oh, it's the same exact thing as what happened on my main account. I don't even have a magic thing. I've never gone to magic thing ever. I have 600 KC on my main account, and I have gone through Tanks and Night Fangs. And this is kind of like the same idea. Tanks and Night Fang again, yeah, no magic fangs on both accounts. How could this be? No way. Wow, I got the kill and disconnected. I thought I was gonna die. Well, at least that was a shitty drop, so I didn't mind. Holy shit, I think I just got a new record. This has to be a new record or something ridiculously close. Oh yeah, new record. Damn, 155, finally. Be my personal best by 5 seconds. And honestly, if I had the freaking uh, Toxic Trident of the Seas, I could have easily been this record that I just got now, easily. But, that's alright, alright. A little bit of motivation coming back to me for this grind. I'm still grinding very hard as you can see. In like one day I've gotten like 100 kills, which is ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna keep going. Wow. Rune 2H. More rune items for out. Oh, I just hit 92 magic. Pretty much I got a whole magic level basically from using a trident, which is really, really shitty experience. Oh my god, come on, tank test. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, so many close calls. God damn. And yeah, that's the day in the life of the Rice Cup Master, man. Barely getting the kills. Oh, baby. Elite Clue Scroll. Alright, I guess I can take a break from this goddamn, uh grind and just go ahead and finish this elite clue should be interesting guys wish me luck i think this is elite clue number eight seriously come on guys ah uh, all right well some random ass b carriers just got me ah uh, i was not expecting people to be there but doodle no what the heck, man. This is so ridiculously sad right now. Seriously. How can I get everything for the magic thing at this point in time? I am almost at 900 Zora KC right now, and luckily, Zora drops just enough death runes to break even in terms of the amount of death runes usage, so if I just keep doing Zora, I'll pretty much have just enough for a continuous Zora for a while. And the only things I have to really worry about is the other supplies like food and potions. Potions, I got plenty, I don't have to worry about that, but yeah, uh, food is starting to run a little low, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of cooking. Look, you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck when you see this? Look at how many raw sharks I have. All from Zora, all of this. 8.8k of them from Zora. So I'm gonna cook up, I guess, um, a thousand or so, whatever, just, you know, somehow get rid of these. Should be getting some crazy cooking levels. Probably having 86 soon, but yeah. Gonna cook a bit and then go right back to Zora. 86 cooking in the back. Nice. And I am just starting the cooking grind, so I'll probably see you with another cooking level in a bit. Oh my god. Now I don't know what the hell it dropped. God damn it, man. But doodle. Wow. Dragonstone, like, holy shit, that's the second one from Zora. Ridiculous. I don't know what the chances are, but pretty damn sure it's pretty damn rare. There we go. Oh my god! Kill number 888. Holy shit. It's happened. Oh, we can finally get out of this miserable place. 
let me log back in. So my roommate was in the room when I, I got it, so I could not shower or anything, but fuck yes, man! We got the magic fang, yo! Awesome. I just need to attach it with chisel. Yes! Oh my god, we got it! That is gorgeous! Oh yes, I also have a spirit trident, so I want to compare stats, of course. That's like the one thing you have to do when you get a sexy new upgrade, right? Here is the stats of a normal trident, 15 uh, magic accuracy, but what about the toxic trident? 25, wow, a plus 10 magic accuracy, and from the top of my head, I believe it's a default plus 3 extra damage compared to the trident of the sea, so Right now my max is a 25, soon to be a 26, once I hit 93. So then I will be hitting, right now, a 28 with the sexy ass Toxic Trident. Oh my god. Woo, that's awesome man. It took a little bit less than twice the drop rate to get this bad boy. You guys are gonna be amazed at the amount of skills that I have. Bam, 98k. It was actually at 100k plus stack, but I repaired my stuff, so. Okay, let's put some skills onto the weapon. Oh, yes, that's awesome. That is beautiful, man. Well, I have plenty of skills to use all of my toxic weapons and my serpentine helmet. So that's awesome. I guess everything worked out, guys. No regrets, man. That was a pretty solid plan, just grinding the shit out of Zora for this weapon, and we did it. And yes, the resources are amazing. I cannot wait to uh, get rid of all these fruit tree seeds again. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I have plenty of food now too. So now I think I'm gonna head back to Barrels for a little bit so I can stock up on some extra death runes. Because I just feel like doing Barrels for fun. And hopefully, we can get ourselves a Guthans helmet or a Varax helmet. Because I think I want to set that as like my next maybe long term goal because. It's super RNG and you can never expect to get it anytime soon, so that's why I'm saying it's gonna be a super long-term goal. I will show you all my gut and stuff right now, right? So I got the body, the spear, and the legs, so that means I only need a helmet to get full guttons, a pretty crucial piece in the mainscape world. And also Varax, I believe I also have three. Yep, there we go. I have the top, bottom, and a flail, and again, I also need the helmet. Two pretty big goals, I would love to be able to get those two helmets for that full set, because those two are the very important barrel sets. And yes, I can now finally concentrate on some other stuff, obviously, some of the diaries. I haven't finished my desert diaries yet, I still want to finish the hard one. What's up, 87 cooking guys, beautiful, 413k, 288 cooking. I still have over a million worth of cooking experience in Raw Shark, so I can probably maybe get up to 90 cooking if I cook all of them. So yeah, maybe expect 90 cooking soon. Time to loot, boys. Oh shit! Varax Brassard? God damn! That is actually like my third or fourth one or some shit again. I always get the same barrels items repeatedly over and over again. It's crazy, guys. No joke. Good feeling about this one. Seriously? Dark's plate legs? Holy shit, let me just tell you guys I also have a shit ton of Dark's plate legs too. Our daily farm level for an episode. 82 farming in the bat, pretty damn nice. And I will see you with 83 farming, most likely with all these freaking Zora tree seeds. Oh my god. Holy shit. That just happened. Oh my god. Full Varax now. And elite clue scroll. What? And elite clue scroll too. What the heck? A clue suggested by UV6. What the? Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna ponder about whatever this exam and test is, but we just got freaking full Varax now. Oh my god, that's so fucking sick. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so unexpected. So freaking unexpected. Hell yes, man. So that's one set done. I mean, two sets, because I have full arms too, but like, the first important set done. And then all we need now is the Guthans helmet for full Guthans. Oh my god, sick. Just in case, I think it's here. There we go, step 9. Reward? Jesus. More of the same usual stuff, except, wow, twice the amount of Dragon Maces. 
How about something unique from this chest? Seriously? Again? For X Brizard? What the fuck? I don't even know how many I have anymore. I'm not even gonna keep count of these shits anymore. It is once again loot time. And we got a Elite Clue Scroll, man. Holy shit, Barrels just fucking shits them out so much. And I just started this trip too. Let's go do it though. Another Guthin's Chain Skirt. Look at that. Six Guthin Chain Skirts. My god. Anyways, just hit 95 range. That is so awesome, man. Just four more levels to go. 99 range probably is one of my favorite 99s because it's my first ever 99 that I ever got back in like 2000 or something with like Aaron arrows and knives. Oh god. What the hell was I doing back then? But yeah, that's so good, guys. Four more to go. Cannot wait for that sexy 99 range kit. Back at barrels again with another one. I'm not gonna talk about this one, guys. We're done here. This will be my last barrels chest for a while, guys. And we get. Alright. No new items, but that's okay. Because honestly, we did pretty damn well during this barrels grind. Lots of items were definitely placeholders. But I did get that Varax helmet, so that is pretty damn crucial and pretty damn nice to get. So that is absolutely great. Full Varax, so all I need now is full Guthins, which I will come back to barrels at some other point. I have some leftover dragon items that I don't need at all and Owl Kingdom will generate me quite a handsome amount of money so I'm gonna do that real quick. Less than 20 Alks later and I got myself 1.4 mil cash just from the Dragon Helis DMED. After doing a lot of bossing and barrels and whatnot, I have myself 34,000 blood runes and I think it's about good time that I start using it. And I want to use it obviously so I can train my mage. The higher the mage, the better for that trident. So I will be using the Claws of Guthix for a lot of my Ceratas, the ones that I can mage quite easily, such as Black Demons and whatnot. And I should be able to get the task done pretty efficiently for Slayer itself and also for the sexy magic experience. I wonder how many mage levels I can get off of the 34k blood runes. Just unlock the Claws of Guthix spell. Just needed 100 casts if you didn't know and now I can use it outside of runescape. So there is one problem though with the god spells. Usually if you use the normal god stats for it you cannot auto cast even with the god staff. So that is so shitty. If I want to do a slayer task with the god spells I'm definitely going to want something that can auto cast this particular god spell. So luckily for me there is a staff out there that can auto cast the claws of guptics and that is the void maze. And you can get that from pest control. It only costs 250 points. So I think it's worthwhile to get. So I'm going to go ahead and go to pest control. Grind it out and get myself the void maze. So I can auto cast this sexy ass spell. And use it for my slayer task. I am such a noob at fire making guys. So I am trying to finish up the desert diaries. The hard one. And one of the tasks requires me to burn a U-log. And for some reason I automatically assume I had high enough fire making. But I don't. I'm only 57 fire making, what the hell is this trash? So yeah, I just trolled myself, need to train that fire making real quick. Here is 58 fire making guys, 2 more fire making levels, 2 go, let's go. And here is 59 fire making, so 1 more fire making level, 2 go. I used to do the method by the Seer Spank, it was pretty good too, but I think this is a little better. And here is the final level guys for the task, 60 fire making, I can now burn new logs. Beautiful, so let's quickly burn. A U log and get this shit done and over with. Bam! So there's only one more task left for the Desert Hard Diaries and that's to kill the Kill Fight Queen. So I'm gonna go ahead and slay this bug real quick. This is attempt number one and we got the first phase done with half of the sharks remaining. So we're doing pretty good. Hopefully get it done in one try. This is very risky. I could very well die. It wasn't worth it. I shouldn't have done that. Do I still get the task done? Oh, what? Okay, of course. If I'm not in the desert place, of course that isn't gonna count. RIP! Freaking double suicide. Gonna have to try again. I was doing so well this kill, but then these two idiots had to come in here and attack it and damage it while I am clearly killing it. And I don't think this will work for the diaries. Yup, it, it doesn't work because somebody did damage. Yeah, suck my dick, Calfight Queen. Ah, oh, there we go, guys. Hand over. That amulet 3. Nice. Sweet. Okay, let me put this anti lamp on Herbler, of course. And yep, 15k into that. 
and 43k to 78 i could probably just get that if i wanted to right now now that i have the hard desert diaries done feral scepter now holds six charges so even better than before and of course the decanting ability that i have access to in narda that's going to be great for future herbal training going to save a lot of time and let's talk about the next diary goal. I think I want to finish Varak next at some point soon. I want to do all the way to hard so that I can have access to 60 battle staffs per day from the staff shop in Varak. That'll be a nice way for the eventual fairy grind in the distant, distant future. But yeah, I will definitely need to stock up on quite a bit of cash though. Gonna be doing a lot of Slayer very soon anyways after I get the... Void Mace and yeah, she rack up a ton of money for those battle staves. Pest control has been going pretty well. Not too bad at all, we're almost done with the uh, pest control points, just need less than 100 more to go. For those of you guys that are not aware of some of the strategies for pest control and you kind of just want to bang out pest control as fast as possible with your own contributions, well each of these portals actually have weaknesses to the yellow one that I just attacked was weak to stab and slash, so the whip just decimated it. But overall, I think just having a whip and good accuracy and strength gear will do the job for all the portals. And also close the door, of course. But anyways, that was my last pest control run for the 250 points. Awesome, that did not take too long at all, only a few hours. So let's go ahead and get myself the Void Knight's Maze. Thank you, confirmed. There we go, Void Knight's Maze, obtained. So my tasks right now are trolls, so using the Claws of Glutics, it should rip through them perfectly easily. At long last, finally, 98 hit points. What is up, man? That is so good. One more level to go for my first ever 99 on this Iron Man. And yes, it's definitely going to be hit points confirmed. No other stat is close to 99, but the hit points. That is really cool, untrim HBK for a while. I'm gonna be fashion escaping that for sure. Why you gotta disconnect me while well, I'm doing fight caves? Oh my god. Oh shit. I think I just lost the fight cave eligibility for the Slayer XP. Cause I disconnected. Whoa, what happened? Holy shit, never mind. Oh my god, okay. Apparently if you didn't die, you can still resume it after you've uh, force log so fortunately I was able to force log and uh, not die so that that is really really amazing <sighs> good thing guys nice awesome let's cash in the fire cave please give me the pet please badoodle ah uh, oh well along with the dust devils I believe Jagex also buffed the spawns of hellhounds in uh, this area so if you didn't know this area is the area in which you unlock from doing the family crest quest you know for the sexy gauntlets like the cooking gods chaos gauntlets and wow they really really beefed up the spawn here holy shit not only is the area bigger <laughs> there's also a ton of hellhounds oh baby and this place is a lot easier to get to than the spot at Tavoli. That's where I usually go to to kill Hellhounds because the Hellhound spots at freaking the Gnome Stronghold Slayer dungeon is just straight cancer. Cannon fast and yeah, way too crowded. And yeah, that's really nice of them to add this room. It's awesome now. Back at DK's again. I got a task. And it's been a while since I've done a DK's task. At least a Warrior's Ring this task. Alright guys, about to finish the first trip. The beginning was very scary because I literally almost had no food, but then food drops just kept coming. And I managed to do almost 50 kills this trip. That is pretty much a PR in this account. So that is quite amazing. If I can keep this up, I can finish this in two more trips. My crystal shield was about to break anyway, so I ended up just buying a new one. I should have recharged the seed, but I forgot to. I will do that next time though. What's the drop? Oh my god. Another Sears ring? What? Alright. <laughs> oh man, placeholders are looking good. Except in being these guys is gonna be a bitch, but... Alright. I'll take it, I'll take it. Aw, oh, damn it. Ring of life, come on. Well, there ends the DK's task, guys. I... have Pretty much did like 60 uh, something kills 
now for me to finish the Virag Diaries all the way to hard. It should not take too long. There are some RNG related stuff such as the Dickside Pendant. So if everything goes right and I get the Pendant fast, then I should be able to finish the Virag Diaries hard pretty quickly. Sweet! Finally got the necklace that I need for the task. Only took me between 30 minutes to an hour. Last time I did it on the other account took me over an hour and that was pretty shitty so found the last piece that I need for the Skull Scepter so let's put them together real quick there we go got myself the Skull Scepter okay let's go ahead and teleport and there we go task done my last task for the Varak Medium Diaries is to use the balloon system from Varak and now it is done I am working on getting max kudos right now for the hard frag diaries and I have to do the Curse of Zara minigame, I haven't done that in a while but it should be pretty quick and then we'll be done. This is pretty AIDS, there's way too many NPCs trying to attack me so therefore I cannot talk to this ghost so I need to find a way to uh, trap all these guys so that's what I'm trying to do right now. Minigame complete, let's get the kudos points. Got the max points finally, and I got a lamp for it as well, using that herblore. Ooh, 10k, not bad at all, man, not bad at all. And then just gotta talk to this dude to complete this task, so there we go, that's done. One of my last tasks requires me to make a spotted cape, but in order to get the materials for it on an Iron Man, you need 69 Hunter to catch these cabets to get the ingredients. Let's try to boost for it was able to get the boost in just two tries. There we go. Oh, nice. I also completed a diary for something else as well. And yeah, just gonna collect a few more hides and then we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the medium rewards right now. So let's go ahead and use this lamp on Herblor. 7.5k, not bad. It is the next day and the yew tree is finally grown. So now I can finally finish the Vrak Hard Diaries. So let's go ahead and dig this and get the two U roots. There we go, task complete. I have completed all the hard tasks. Alright Toby, please hand me that reward. There we go, rack armor 3. And now I can buy 60 battle stabs a day, along with some smithing mining perks and maybe a few others that I haven't really paid much attention to. But uh, maybe this will get me a herbal level. How much experience was this? 15,000, wow. Only 4k to go guys, but yep, it is finally done, so let's go ahead and buy today's 60 battle staffs. It's gonna cost a lot, 420k, god damn, I really need to stock up on some GP now if I want to do a lot of battle staffs at one time. I only have enough GP to do only like a few hundred at a time. I already had 1.5k from Zoro and Wyverns, very soon I'm gonna convert all these battle staves into battle staffs and then out them. And I'll get around like 15 mil, and that should be plenty for just buying battle staffs every day, and then just doing it again once I hit like another 1500. <gasps> oh shit! Yo! Warrior's Ring! Holy shit, finally guys! Oh my god, after 199 Rex kills, holy shit. Almost double the drop rate for that, but yo, whatever man, that's awesome. We finally got the Warrior's Ring, that is beautiful. The only ring left is the Archer's Ring. So I've noticed that every time I do a Diagonal Slayer task, I always get crashed at least once. But it's fine because I was about to end the trip anyways and we got the Warrior's Ring. So first trip of this DK's task, splendid. Oh shit, I just hit uh, 91 defense while killing Diagonal Supreme. Did not realize that, sorry. Why is there so many crashes at a time like this, man? Ugh. Even though they're noobs, I can't do much about it because of the stupid damage penalty. So I guess I'll just have to find another world. But doodle. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that is freaking sick, boys. Archer's ring. Let's go. I have all the rings now, which is freaking sick. So I have everything now, I got the Seer Coal, the Dragon Hatchet, and all the rings, but there is still one item left and that is the Mobile Staff. So I think there's a pretty good shot that I will be able to get the uh, Mobile Battle Staff by this task because I still have 95 more Diagonals to go. Yep, I am so dead, oh my god, there's no way I can log back in. 
and not be dead from that. I'm literally right there where Prime spawned, so I knew it. First time I DC'd right in the middle of the room like that. So that's the one thing that was offsetting me from trying to do a DK task like that is because when you kill Supreme and with this shitty internet, you never know when you're just gonna DC right in the death middle right there. Yay, I DC'd again, but luckily this time I am at a safe spot, so there is still a small chance that I will die, but pretty good chance I'll be back alive, guys. I ain't scared anymore, man. It's time to get myself another farming level, guys. Bam, 83. What is up with that delay? Ooh, yeah! I can now grow spirit trees and get double magic roots. Pretty cool. I know that triple magic roots is for Father or Elite Diary, but you need like some crazy ass farming level that's beyond my 83. So, anyways, uh, we got 273k to go. I think I have enough fruit trees, yeah, to get 84 within a few days. I'm gonna call it around 3 days, guys. I am done with Nightmare Zone now. So, I think I have like maybe 1.5 mil points now. Oh, 1.8 mil, even better. Let's go imbue these sexy rings. Upgrades please. There we go. Archer's ring imbued. Oh baby. And then the warrior's ring imbued. Perfect. So this warrior ring is going to be pretty good for God Wars. And the archer's ring is just great for ranging. So when I am training at bandits or doing any sort of ranging, this archer ring will definitely help out quite a bit. The longest clue of my life guys. 12th step. I think this is the end. Oh, whoa, oh my god, how much is this shit? Oh damn, 366k, created by Hattori Hanzo in the Eastern Lands. How the hell do we know who this person is? We've never even seen him before in this game. Alright, that's, I say that's pretty cool, this Deerstalkers, 40k, eh. But hey, you got a katana, yo, that looks dope, ooh, perfect, oh my god. That's a really nice reward, guys. I'd say it's worth. Totally worth. 